So you think you're a true Zenoiran, huh? Welcome back to the run. In this run, we are Zenoiraning all over the place, and we're gonna finish up Draken Lands. I think I have like two or three more battles, and then we have to start doing some Colosseum stuff. Now, I expect to do some of the early Colosseum, but the later Colosseum stuff I'll probably tackle maybe partially like halfway through Elven Lands or something like that. Uh, I need key abilities. I need the rogue ability to shut things down, and I'd like to have board nuke, so that I can confer all a board nuke no surprise there. to uh, freeze and cheese. <laughs> freeze and cheese, as they say. <laughs> no one says that. I made that up five seconds ago. So feel free to use that as needed, but do not use it too much, or it'll be bad for you. Now, what is this group? This group, I'm not so sure about. I have like two B teams that are just kind of random nonsense that I'm not too too comfortable with, we'll say. Who would I even add to this? I have to run her. She's fine. Is she really? I don't know. I feel like these are kind of whatever. What else could I run? I don't think I have better options though. <laughs> I think that's the issue. I have him. He's all right. He's not good yet though. He needs to be in a five man. That's really where he excels. Yeah, I guess we don't really have better options. We'll just kind of pop them all out and just go for it. Now this is the map. Oh, with the geysers, this map's fun actually. All right, let's push that guy for some reason. Let's stick this team, we'll just leave them on the... No, you know, we'll push. Everyone pushes, we're just gonna dive. We're gonna kill and then spawn the, the fifth and then he's just gonna sit here. We're gonna ignore the geysers too. I think this pushes eventually. Oh, right, we have to save this guy. Oh, dear. Oh, I can't change. <laughs> I can't change their position. Takes 57 damage? <laughs> so you better not die before I get to him. It's all the damage, dude. 57. I will not perish. You might, actually. I don't really know that you won't. I mean, I'm assuming he'll survive, but... There's no proof of that. We also need to get Elaine his big ability. I did remake the one tier list. It should go live. I can. I need to make the thumbnail for it. I just did Viking Guide, Rogue Guide is live today. I need to make the thumbnail for the new tier list. I do cover middle game and end game. I think I'm mostly accurate. The things I could be potentially off on are like some of the furries and angel characters, but I put most of those in B or C. So I'm not too concerned about it. It seems like some of the furry characters have some decent combos, but they don't have like big combos. So I don't think they're as good. Now let's see who will complain this time. Yeah, well, I'm sure someone will. It's, I mean, 80% dislike on a video is not ideal, but I could have left it up. I would prefer it if it was more accurate. I think the main reason that it was bad was that I had early game classes mixed in with the late game, so it was very confusing. So I don't mind remaking it for that reason. Because it's like, because someone was like, how is Swordmaster C tier, but then Swordfighter's A tier? Because it doesn't make any sense, right? Because it's just a better version of it. But it's because early game Swordfighter's really good. So when it's used, it's better. When it is used. It pops off. I don't trust this guy. He's waiting to dive us. To dive our base, rather. <laughs> Look at the speed difference. Oh. I'll make it quick. He's not even a horse, too. He's just a guy that runs. Now, the one thing that doesn't make any sense is how does he make everyone else faster? See ya. As a guy that just runs. You know what? I'm going to switch him to... I probably should have done this a while ago. I can switch him onto this as needed. I need to like pay attention to his his business. He could also be hallowed blading. Hallowed blading. All right, you're gonna sanguine. You're gonna only sanguine. Win. HP own HP is less than seventy five. Get him some self-healing. Oh, wait, why is he on brown beret? Oh, yeah, switching items around. That's right. I was switching items around for uh, resolving some of those weird combats. That's better. Yeah, Ocleese doesn't need that. 
I hope he just misspoke and it was actually 80% likes. Or no, I'm sorry. 80, yeah. It was, no, no, no. It was um, 80% like to dislike. It, yeah, it was 80. Sorry. It was 80% likes. It wasn't 80% dislikes. Yeah, that, that would be insane. You have to be very controversial or trolling on purpose to get like 80% dislikes. Or blatantly click blade, click blading, click baiting. Dude, I think like something's going on. I didn't have a choice. With like my brain or something. Not like a serious problem. I think I'm just not getting enough sleep. Maybe. Maybe it's just that. Could be. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we're all pushing that. That's right. Simply say the word. Simply say the word. All right. I will simply say the word. Uh, no, the only problem. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna have you pinball. There in a second. Go yeah, on. go fight this. Won't take long. And then we're gonna try to use ability. All right, then we're gonna deploy this. Yeah, it was it was twenty percent disliked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Eighty percent disliked to realist. No, I've never had a video that was that disliked. The worst I've gotten is like twenty percent disliked on key things, maybe due to outdated information. Pretty sure I'm in their line of fire. Wow, the range on this thing is insane. What the heck? <laughs> Why is it so far? Not that it's good, but. I wonder what you'd have to do to get that. Probably something really offensive or crazy, I would imagine. Simply say the word. Nice. Toxic throw. Must be a league player. <laughs> Alright. Rolling axe. Alright. Nice, he's burning. Except he's used his action point, so it kind of defeats the porpoise. The <laughs> big gaming. Come on, Aubin. Hit the second one, there you go. Spin to win, my dude. Someone told me Fireball always kills something. I don't think they're accurate. <laughs> I think sometimes it can. First aid. I hope you saw that. I've never doubted myself. Hey, let's do this. All right, why are you not on? Oh yeah, I took people off of the things they're supposed to be on. Let's take this from her. She doesn't need it. Simply say the word. Now maybe you should be on avoid tanking, huh? That's a good idea, I think. Take the heaven swing. Oh wait, who... oh, Cleese is being used now. I, ki <laughs> I killed Ox so he can reunite with his mommy. Well, that's nice of you. <laughs> In a way. Let's see if I can thread the needle here. There in a second. I can. <laughs> I like how Nest Scream has become part of my channel. <laughs> I don't even know why either. Uh, what else do you have? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you can be... Right, he's like here he's already not gonna do that. Maybe you toxic throw. That's a little bit more damage. We're gonna be getting debuffed, which is the big issue, right? Where are we? Grants the user plus one summon fairy. Then she can Primus Edge with a fairy. Sometimes I leave my units to pinball for the fight. <laughs> That's good. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just do that. It's fine. Do you play Earthbound or Smash? I used to play Smash Bros. Not like competitively. Like I just played it occasionally with friends and stuff. I was never good at it. I was never a Smash Bro. I was more like a Smash part-timer. Magic attack, all right. The only reason you don't play Smash is because of online cost. Yeah, it's funny that you have to like pay for internet and then you have to pay to use your internet. Well, it's because the con they lose money on the console, so they have to recoup that cost, right? They lose, um, well, maybe they don't lose as much, but I think they either break even or lose a little bit of money. Or maybe profit slightly, depending on the console. 
But I heard they lose. Hold on, actually, go Google that. I'm pretty sure they lose a little bit, and then they want to. They want you to buy like controllers and stuff like this. And online. Do makers lose money on console sales? Yes, they intentionally. All game consoles are sold at a loss. They intentionally lose profits on console sales in order to facilitate other more profitable sales. Uh, it's a pricing strategy called a loss leader. I've heard this before, but I never like investigated it really. Uh, companies lead with profit losing sale because they know more profitable sales will follow. Them. Yeah, I remember hearing that a lot. Phil Spencer reveals how much Xbox loses with each console sold. All right, how much? They have the actual amount. Dang, it nets a loss of $200 per console. Dang. It's like investing in a growth unit. Not with Nintendo, they sell the profit. Nintendo is pretty next level, to be honest. They know what they're doing. Oh, I got pinballed back into the boss. That's like MLG right there. That's like high level strats. Dude, bounce pinball into boss. That's actually cool. I would, that was not intentional, but that's an interesting thing you can do. And that geyser guy's about to get geyser owned. It's about to get geyser boyed. All right, do we have a good matchup here? Tell me you can take this. Oh, we have a bad matchup. Uh, <laughs> that's a problem. Let's get him on something better, maybe. Here, get on Carnelian. I guess dual shot's fine. Get behind him. Get behind me! What is this? Parting Resurrection? I don't think that's a good plan. Oh, none of these are promoted. <laughs> none of those are promoted. Here, get, get on the accuracy train, my dude. Have some glasses. Help you see. And then, right, how's our matchup? Still bad. Um, I think we literally lose. That's, who else could I put in here? <laughs> UO is a physics game. It basically is. Oh, I should have upgraded those dudes. They can't defend the home front anymore. Bold of you to stand against me. Let's join our strength. I'll lend you my oh, the heal doesn't go through because someone's dying. I'm assuming. Yeah, I think the frontliner's dying and then they're catching heal. Oh, that's better. No one should be dying here. Let's see if we can get a nice rolling attack. Yeah, what is Nintendo's? How is Viking? Viking is actually good. I think it's respectable. It has a one active point row attack that does 120 potency, can be conferred. It can true strike itself with lenses. It can true crit strike itself with amber lens. It's not as good as Berengaria for sure, but it's definitely respectable. Like I think it's like A tier. It has good damage and a debuff, so it kind of helps itself. Xboxes aren't profitable, but the Switch certainly is. Nintendo made 8.2 billion from Switch hardware sales. Wow, dude. Nintendo's printing money. It's like with the Wii, the old Wii memes, it prints money. <laughs> That's what they said. All right, let's see. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now who, who is being attacked? Ah, That's better. What do they have? They have an axe. All right, they have a rolling axe. So if we are gonna dodge tank, we're gonna have to do it correctly. We're gonna go for, oh, here we go, evasion plus 10. All right, that doesn't help. Let me get that lucky coin. I think a rolling axe is what's killing the front line, if I had to guess. You have to like debug. This game is basically like teaching people how to code in a way. You have to like debug your group and then execute the program. <laughs> Three damage! This, see, this is... <laughs> learn to code, play this game. <laughs> you have to debug the group, and then you have to execute. You have to you have to run through your logic. You're like, alright, so what's happening? 
He might not even have rolling attack. It might have just been a hit on the front line. No, he does. All right, that's probably what was doing it. But now she dodges it. We debugged it. We did it. Boring. Oh, now she survived. Just print F everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, it's like those things they said back in the day of learn to code or whatever. We're learning to code. Alright, I saw some video by some dude who shipped uh, a semi-successful and then a successful indie game with his wife. And the premise of the video was that indie games that don't do well aren't competitive and that if your game is competitive, it will sell well. And there is some truth to that. Like obviously if something is competitive, it will do well in a market. But I think he's under hyping how much effort and time is involved. Like he seems to have figured out a winning strategy for shipping games. I don't get how, like why his game sold though. Like I feel like a lot of these, a lot of indie games kind of feel like generic versions of AAA games. And the game he made was one of those like walking simulator exploration type games where it's just like 3D graphics that are, I don't know, it could be store-bought assets. They aren't store-bought assets, but they could be. Um, so it's like, if you want to look at the market and use data and figure out what people want to buy and then sell that, then you can be successful almost on like a formula. But I think most people get into it because there's a game in mind that they want to make. And that isn't always necessarily always going to be profitable. And I think he's kind of ignoring that aspect of it. So it's like you can technically be successful as an indie game maker and just focus on the market, what the market wants and ship something to the market. But most people get into it. It's like if you started a band, you'd want to make music that you'd want to make, not necessarily strictly ship to a specific demographic for a specific type of game now if you're if your only goal is to make money then that's probably the best way to do it to just like see exactly what is in demand and then make one of those and make it competitive with other games but i just thought it was interesting because it was just almost all, all about like the the strategy of selling the game or not selling the game but like making something based on data instead of based on what you want to make but i suppose you could find something within what would sell well to uh push a game out it's not that easy man uh let's see i'd say they still have to put a lot of work into it though yeah i mean obviously there's more to it than that but the gist of the video was that most games don't have a marketing problem the game itself is bad and I don't know the I don't know that their game is good. Like just because it profited doesn't mean it's like a good game. Like you could make really bad content and just min-max what does well and still do well on like YouTube, for example, or whatever. Like there are ways of getting around things technically to be successful without actually being like really good at something. That makes sense. Uh, so it's impossible not to decline Monica because the 30 Divine Shards is just so strong. Uh, do you ever think it's worth taking Monica over the Shards? She's a good unit. It's a free Radiant Knight. 30 Divine Shards. There's nothing wrong with taking 30 Divine Shards, but I do think the Divine Shop kind of falls off at some points and becomes like redundant. So it's just like a, it's just an issue of time. She is a pretty good unit, but you could always just recruit another Sainted Knight. So it depends on if you really want her specifically. But arguably the Divine Shop does fall off after like midway through the game. It's like the only thing you really use it for is tonics after you get your impetus thing. And if you want to run Trinity Rain, you can. I don't think Trinity Reign's that good. I think the Elven Sisters are much better. But you can run it and it's pretty effective. Now, it's not bad. Trinity Reign is definitely a strong board nuke. So, it depends. Huh. 
Oh, what was that game that they even made? They called this? No. What the hell was that game? I want to say it was Eclipse Studios? No. Eclipsestudios.com? No. <laughs> Wait, what was it? Is it this YouTube? No. Wait, what the hell was it called? Let me look through. Let me go through my history. History. I'm here to help. Oh, East Shade Studios. All right, here we go. They made a game. Is it just called East Shade? Take it easy. I'll not let you outstrip me. Yeah, they made a game called East Shade that looks decent visually. It doesn't look bad. Uh, it almost reminds me of like a mist game. There's like a bunch of owl people in it. You kind of walk around and talk to people. I actually, hold on, what are, what are the mechanics in this game? Uh, open world adventure game where he plays a traveling artist. Okay. And what are the mechanics? Exploration, relaxing, open world. So there's arguably not mechanics. Is it even a puzzle game? What do you do in it? What do you do in it? Compose paintings anywhere? Unlock secrets and gain items? You literally, there's not even mechanics. It's a walking simulator. It sold well, good for them. It sold well, but is it even technically a game if there's not even winning and losing conditions? I don't think so, because that's literally the definition of a game. <laughs> but they made a walking sim. Apparently they made millions of dollars though, so good for them, they got the bag. <laughs> they got the bag, dude. But like, to put it into perspective, if you were to make a game, the easiest thing to do would be to make a walking simulator. The easiest thing, because then all you have to do is make artwork and just make sure it's not buggy. That's it. Now, if you want to make an actual game with like skill ceiling, skill floor, difficulty curve, challenging mechanics, things to master, and systems, you actually have to design and implement complex things. Like it's super easy just to get a dude moving and having basic interaction. It's very difficult to make a game like this even, where you have all these interactions and all these like things and like all these things uh, working off of each other and sequencing attacks and making sure everything executes correctly. This would be way harder to make than a game where you just walk around in a 3D environment that looks pretty. Now, unlike games like Myst, which I actually do really like Myst, I think Myst and, what was the other one? Myst 3, I played both of those. Those are interesting because those are exploration games with that are like puzzles and that encourage critical thinking. Uh, I don't like the vid itself, but I don't think, just downplay. Uh, I don't like the genre. I'm surprised we haven't seen more bugs. Stanley Parable Sweep, though. What is Stanley Parable? Is that a walking sim? I don't have a problem with walking sims, but technically... <laughs> there are some impressive walking sims, though. I heard Death Stranding was good. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about walking sims as, like, a game designer. Because, like, I've, I've coded, like, skill systems with, like damage over time effects that like reduced enemy speed and like attack animation and uh that had scaling effects relative to perks and i had like all these playable characters and stuff and that game flopped hardcore and i don't think it was like a lazy game or a bad game or not competitive i think it was just too niche of a game and it wasn't something that people wanted ultimately so and also i felt like the skill floor was too high and most people got frustrated that tried to play it so uh, kind of similar to the tier list video I made where it just kind of sucked. <laughs> it's like that. It just kind of sucked. So. But. Yeah, I guess just make a walking sim that looks nice. And people will buy it. Because people want to relax in life. They don't want to be stressed out with difficult games. Dude, my, <laughs> my witch. My witch is so close to dying every single assist. Uh, it depends. Uh, I think a driving sim or something could be therapeutic. You don't have to buy gas if you want to drive yeah I, I get the appeal of them i'm not saying that they're bad or you shouldn't play them or something i don't enjoy them personally but i get why people would like them especially if you work like a high stress job you're not trying to play like fire emblem on maddening if you're not like really familiar with it if you're already stressed out because there is like a certain limit of stress you can really handle 
in life before you start to get like burnt out. Or maybe there isn't. Maybe it's all just psychological, who knows. Maybe you can do more than you realize, except for that witch that just got one shot. <laughs> except for my witch. <laughs> got bodied. If you want to sell your game, you take whatever costs to make it, double it, and spend it on marketing. It's that easy life. Is that better? Yeah, my game, it feels like it's a long time away. In terms of uh, being able to actually work on it, because I need to grow my YouTube channel seriously over the next year in order to even resume working on my game. Oof. 49 damage, huh? Alright, that's worse. Alright, we'll take it. Just make a booba gotcha game. People have to want to play a gotcha game, though. But yeah, it could potentially make money. Wow, we can't deal 12 damage. <laughs> Alright, just heal up. If possible. Danger comes for us. Oh boy, smoke bolt. Games can be more than just skill. Art and immersion story count for a lot in video game quality. Walking sims be well done. Sure. I'm listening. They can be well done. Yes, I concur. Careful. Arguably they're easier to develop though. Well not arguably. I, I would say they are objectively easier to develop, because then they're just fewer things you have to consider when making them. You just have to make sure that people enjoy the experience rather than balancing out the nuance of like abilities and skills and characters and enemies and interesting scenarios each map. Because like even in this game, they added like this geyser in this map. So you have to code the geyser, you have to debug it, you have to test it. You have to make sure that it's interesting, that it's fun, that it's like worth running. Uh, atmosphere and world building is not easy. But that's also something that other games have to do on, in addition to everything else. It'd be like... So, like, every game needs good environments. Every game needs good gameplay for the most part. Every game, if it has a story, wants a good or great story. And it wants to have good and interesting mechanics. Like, every game tries to do all of these things. So it's not like a walking sim uniquely has challenges that other games don't have. Fire Emblem doesn't need as good an atmosphere as a walking sim. Well, Fire Emblem is not that type of game, though, either. Fire Emblem is more like a puzzle game. So its atmosphere is second to the puzzles. So, like, the emphasis is different. But how do we define a good atmosphere? Like, what is a good atmosphere? Walking Sim needs to be really good compared to other games. You see that mother. What do you need? Of course. Guide me, oh father. Is that all? Oh yeah, that's right. We have to help this idiot. <laughs> oh boy. What? What? <laughs> How do I get there in time? Well, I guess the one group could have. Oh, where's the auto save? Jesus Christ. Immersion is a good indicator of atmosphere. Well, like Half-Life 2 had immersion. And other games like it do. All right, how far? Oh, wait, the, the geyser's down. Can I even make it in time? No. Dude, how do I even get there? <laughs> no, the stupid geysers are just always going. I'm too slow to get there. I'm way too slow. Look at the time limit. He dies at a, a 75%. I can maybe barely get there if I push center. Honestly, just make it Unreal Engine 5, switch all post-processing on, switch on ray tracing, make a demo, don't show any mechanics, systems, or anything, have a camera fly through a loop and win. And game dev scope estimation is nearly impossible to do with an error of less than one order of magnitude. Goddamn green units. <laughs> oh, now we like lose this combat too. It's 
weird. Watch, I'm about to get geysered. I'm about to get geyser sozaid. <laughs> geyser sozaid. Oh no. There's no way we make it in time. Alright, apparently we can't take on these glads. Yeah, get geysered. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't think I have enough time. The geysers are seemingly always active. So in order to push... <laughs> Lapis, thank you for being a member for two months, Neo. I appreciate that. Uh, in order to push, look at how many enemies are on the road. This is the big issue. In order to push the road, the geysers prevent me from getting there in time, and the road path is ridiculous as hell. In order for me to get there in time, I don't know that I can time the geysers. I definitely have to wait. Sure. And the only one who can keep up with me, I don't have another thief or high mobility unit. That's the only unit that's fast <laughs> of all of these. Uh, all right, this. All right, you will deploy. My moment has finally. What do you need? This is unfortunate. Of course. If all I had to do for my game was focus on making environments pretty and making it interesting to just be in the environments, I think that'd be a much easier experience than making a game that has like intricate mechanics. That because like the, you actually have to play test these mechanics. You don't just like drop them in your game and then they work. You actually have to benchmark and breakpoint things and figure out what is good and what is bad and debug issues with your code if there's any issues test interactions with everything because there can be like some weird set of conditions that produces some bug that's unintended and it's just weird that i don't think it's as easy to make a hit game as you make it out to be i understand your opinions and how the vid is flawed though that's i'm not i'm not saying it's that easy to make a hit game that's what they're saying they're saying in order to make a hit game just do some basic market research and be competitive in the industry. But I think there is some element of luck, timing, and interest, because interest in certain types of games comes and goes. So you have to make the right game at the right time and have a following and have some bit of luck. I think there's a lot more at play than just like, oh, we shipped, it's almost like, um, what is it called, survivor bias? Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Survivorship bias. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so survivorship bias. Uh, let's see. Is the logical error of concentrating on entities that passed a selection process while overlooking those that did not? Uh, this can lead to incor incorrect conclusions because of incomplete data. I think what's happened is they've shipped a successful game and they partially don't know why they've been successful, but they're just assuming they know the answers because they've been successful. Whereas tons of people have produced similar or higher quality games but completely flopped and they're just going to assume that they know the difference and sometimes success isn't a good teacher of why you're successful and you actually don't even know why but you can kind of assume so so that you feel like you have control so it could just be survivorship bias yeah <laughs> yeah that's what i think it is because i've seen a ton of these like walking sim exploration games and some of them just completely flop yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> travis agrees yeah. Won't take long. Time for pay. It's also why taking Ninja's masterclass is worthless. Right, because he doesn't even know why he's successful. Or if he does know why, he's definitely not gonna tell you. Uh reporting on my main quest only run feels like it's the core game and the rest of the content was built around it. For example, NPCs guide me about stuff just as I unlock it. Interesting. Travis died again? Yeah, Travis always dies. Yeah, basically most indie games fail to break even. People today praise indie games compared to AAA even though. Now obviously the higher quality the project, 
the project, the better it will do. So like if you have a game that has like amazing art, that will help it. If you have a game with amazing gameplay, that will help it. But it, I feel like it's still almost like taking an attack in Fire Emblem where you could have a 90% chance of success and sometimes you still miss. <laughs> like that can happen. I wish people wouldn't label walking type games as fake games because you can't be sweaty at it. I think they should be classified as something else just because it, it's not the definition of a game. I'll, I'll just copy in here. Here's the definition. Uh, complete episode or period of play. So here, here's just the definition of game. So they, they technically don't fall under the category of game. Now they could be called something else, but technically speaking, they're not a game. Because a game has uh, typically a competition in rules and winners and losers. So it should, it needs a different classification. Technically. Like, by the definition, it is not a game. Same thing with visual novels that don't have gameplay mechanics. They're visual novels. So it, it, it's fine, like, it's totally fine to have and respect it as a medium. I'm not saying they're bad or something like that. It's just that they technically do not have gameplay mechanics. Why isn't a visual novel game? There's more than one definition of a game, though. Well, the point of definitions is they exist so that we can explicitly discuss something. And if we keep shoehorning everything into the definition of a thing, it loses its objective meaning. Interactive entertainment, something like that. I mean, we, we just call it a game because it's easy to describe it. As such, but it's stretching the definition. Now, video game, the definition's a little bit different. Well, no, it says a game played by electronically manipulating images produced by... Yeah, so it still, it still has game as its core thing. We just call it... I mean, we'll still call it a game. I don't think we necessarily need a different definition for it, but... It's functionally not a game. In a literal sense. But it's... We can just, we can just say it is because you interact with it. Even though there's not necessarily, like, winning and losing conditions. Uh, so every single player game is not a game because it's not competitive. You're still competing with AI. So in, in that way, I don't think this argument matters. Yeah, it's fine. Go on. You don't have to... I mean, we can split hairs about it. We don't have to, though. Yeah. Like, oh, this is not technically a game. I mean, it, it, they aren't technically games. Because they they usually don't have winning and losing. You can complete them. But there's not, like, a challenge or a contest. Yeah, so like right now I'm competing with AI, and I can win and lose, so this is technically a game. Go on. I like to think about games as a gym for the brain or body. If it doesn't serve that role, it is no game. <laughs> I don't know, I just want to pet the cats and engage. <laughs> yeah. Dang dude, we're getting pushed. The move speed difference is a big problem. See ya. Or maybe it's a solution. He needs to get up there. This idiot's about to die again. <laughs> we have to defend him. Hope you've made your peace. Cats. No hard yeah, It's all about the cats. Hopefully this has good matchup. I'm prepared for anything. It does. <laughs> Your fate is sealed. Careful, you make it burn. What mess? You'd best make this count. It would be much easier to just focus on atmosphere than to focus on gameplay mechanics, though. Because one of them just requires that you get something feeling good. Another one requires that you objectively balance numbers and stats and abilities in a way that when players play the game, they don't think it's insane. Can you use Oclesis flying? I could, maybe. She'll probably be much slower than other things. She probably would be much slower. I just want to say I love this community when you can discuss and not make a fuss about it. I will not agree with everything. Yeah, I agree. That's a good thing. 
Because, like, I'm not going to be like, oh, you have a different opinion. <laughs> you get all mad or something. Uh, here's what we need to do. You... Go use this. We have to make it. They're after me. No, we need to overreact and start screaming at each other. Oh, they're all pushing me. <laughs> what? They're all pushing me. They're like, no, you will not rescue this bad unit. And they might be right, too. I didn't have a choice. I think games like The Witness are very interesting. Hope you've made your peace. Oh no. I have to either get to that tower. No hard feelings. Oh, my movement is severely reduced. No, leave me alone. Do I make it? Oh, I make it. I have to kite them immediately. Let's take what's like a game like The Witness has atmosphere as well as like gameplay mechanics and you know, I mean, it's it's a puzzle game that's exploration focused, but it's kind of like a walking sim with more to it. And there's like a challenge. <laughs> East Shade Stream. <laughs> Let me look at the trailer. I'm not going to have the audio on. Let me look at it on Steam while this is going. Say 50% of East Shade. All right, let's see. It does look like home. Oh, what is it made in? Unreal. Mm. So you take a picture and then it creates a painting. Then you walk around. What else? Uh, I don't know, man. It doesn't look like you do anything. Like, imagine Skyrim, but without the gameplay. Or at least Skyrim Special Edition uh, with, like, ENB on or something. Pretty sure I'm in their line of fire. Time for payback. Yeah, I don't know. The trailer doesn't really do anything for me. What about the other trailer? Second trailer. See ya. See ya. Go, Travis, go. <laughs> Speed run. Speed run. Quick. Go, go, go. Is Mario a paint game? No hard feelings. I don't know that we can get there in time. Oh, we definitely can't. He's gonna he's about to get bodied right now. Bold of you to stand against me. Yeah, the whole game is literally you just like take a screenshot and then it creates like a painting. And really it's just a screenshot with a filter. And then you can place a camp or something? Oh, you're a painter. Hmm. Wow. All right, this may be impossible for this team. I'm going as fast as I possibly can and I just simply cannot make it in time. A book is not a game. A movie is not a game. <laughs> Skyrim, the furry walking sim. Yeah, I'm looking at the trailer without the music on, and it kind of gives you a different perspective, because then it doesn't have, like, the emotional impact of music. So it really is one of those games where it's all just about, like, the feel. But, like, graphics-wise, I feel like a lot of these graphics could be store-bought assets. They don't have a unique style to them. The game is overall pleasing to look at, but it does have like a kind of generic 3D look to it. So it's surprising to me that this made millions of dollars. Now they did custom make a lot of these things, but I'm guessing they use things like Substance Designer and textures that are included in Substance Designer and maybe modified them or made their own textures in Substance Designer and Substance Painter to, sub or to uh, texture their assets. Now for my game, I was hand painting everything and hand sculpting everything, except for the things that I would model, of course. Uh, so when I have a trailer of that, it should have a very distinct look to it. But it's crazy to me that a game that looks like this could do as well, given that it's just atmosphere, because I feel like there's so many other games that do that better. So it's interesting to me that this even was successful. Because I just don't get it. The features, peaceful open world exploration, full of character. So you walk around an environment, 
can post paintings anywhere. You just take screenshots and then it creates a little painting in front of you. Acquire crafting materials to summon or to surmount obstacles and solve quests. Okay, so there's a little bit of crafting, I guess, to probably get around problems. Uh, but no, probably not like Myst, where it's like a full-on puzzle game. Make friends along the way, fully voice dynamic conversations and unlockable topics. Yeah, I just don't get it, man. I just don't get these types of games. I think we might be not, not able to proceed here. The winding path takes too long. I mean, the short path, there's like geysers, though. I could try dropping Oakley's. Uh, what game are we talking about? I think it's called East Shade. It's a walking sim. I'm distracted by the debate. No, I'm pushing. We could try Oakley's. Now, I'm only discussing this game because the dude that made it seems to think highly of himself, if that makes sense. Because, like, I shipped this game, I'm the man type of thing. <laughs> And if the point of the game is like, it's like missed, but not, I don't know. Can these even defend? I guess these could stall. Get in there. The vid is death flawed, I am. Have you seen it? it? It popped up in my feed recently. So I was like, so this is the only reason why I'm even discussing it because it just organically appeared. Each genre has their own challenges. They do, but missed. Dude, Myst 1 was such a fun game to play, like figuring it out and just like exploring. I think that's what inspired The Witness. That was like Jonathan Blow's most recent game. Oh, there's mines too. I have to see if I can time the geyser, though I don't think that there's enough time. I don't have enough time. There's mines that will kill me and I can't heal. And then there's geysers on top of the mines. So the only way I can... I guess we'll just have to play the map straight. Uh, let's drop... Uh, who do I want pushing? This pushes, this holds. For now. Seen the vid yesterday, I wasn't impressed. Their mindset wouldn't work in a lot of circumstances. Don't worry. Honestly, I think they got a lucky hit on their game. Or they have a big enough following to promote their thing to. Yeah, there's geysers. <laughs> the geysers make this hard. I have no speed boosts because items are banned, Valor is banned. Well, at least we're getting significant pushback. Though this is not a main quest, so. I'll show you what a witch can do. No, oh, let me mute. Don't give me a full size ad. Thank you. I want to look at their gameplay now. Let's see. Uh, there's no like camera bob either. The camera is just like static. There's no like feel to it. If I made a first person immersive game, when you walk, the camera would shift. When you're idle, it would like pan and like rotate and slightly. It literally seems like bare bones, just like you're a 3D camera with like 100% control for like a for like a feel game you want it to have as much like personality as possible okay it's a sequel there may be an existing audience wait was it a sequel yeah that's probably it too all my homies hate camera bob it makes me want to vomit for an exploration game though that's all about like moving around there's no object highlighting when you pick things up, like in Bioshock or anything like that for emphasis, which would be an easy feature to add through shaders. 
Now, I know some Unreal 4 or Unreal 5 stuff, so to me, this is like they just put a bunch of things in Unreal, just did some basic UI overlays, uh, added some sound effects and some visual things. Yeah, like the UI things just pop up immediately. They don't like transition in or out. Very like bare bones. I mean, it made a millions of dollars, so good for them, but technically speaking, it would not be hard to make a game like this. NPCs don't even head track. <laughs> oh man. So like when it, when you walk near an NPC, typically in modern games, they will head track and look at you, or at least their eyes will. They don't even have that in. That's very basic to add. It looks like they head track when you interact with them. How's the game going? We are potentially not able to beat this map due to distance constraints. That is seemingly the issue. No hard feelings. Browse your paintings. It almost looks like modded Oblivion. The game almost looks exactly like modded Oblivion. Now, I'm not saying they used modded Oblivion assets. I mean, like, visually. I have chronic fatigue. I'm always sleeping. <laughs> Fix your sleep schedule, young man. Wait, you both are always sleeping? <laughs> I, like, I'm getting, like, no sleep lately. Blaze, how dare you? I've been getting, like, a few hours of sleep a night. I have, like, the opposite problem. Do you guys even sleep? Do you even sleep, bro? Yeah, this almost looks exactly like modded Oblivion. Like with like Oblivion with like an ENB shader. See ya. <laughs> I'm drinking too much. Oh my god, dude. It looks so much like modded Oblivion. It's crazy. But Oblivion's graphics are kind of dated, so I don't know. Some of the foliage looks okay. The water looks fine, I guess. There's a journal in the game. Let's see what you're capable of. If for anyone who's wondering, I'm looking at East Shade gameplay. Only because the devs were kind of talking trash in other indie games. So I want to... So because they started talking trash, I'm now going to look at their uh, product and analyze it from the perspective of a 3D artist and also a game dev who's working on a 3D game. Uh, ooh... There's a prop that's floating. That's a very basic error. <laughs> they have a prop that's like it's a piece of cloth on a barrel and it's like a it's like 10 units or however much distance too high and it's just floating on the barrel. That's like a very basic mistake. That's very easy to avoid in a walking sim. Um I think that's also not That looks like it's in the ground. All right. You survive, too. Alright, so it's about people being lost at sea. Throwing east some shade. Throwing some east shade. Well, they're the ones talking shit about all these other indies and saying, like, just do these things, you'll be successful. I'm just responding to it. I didn't do... I'm not the one talking trash, no saying, that, oh, just do this. Yeah. Uh, the premise shows a lot. The premise shows a lot of confidence in their assets because the painting is just just amounts to looking at their assets seems kind of arrogant yeah like their assets are not that good i'll be honest with you from a 3d artist's perspective they are fine but they're not they're like serviceable but not good like looking at the props a lot of the stuff is very basic it's just basic materials and basic 3d modeling it lacks personality and character in a lot of cases, and it's just like generic architecture. Uh, like games like Mist, like this bear model I'm looking at right here, it's like a bear dude. It literally looks like a Sky or an Oblivion NPC. And I'm not saying that to, to insult them because they made this video where they're acting like they're hot shit. It's literally, the game literally looks like Oblivion in a lot of ways. Visually, it looks like the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. It just does. Go on. So, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't think we can make this here. 
Unless I can thread the needle and avoid combat with that tower. The flyer, he's about to die already. I'd say just get lucky. If I made a master class for how to be ninja, <laughs> just get lucky. Well, there's a combination of luck, skill, timing, appeal, the right people seeing it, the right people sharing it. Oh, he's about to die right now. Look at how far away we are. Yeah, this is impossible with this these conditions. He's dead already. Wait, where is Engage? Alright, I guess I'll just make a walking sim that looks like Oblivion and make millions of dollars. <laughs> I mean, that's what they did! Objectively, like, it looks like Oblivion. Am I softlocked? No, this is not a main quest. Luckily. Positionally, I'm softlocked on this map. Oh, I thank you for the super chat, Blue Penis. I don't know if I thank you for that or not. Uh, I just want to say, yeah, yeah. I read the thing, but I didn't, like, explicitly say thanks. Yeah, this is, um, it's a side quest, luckily. I don't think I can complete that quest. Like, straight up. He seemed to die way earlier this time. Yeah, I don't know, he just sucks. <laughs> it's just hard to keep him alive. All right, that's the only quest that's reliant on a green unit that's out of position. But it does unlock um, a harbor that gets you an okay item, so it's whatever. Unfortunate. There aren't other things like that, so it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, like, even their rock, their, um, what is it? Their, like, foliage looks like Oblivion. Their rock textures, their ground textures look like Oblivion. Their props look like they're from Oblivion. Like, every, it literally looks like the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, but without the, the combat and uh, less uh, stylized, because Oblivion had some style to it. Wild. But this video, this gameplay video, got 56k views and mostly likes, like 95% likes. And then the water? Yeah, the water is not very good either. They're they're reusing a kind of sweeping wave overlay texture that's like animated, that's moving on the surface of the water, but th it doesn't have randomness to it, so it just you can just tell it's the same thing being like spawned. So, I don't know. Wait, Yana's unit lost someone? Oh, that's right, we lost the one lady because she decided to be stupid. You remember when I said there wasn't another green unit thing and now there immediately is one? <laughs> Honestly, I bet you could make a better set of assets if you put in the effort yourself. Oh, I already know I can. I think my main character and rat thing look way better. Uh, for reference, so you know I'm not just like mindlessly talking shit or making things up, I'll link to a community thing. I'll show you a rat enemy in the game I'm working on. So you know that I'm not just like counter trash talking them <laughs> in reality i'm just reviewing what they've made and analyzing it i'm not really not necessarily trying to like bash it or something uh where are we uh let me show you my jester rat here now this is being rendered i did change the um i changed the let me make sure that works what did I change? I made it less red, but this is like an example. This is this is not being rendered in uh, Unreal. This is being rendered in Substance, so it'll look a little bit better. But this is an example of like a stylized rat. The background is generic. It's just like a generic environment for che uh, checking lighting, but this is like a rat enemy. It's like a jester rat that I hand sculpted and hand painted and ZBrush and Substance. The rat looks kind of, the rat looks funny. Yeah, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be like a little rat dude. Uh, and then... Uh, oh, I know the rat is good, but I can't... In good faith, call the full set of assets. Uh, you make these in Blender? No, in ZBrush. Well, no, I can make a bunch of assets. I can pump out an entire environment worth of assets for a 3D game in a month. The issue is I have to grow my YouTube and I need to eat food and not die, so... <laughs> I have to maintain my YouTube and grow it in order to pursue game development. So I'm not in a position to push into game development right now until I scale my YouTube. So that's really the issue I have right now, is just I, in order to get there. All right, we need, oh, do I need Joseph to talk? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Only Joseph can talk? Ooh, that's interesting. He's not allowed. <laughs> 
You know what? We'll we'll try to do it without him. We'll we'll follow her into hell and back. But I've done I've already done environmental assets and stuff for a different project, and it has like a similar look to it. Um, now obviously it's like a cartoony style in some ways, but. It also looks better in Unreal Engine, too. Wait, where are you at? Oh yeah, we got Berengaria back. Nice. Alright, get in there. Can we put can we push after them fast enough? I feel like Travis has to push those, and then everything else pushes the road. Let me retry. We're not allowed to recruit her. <laughs> oh no, your units have contracted green unit disease. It's terminally ill. Alright, we have a rat for you. That's just one example, though. And that's not even one of the nicer assets, either. That's just, like, a generic enemy. So, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I have to get into a better position in order to resume game development, unfortunately. <laughs> I would like to do YouTube like 20 hours a week, but currently I'm doing it like 60 in order to grow and maintain, so. We'll be doing that for a little bit. All right, you have to push. No surprise there, yeah. No surprise there, I agree. Sure. You have to push directly to stop her from being stupid. And they will be stupid, they're green units. Yes, I concur. That is what they do. Uh, couldn't you also make content on game development to combine it with what you do? Uh, what's your favorite animals and rats? I could. The issue is, though, in order to grow on YouTube, no one cares about an unknown game project, so it's not going to do well. Uh, the audience might not fit. Yeah, because people are mostly here for guides and strategy games and RPGs and stuff, so if I start pumping out game dev content they're probably not going to really tune in as much or be as interested. And also, like, in order to do game dev content, you really want to have a lot to show. And right now I have, like, a few characters that are done, and I haven't been able to make as much progress because I have to grow my... U so I, I just don't have enough time right now to work on it as much as I would like to. Usually by the time I could work on it, it's like 5 p.m. I got up at like 5 or 6 a.m., did videos, streamed for like eight hours, did more videos or went to the gym or whatever. And then it's, I go to bed in like three hours. So I could do these like 16 hour days, but it does get draining. So I'm gonna try to like manage my energy better. Uh, I like the game. I don't know, I like a game with a funny rat. Uh, also, game dev content mostly attracts other devs, not gamers. Right! That's also true. That is also true. Jesus Christ, they are spamming! Dude, look at... They are trying to murder Virginia. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> look at this! They are just spamming catapults at her. <laughs> and she's like, I am the... Or what is it? I am a surgeon? I didn't have a choice. She is the surgeon. There in a second. Dr. Han. Dang, they're spamming catapults at me, too. Uh, kill this tower. I'll see what I can do. Honestly, this game is getting fun now. Make it quick. With uh, some of these uh, scenarios. No hard feelings. Uh, do I have time? I can't talk to her, right? She's too, like, angry. Yeah, she's too angry for me to talk sense into her. I guess I'll kill this really quick. We'll try to take out as much as we can as fast as we can. I'm doing Coliseum on Zenorian right now, and I've used Travis and Yana. It's LV, it's so easy. Nice. My teammate has a game dev channel, and most of the viewers are devs from what I've seen. Yeah, because, like, most people do not want to see how a game is made. They just want to play a game that is made, or to see, like, a trailer or something. So it's a very niche interest, and typically it's just going to attract other people who either want to be devs or who are devs. Now, could you sell a game to other devs? You could. So you could potentially get sales through that, but it's difficult. 
you know? Because ultimately you need to connect with the mainstream audience you're trying to sell to. And then if you can't do that, then your game probably isn't going to sell very well. Or at least not up front. <laughs> no, not cousin waifu. Yeah. Do I lose if she dies though? Oh, Alright, we need long. to push. Thank God Travis is 170 mobility, dude. This <laughs> would be so cursed without that. Uh, just do an attack. Just do a basic attack, and then we'll push that catapult. Who wants it? Who needs XP? Level 16 enemies? Um, you guys. We'll watch some of these occasionally. Magellan. I can't fail a little closer to my former strength. The hell is Magellan? I'll show you what a witch is that a unit we've never used? I bet it is. Is that all? All right, go, go, go! Protect the green units. Oh God! <laughs> I can't talk to her because I, I can't use Joseph. That was a serious question. What was? He's one of the suit, or was that? He's one of the super tax bros. I don't know. I don't know about that. I think he's he's uh, potentially a not good unit. No. <laughs> a lot of folks like to talk about wanting to be game dev, but don't actually do it or watch real content related to it. That's something I've run into. Now I have solo dev'd. Uh, two two-year projects that flopped. The first one made the most money of the two, but it did not make enough to justify making another one of it. Uh, my art was much worse, though, when I made it, so it makes sense that it flopped, honestly. Uh, but beyond that, we need to kill this thing. It uh, had other problems, uh, like difficulty curve was a big issue. The, um, explaining the mechanics was an issue, tutorial was an issue. See what I can do. So there were a lot of like problems with it that needed addressed. Now what the hell are these guys doing? There's just like dudes over here. <laughs> I don't trust them either because they're just over there. Don't worry. Oh wait, I'll kill this? Yes, I can for anything. I advance. Simply say yeah, the kill word. this thing, push. It'll Aspiring be... devs not actually doing it is better for us devs. The market is already so crowded. Yeah, it is. It is very crowded. Oh no, she's about to get catapulted. Kneel before. Oh boy. Well, maybe she runs out of stamina and just sits there. Bold of you to stand again. We must play careful. Our success is inevitable. Hmm. She's narrowly avoiding these catapults consistently. I do not trust her positioning. I'm <laughs> like diving to save her from catapults. You know what? I am the catapults. Uh, we need someone who can win. Mm, we need someone who can win. Thank you. What do you need? I'll see what I can do. Hope you've made your peace. No hard feelings. I want people to succeed. It's just the grand scheme of things. It's probably better for us. Maybe. You dare Jesus, she's about to die. Now, can she die and it's fine? Please, your highness, we must hurry. Hold on, let me toggle chat to see. Oh, she can lose us the map. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, well that changes everything. That changes a lot of things, really. I need to get rid of these catapults. Now, if I can get rid of the catapults and push faster than she can, which I can, I should be fine. What do you think about Dragon Hold is you never had enemies? Uh, just being over there in Elfheim. <laughs> this is now an escort mission. 
Hope you've made your peace. No hard feelings. Yeah? I think I can make it in time. Oh, what's long. her matchup? I can't check her forecast. Ugh. All right, I cannot check her forecast. Oh, wait. Uh, disembark. Guide me, oh father. Fire. This should be a win. Let's see what Good. You're they have Berengaria. <laughs> she has Rose stun. Berengaria, unfortunately, just eclipses Viking so hard. Alright, she heals. That's good, at least. Is anyone surprised? <laughs> Is anyone surprised? Dude, get less sass. What are you doing? Did we kill? We did not kill. Oh, no, we did kill. Perfect. Alright, these? I think these are sitting there, aren't they? What else can I hit? I could hit this. All right, keep pushing. I have to stop these reinforcements. Payback. Um. What else do we have? Magic attack, cap slayer. What's their formation? Abs. Um. Cab slayer. All right, that just kills. That's fine. <laughs> I was gonna say Cav Slayer the Radiant Knight just to stop heals, but it looks like it just works. <laughs> it's like Todd Howard said, it just works. You only get one to two Berengaria though. Sure. But how many, how many Berengarias do you need? You only really need one to two Berengarias. All right, so I have to. I would say push immediately. I'm gonna push. Do I camp her? No, I think we these push. I don't know if they'll catch up. What's her move speed? What's your move speed? 123 mobility. Or 90. All right, good. 90. But actually, hold on. What's the average? Is it shit? Does it say? I guess she's 90 mobility. All right, who's fast? I'll view. 85, 95. All right, become faster. Great. Uh, and then we can deploy from here. Go on. Here we go. This is what's going to be the winning strategy, I think. Stamina tank. <laughs> it's going to tank stamina for me. All right, push this campfire with me. Yeah. We're diving the boss. There in a second. Get wrecked. <laughs> Get wrecked. Did you need me? Oh, they're pushing now. They're pushing with low HP though. We're fine. Hope you've made try me. All right, bounce these. Thank you. I'm not sure I can wait. First strike? Come on, dude. All right, we have we have a thing. You need a second Baron Guardian. There are things that do that. Uh, what genre of games did you develop before? Um, mostly action 2D platformers, but that's a very, I do not recommend making one of those. That is an extremely oversaturated space. There's a ton of those. There's so many of those, it's ridiculous. Do not make a 2D platformer unless it's exceptional as hell. There are a metric ton of them. <laughs> a metric ton. Oh, come on. Can't bounce these? You have like a hammer. How does Heavy Smash not connect? He just like failing? Is he missing? Alright. I was hoping to have them stamina bounce so that I can push better, but I might just have to wait. She's very far behind. So at least that's good. Alright, can you clean these up at least? Heading there now. Yeah? Uh I'm waiting. I build uh, like a cooking game for children is my final project in college. That's cool. Making a game you don't like is doomed to fail. Maybe. I never doubted myself. You have to be like, you do have to be competitive because it is a competitive market. So like that aspect of the one video is not wrong. I'm prepared for anything. Uh, but. Is that all? 
if you i mean you can make the game that makes the most money if, if you're trying to be successful it's probably optimal so it's not bad advice that's what their advice was this mistake twice it might not be the game you want to make though but it could be it could turn a profit and then you can make the game you want to make with a uh, budget so but obviously it's not as easy as just like saying you're competitive you have to actually have a following and like there's a lot of moving parts to this thing you have to have a following that's interested in the project you have to know what you're doing <laughs> in terms of making it technically I never miss my time. dang first strike you only do that uh we hit that you not kill this in the opening what's going on here maybe get give you more damage here have a black iron sword all right you also need to constantly ask yourself what sets you apart from all those games of the same genre it's almost a bad idea to make your dream project in your first game yeah it is it definitely is I'm ready. Kill. Did you use Unity or Unreal for game development? I've used Unity with C Sharp, and I coded all the scripts using uh, Notepad++. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. Microsoft, what is Microsoft's development environment? There's a thing you get, you can download, it's free. It's like Microsoft's software development kit or whatever, or whatever it is, and you can develop using C Sharp alongside like Unity. So I've made four Unity games. I made a game in Impact.js, which is a JavaScript-based game engine. And then I've, I'm working on an Unreal game right now. So I do know Unity very well. Uh, but for 3D, Unity's performance seems not as good as Unreal, as far as I can tell. A game that would make you a lot of money, I guess Booba Gotcha game. I don't know that that would work. Right. All, ours. All right, we got that. What's Stop. Next? Just tell me what to do. Uh. Catapult. Clear. What do you need? You're gonna catapult that guy. You need me? You're gonna kill that. Oh, we've reset. All right, this is moving. Give it some lead. Okay, and then this. Go on. I think we body these, don't we? Oh yeah, we body those. All right, just go right to the campfire. I'm ready. Okay, that's presents an issue. Oh, she's getting close now. I'm gonna have to bodyguard her. Potentially. I'll make it quick. A lot of Booba Gotcha games have failed, actually. I was just about to say that. A lot of things seem like they're easy no-brainers, but you only see the successes. You do not see the hundred clones that failed. Or if you do, you're looking for that. <laughs> All right, that was a decent snipe. Okay, now this matchup needs to be improved. Oh, it's already off. All right, get your coin. Coin, 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 coin. Coin, 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 coin. Avoid, evasion, avoidin, avoidance coin? Where is it? Oh, Cleese has it. Well, she should be, a, she should be deployed somewhere. Everyone's deployed. Where is, oh, Cleese? Here? What else? So we can run coin. Okay, that doesn't really help. Uh, I can run power belt. I can run counter belt. Now the issue is they fly. Do I have lapis? I do. Any gamblers? Coin? What? <laughs> Alright. That's terrible. I love when RNG is just abysmal. 
somehow that's better so her true striking the wyverns apparently is a bad idea here have a carnelian and do like archery business okay all right let's take him off gambler's coin you know because adding damage is worse <laughs> than not having damage uh go to dancers and powerful call back row okay what about you get on evasion where is evasion i should have extra silicon scarves i do not <laughs> it's probably part of the issue okay I think we just have bad RNG, possibly. Get on the Silk Scarf. Yeah, that's the same result. That's better. All right, as long as we win, we kill a Wyvern. The Wyverns are probably negating attacks or just dodge tanking. Who's my target? Oof, a first strike advantage. <laughs> it's a false first strike advantage. I'll make it quick. I just want my awful booba shooters, not like Splatoon, but swimsuit girl game on PS4. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> what? I don't know about game development. I relate to you a bit as artists trying to learn or trying to earn a buck that's having to learn a myriad of skills besides the craft itself. Yeah. Dang, dude, they're popping out these reinforcements. Um. I have a play. It's risky. Do you need something? Not that. <laughs> oh, she's died. Dang, dude, you died. All right, get unequipped. Wow. Well, that explains it. I've arrived after me. Yeah. Won't take long. Get there, Berengaria, quick. What now? Quick. Quick! Ah! <laughs> Not this. <laughs> this is fine. Ah! I was solo until I found a teammate never going back. You have to do too many things. Your mood just can't swap around. Yeah, doing solo sucks. It's terrible. Honestly, I want to find a good Unreal dev or at least someone who has, like, a coding background and the work ethic for it. Is that all? Um, get in there. What next? Get in there. Who's my target? Understood. Hit. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. Why can't you survive, man? You're like an archer. Archer is such a meme. Doesn't do what you want it to. Doesn't kill flyers. Which is what we've been conditioned for. Alright, who of you can avoid tank? You can. Alright, you're the avoid tank now. Look at me, I am the captain now. Alright, they survive. Now let's see if we can get them doing better than surviving. How do we deal zero damage? What the hell? How do we deal zero? They don't even have healing. Here, I'm gonna have you... What does dual shot look like? Does he? Oh, he dies immediately, huh? So that must be what's going on. Uh, what about Dove Plume? <laughs> what about Dove Plume? Dies even faster. All right, that's not ideal, we'll say, but certainly something. What about this? Okay, that's much worse. I'd rather survive than die, obviously. The B team. You know what? Just don't die. I guess. What about you? What are you doing? Heal. Don't waste a heal. Hmm. Someone. Oh, she's dying. They're focusing her. All right. You know what? You're focusing her. They're one-shotting her. 
they're one-shotting <laughs> how does she not proc toughness <laughs> activates for being attacked um let's just find out okay he avoids okay oh does she passive heal fresh oh he's dying it's not her that's dying guard seal zero damage Whatever happened to Stakona? Um, he was actually ICG's alt trying to drive audience interactions. I knew it. Oh my god. Please hit. Oh! <laughs> my timing. Alright, this unit's dead for now. The alt's conspiracy. I can't... We're outsourced. Let's take what's ours. I have to go push yeah. that. That group failed to kill a single enemy group, so now I have to do it. Well, I'll make my mark. All right, push, even though you're not going to make it in time. I'll see what I can do. Actually, I'm going to stay go near on. her. Yeah. Sure. Let's take what's ours. Their eyes are on me. Yeah? There in a second. Let's take what's ours. Yeah? I don't think I can switch with her, so I have to be the- No! What are you doing? Can I switch with her? Oh my god, you idiot. She's gonna throw so hard. Alright, good. At least I can kill this. And then just body block the rest. She's throwing so hard, dude. She's such an idiot. Alright, he's going for me. My actually good group can take these out easily. <laughs> D blame will never catch. I've made up my mind. Go on. Sure. <laughs> Fram. Ah. Make it quick. The alt conspiracy. I didn't have a choice. I think Stakona's account is older than mine though. What's ours? There in a second. That'd be a pretty impressive alt. Hope you've made your peace. Can I one round the boss no, before they spawn friends. things? Yeah. Um, I have to long. push. At the very least. They won't escape. Oh, you're not even pushing. <laughs> ICG's 10 year plan. Oh, wait. No, 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 well, Fire. And clear. I'm here. Please don't kill Virginia. Now is our chance. Another cat. Oh, God. All right, I have to find the kill. What? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, I have to kill them. Thank God. Oh, my God, dude. She is going to die from that attack, by the way. Oh. Oh. She is going to die from that attack. Stakona is ICG. It's my alter ego that's obsessed with Boucheron. Oh, if we didn't have this, that was a loss. She will die. I have. I had to get this kill. I also have one stamina, so I couldn't bounce off. Yeah, it's pretty close. Dang, dude. No, cousin waifu. It's a game over condition if she loses. Or it's a battle over. So she cannot die. That'll do for now. You don't like the missions or the AI is bad? I think the other mission is poorly designed, but this one's fine. Obviously, you'll have Joseph when you're playing the game to talk to her. Aha! 
What's your Twitch link? I don't have a Twitch. <laughs> Thank God, cousin waifu. It is done. So it is. She didn't do it. Why is she standing like she did that shit? <laughs> she almost got killed by a catapult on zero stamina. She didn't kill the boss. I killed the boss. She needs to get off of that situation. She finds herself in. If only she wasn't your cousin. People go hard for the cousins, dude. We are going to be playing Dragon's Dogma later tonight. I have to download and install it though, so even though it's, it launches at 8 on Steam, it'll probably take, I'll probably be like starting like 8.15, 8.30. I would be fine if the game gave us control of the character, which the mission hinges on. It's standard green unit behavior, really. Honestly, it was kind of fun to have to play around that, because like most of these missions are too easy. Flame brand tome. Yeah, I'll take a flame brand tome. Why not? A good item. Can you marry her? <laughs> Can you marry your cousin? Her personality is literally best girl, but she's your cousin. Who is the best girl in this game? I don't need the station anymore. Because we already have this area cleared, so it doesn't really matter. Miriam? I can run some polls, we'll figure out objectively, because that's how... As long as people agree, a thing is true. <laughs> doesn't matter, nothing, nothing else matters, as long as everyone's in agreement. Or the majority is in agreement. What is this? Have I found this before? Oh yeah, you have to, it's a treasure hunt. Location. Joseph, yeah. Clive is best girl, yeah, that's fair. Audience subjectivity equals objectivity. Exactly. That's how we roll on this channel. <laughs> Quick barrier is quite good. Shadow thrust. Attack a calm and flicks blindness. I feel like that's good too. I just like to have things in case I need to pull out some weird trinket for like a specific matchup. Pretty sure you can do the unicorn marriage scene with her for the special ring. Yeah, you can. They let you marry your cousin for some reason. They allow it. <clears throat> just buy everything in case I forget, yeah. <laughs> I wish I could do that IRL, yeah. I have just like extra money. A battle for Vansburg. Oh, we're sitting on some liberations, huh? Liberation. Uh, that's in there. I already checked there. This one, I think, is impossible. Unless I get access to a faster class. Faster than Thief that's not a mount, which... Technically, I could do it nighttime with the furry characters. They could be fast enough to go save that guy. So there is hope that we can beat it. It's medieval times, I am done. This game is unrealistic, because no way in hell medieval food looked that good. And the food makes you hungry. Well, that's part of the experience. Experience of hunger. Where Owl gets nighttime speed boost and flies. Looking to beat the heat, are we? Let me know what you need. Let's see. Elaine. Get this up. Who else is in this group? Bernice. Is Bernice gonna stay in this group though? Whatever. Use a free meal ticket? You're gonna love this. Can we eat yet? Yeah, there's no way the food looked like that. I could eat this, but I just can't get oh. as though it were made by the royal chef. 
feel. So why do you need to upgrade the town? You get money for it. You get money and honors, so it helps. Now I can do these liberations. I want to get large woman. Because she is a good unit. And this is a run without mounts, so. I need to make the B teams better. Missed opportunity. Oh yeah, let me promote. You can marry everyone except that fighter that comes with Melisandre. Missed opportunity? Yeah, Colm, the old guy. <laughs> Do I really want to run him? I feel like I'm going to replace him soon. I'll hold off on, it, on wasting the honors and stuff. Let's go to Coliseum and see what we can get away with. Alright, it's a bunch of warriors. I want to say, well... We probably want board freeze, which we don't have right now. However, I can ice conferral. And then freeze a dude. Let's try just like gimmicks <laughs> immediately. Immediate gimmicks. Uh, combatant status, not frozen. Freeze the back row. Uh, I think we just drop you. Or no, you could Tailwind us. Well, no, who can Tailwind us? Probably want the Shaman. The Druid, rather. Because we want to just win on damage. And then probably a healer. So that we stun, freeze, freeze. And then she stops attacking. <laughs> We're going to go right for the gimmick. We don't... <laughs> we don't try hard here. No, we usually do, actually, but... Today, we're just trying to get large women, so... We're trying to unlock the mysteries of life. What do we want? We want damage. So I have a warrior. Oh, no, she wants speed. She wants plume. That's what I'm looking for. All right, I have a plume. Oh, I don't have... I can't tailwind. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll just tailwind. It's like, you don't have that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, offensive curse purchase front row. Now I don't think this. Uh, yeah, row is with most combatants. Don't do powerful call. So what else can she do? So quick curse definitely helps if they get attacks off. The burn will help for damage. Then we want some kind of healer. And we need to get her Cursed Swamp. Or no, she has Eye of the Warrior Princess. Which is my, a net minus 10. Uh, so it's the same. But you here. Doesn't really matter. Ice Bolt. Back row not frozen. So we'll just try to dominate on Freeze. And then this will debuff. Dancer's Bracelet's redundant here. We need something else. Maybe a situational cleanse or something. Do you have access to a better cleanse? Uh, she could do this too. Here we go. Yeah, use that. <laughs> use that. That's good. And then we'll add the, our best cleric. Our best whatever. Where is it? Surely I have a promoted thing, right? Highest level. We need to promote her. Hmm. Yeah, run that. Heal. Lowest. Quick heal. Target is less than 75. And then I would say active. We just want to get heals off, really. And then maybe this. And then we'll, we'll promote her really quick. 
Punching amulet? <laughs> Cheese time? Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's the whole game. It's programming nonsense so that you immediately win combats. Do you get XP from the fights? I don't think so. All right, Prim, where are you? Or not Prim. Titania. Hey. She does a little spin. And you'll love to see it. All right, how did Rogue Video do? All right, that's good. No dislikes. Any comments? <laughs> it's an item you can find in the furry light. Yeah, I thought, people thought it was funny. Uh, I don't need to think too much from the energy. Up, buffer bots. Yeah, he's a good unit. Very cool. It's like to make sure there's no glaring mistakes that someone's like, oh, this is way wrong or something. Alright. We'll save it. We'll try it. We'll see how far we can get. I can always come back when I have, uh... Frost Conferral level 30 board nuke. That's like the easiest way to beat it. So battle. Alright, and then you... Do not... Oh yeah. I think I want to disable this actually. <laughs> you do not attack Frozen right now. Not Frozen. Alright, what about weapons? Or better weapon. I mean, this is just bigger damage, more initiative, so let's run that. What about the shield? There is an initiative plus like three or four shield that she could be running. All right, let's see. We'll watch it to troubleshoot it. <laughs> Give me a fair fight, yeah? We might even kill these. Because they're low enough level. No, we don't. Alright, that's fine. Offensive curse. Cool. Doesn't really matter. Alright, we win. As long as we don't. Take better care of yourself. <laughs> We're just going straight for the gun. <laughs> Offensive curse. This doesn't break freeze, right? Nope. For fantastic. Oh, she only will offensive curse. Barbarian axe. We can add. Sure, you can afford to be wasting time. It's no waste. You said you would join our contingent. What? <laughs> Confident little guy. Fight your way up the ranks, then. I want to see just how far. A <laughs> fair fight, sir. This is Unicorn Overlord. Exactly. They don't know what planet they're on. Here, let's do this. Or I guess I can customize it here. The Jovial Knights. First action. And yeah, then she'll burn. Because burn shouldn't break. Actually, maybe we just fire curse. Screw it. <laughs> We're just going to burn them. It's a battle. Keep going. <laughs> Make this one fun for me, hmm? Huh? Fun for you? What the hell are you talking about? Good. They all quick guarded, but it did not matter. Burn. Oh, you can set them on fire? That's so illogical, but it's great. No, I don't think it procs, so I think they're just on fire. Are you banning Coliseum rewards? Uh, no, I'm allowing it. I don't think it really matters that much. Burn level two. Heal. All right, the burn is redundant, so she should just use Offensive Curse. And I think, can you prioritize Not Frozen? Well, I guess you should just, yeah, she'll just debuff. I already banned so much that I don't want to ban these two. I don't think it really matters, honestly, but oh, I forgot to change her thing. Hit me with everything you got. Who can I sub out for the girl in the front? A Wyvern? Um, there's a board nuke with Dragoon that uses quick impetus. All right, we do not need to burn. And we have a freeze. Heal. Oh, she should not be healing if no one's hurt. 
She's just wasting abilities. Fire curse. She needs to offensive curse, not frozen, and that'll immediately help us. Yeah, then she freezes the remaining. That's the best part. All right, we need to optimize this slightly, but we're winning fights. We're getting little dumb items. All right, so you just use offensive curse, prioritize, or I guess, let's do this, not frozen. So that way, whatever is not frozen gets cursed and then passive curse, we shouldn't really do. Unless I need it. And then Magic Barrier is fine. Quick Curse is fine. And Charm of Warding. Yeah, that's fine. And then you stop healing. Oh, I guess it's lowest. She's always going to heal lowest HP. Uh, lowest HP. And this. Yeah. That's fine. So if there's no one below 75, do not heal. Because we might actually need it. <laughs> Instead of just wasting it. Oh, and then she, gets, she gains a passive slot as well. So she could run like a Lapis. Or maybe there's like something better. Party aid. Quick barrier. Hmm. I don't have like any follow up heal stuff. I guess just do whatever. Evasion tanking, maybe? Where is it? Yeah, just a scarf. Okay, that should be fine. Underestimate us will be the last mistake you make. I love when people say that unironically in real life and they don't compete in anything and no one is challenging them and they just kind of say it for some reason. I don't know why that is. Oh, then we this actually might work out. <laughs> just keep freezing. Magic barrier. Oh, this might work out really well. Stand by witch. Passive curse. Oh, uh, because there's... The, oh, and she won't row attack with the freeze. Or with the debuff. They're also debuffed anyways. So it kind of works out because she goes before the witch. This is a nice little gimmick team. Just debuff their offense and then tank it. Alright, we're getting there though. We want large and in charge woman so that we can be large and in charge and smack enemies the massive stick. Want to keep going? Ooh. Bad matchup. We need true strike. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be big damage. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Never mind, I lied. Yeah, no crits and attack down. I guess it is lower. We still might win just off of healing and advantage. It's a bad matchup for this team, but... Yeah, I think we went off of healing. Uh-oh. Hmm, that's the wrong row. One damage. All right, they have one more attack. We have heals though. I think we win. Quick heal. And by, and by. All right. <laughs> Even though it was a terrible matchup and we didn't have true hit, we still did okay. So flyer squads hurt us. Maybe don't hit us too hard. 
Hmm. <laughs> that was not... Alright, that's a good freeze. I can change her thing to just do it on back row. I can just manually sequence it if it becomes an issue. Oh dang. <laughs> Keen call. No crits. Oh. Just be a quick heal. It seems you need this. Nice. We win just barely. It's harder if you use items. Yeah. I mean, you get used to not using items pretty quickly. Oh, let me change... Alright, what is her role? Not frozen. Oh! Yeah, we just want it to be not frozen. And then for you... I suppose I could go for kills on Fire Curse, but let's not do that. Alright, so let's say prioritize... Back row. And then... Let's just do this. Back row, first action. And then front row. And then she will attack if they're not frozen. And then you will ice bolt, and you will ice confirl. She should only really ice confirl the front, but I can explicitly state it. And this could be changed to... Well, maybe not. <laughs> I don't have any stuffs to change it to. You get two stamina back when you grab a fort, too, so you can use that, and then of course camps. Between that, that's usually enough, those two things. And then you can always pop out a house carl. Debuff immunity, oh, that could be a problem. <laughs> Crits. Alright, that's fine. Oh, she got stunned. Oh, but the refresh. Death spin, you can furl. Alright, frozen archer. That's a curse. Back? Alright. It's a huge damage reduction. Toxic throw. Don't let it happen again. Nice. <laughs> the freeze! The magic barrier is coming in clutch too. Plus the debuff. It should be enough just to tank them out. Oh, because the, that's not frozen, she's hitting that. Still an early game in Cornea, I haven't read ma reached maps at camp yet. They have a shaman now. We do have debuff though. Or debuff cleanse, rather. Wanna keep going? Oh yeah, she also applies attack down, so this is kinda like the dream team of debuffs. <laughs> Alright, so. Quick curse. So I think she's minus 40 attack here, isn't she? What's the attack debuff from Eye of the Warrior Princess? Is it 20 or 30? Or is it 10? Like, it's one of those. One of those numbers. Sandstorm? Oh no. If only... 
cleanse your soul. Oh, that's the wrong thing. That's fine. This probably isn't gonna do much. Phantom attack, magic barrier. Get wrecked. I can do it again if that's what she does. Offensive curse. Nice. It's 20. Dang, dude, it is. So then if I get attacked, they have minus 40% damage between the shaman's quick action and then the initial debuff. That's pretty stupid, honestly. It's kind of overkill. Yeah, we're fighting another thing. We have magic negation, which is very nice. They might start getting row attacks, though. That's where we'll be in trouble. Possibly. For this one, I could have her debuff the back row's damage. Now, is it physical attack or all attack? She's down. Fine. Don't let it happen. Refresh. <laughs> nice. That spin freeze. Move an attacker. Nice. Offensive curse. On the back. Oh, yeah, that yeah, makes sense. So then they get debuffed. And then when they attack... This, this doesn't even matter now. Then it gets refreshed. So we hard counter their debuffs. Freeze a dude. Okay. Maybe she should attack the lowest magic defense for the biggest damage. Magic barrier. The magic barrier is coming in clutch here. It's a nice little item. Defensive curse. Just in case they get unfrozen. Somehow. There we go. <laughs> Very exciting battle. <laughs> Just like freezing them, dealing like 10 damage and winning. It's almost like winning on a technicality. It's kind of funny. They could just make it, and this is a brutal update, they could just make it so you have to kill them. That would change it completely. Then you'd actually have to produce a team that does enough damage to kill, instead of just, like, freezing them and dealing 10 damage. Wanna keep going? Which is how most people beat it, unless you're in your endgame or something. Attack is both. I don't know why Druid Shaman is both instead of just attack. What do you want so bad? They're stunned. Then they get offensive curse. Killing the enemy team would make this so much fun. Yeah, they probably should do that. That would be one way to get rid of Arena Cheese. Probably the easiest way to get rid of it, because then you actually have to kill the enemy team instead of just doing this nonsense. A curse. So that's a 90% damage reduction. It does one damage. <laughs> Add KO bracket. I'll cleanse your soul. Stand by, stand by, stand by. All right, <laughs> stand by. All units standing by. Red leader standing by. Uh, let's see. What is your, or not you. What is your freeze condition? Here, let's do that so you freeze the front row. Um... Yeah, I guess this is fine for now until it becomes a problem. I don't know that I can beat this with this team. I might be able to. I want to see how far I can get. Only one of us shall emerge the stronger. At least try. So right now, these are minus 70% damage when they attack. And now she's minus 20 more, so she's 10% damage. <laughs> Dealing one. <laughs> Quick curse. Fatal dive. Miss. Oh, that actually hit hard. Despite everything. Uh, maybe the bonus damage against grounded or whatever. And you go for a freeze. Get a nice little heal. 
That fatal dive almost killed. Through a fence, through all those curses too. Alright, we win. I saw a guy use solo sword mastery and sword mommy. He had to dodge all the attacks with RNG. That's a pretty funny way to get to do it as well. If they don't have true hit, you can easily get away with something like that. I wish I had the row freeze on witch because this would make it so much easier. Not that it's hard right now, but it would certainly help. I think she unlocks it like level 25 though. Oh, it's skill. Oh, it's HP based. Okay. Yeah, otherwise I was wondering why it did so much damage. Guard stun. You can't dodge true hit, but you can parry and block it. <laughs> Pro shoots. So this should deal almost nothing. <laughs> Ones and twos, dude, it's so stupid. We're just winning off of like chip damage and freeze. It's so silly. Nine damage, then she quick heals. Her true attacks are melee, so they can be parried. Nice. <laughs> the freeze. Alright. Stand by. Standing by. For combat. The Desert Destroyers. They're almost halfway through it. You're welcome to surrender anytime you want. Wanna keep going? I don't think so, buddy. You might learn something. Uh oh, Wait. blocker. In this might hurt actually. It did some damage. Do you want to die? Ever weaker. Winter Mmm. Your strength failed. <laughs> Even if they don't get frozen though, 90% damage reduction kills most damage. Go on then. Magic confirms. What are they gonna do? Wide smash? One damage, alright. We'll just see if we win. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Witches? That's an interesting comp. Let's see. They lack damage though outside of the witch. The witch might immediately freeze with quick cast. At least try. Yeah, she's gonna immediately freeze. Oh, I need the magic barrier the healer. Oh wait. Oh, it didn't row attack. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought she was gonna row freeze. I'm so used to that from endgame maps. I thought she was gonna row freeze and I was gonna be in trouble. Because if I would have magic barriered the priest or the bishop or whatever, she could then cleanse the debuff immediately afterwards, which would be a neat little tech. Stand by, stand by. Stand by. Getting some items. This one could be a problem, we'll see. If I miss melee and poison burst squad. Oh, where do you find the second evade cape? I don't know. There's like one that costs two that gives you like true strike afterwards or something weird. Stun immunity. I like that guard rate increase. So I guess they get frozen anyways. Defensive curse. 
So the Wyvern is going to hit 60% damage here. Okay, but we cleanse a debuff. That's fine. That's its only attack. Wait, did she not cleanse a debuff? Oh, she quick healed instead. What the hell? Heal? All right, that's fine. Uh oh, <laughs> she's gonna unfreeze him now. Down immunity. Alright. We still have heals. Yeah, we should win. Take better care of yourself. Not even worth my time. Flame javelin. Does anyone use flame javelin? Uh oh, we got flyers. I need a the eye thing. <laughs> the sniper's eye. But I can true attack. Okay, let's see. Oh wait, which can do well. I can't use the witch attack. Or I don't even have it, do I? I don't. I'm not high enough level. I can't use this and conferral. Or can I? No, these cannot conferral. They're accuracy plus axe right now. Accuracy plus 10. Alright, I have accuracy plus 10. And then instead of dove... Or no, we do want dove plume. Oh, I don't need this lapis. I don't know why I have that. Want as much accuracy as I can get. We're just gonna go for smacking them. I could run this. That kind of helps. They go for me. Alright, we'll try it. Accuracy plus 30. Make the fire build and include it. At least try. Uh oh, curse swamp could be bad. Purging the ill humors. Or not. <laughs> Let's just get the cleanse. Hit! 50s hit rates. Hit! Oh, we froze one. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, yeah, the aerial guard. This might be huge, actually. Does this hit backline? Ooh, backline can be big. Okay. She needs a not quick heal, though. She needs to refresh here. And then, obviously, we need to offensive curse the wyverns. Ooh, defensive curse. That's pretty bad. Alright, there's the refresh. Okay, so she wants to prioritize. All right, we do not want to be dying here. No. <laughs> All right, so let's say. So this gets, whoops, this gets, whoops. Like awkward to move in this way. This gets refreshed. And then instead of quick healing, prioritize this. That's better. And we could get better RNG and just hit them. And then we want to front row. And then back, or no, she doesn't have the back row. Okay. I'm gonna try this to see what happens. Just to split it apart so that I can get the curse off. You pose little threat. So when they do curse swamp, I want to debuff. So she debuffed the front last time. Or refreshed the front. So now she gets refreshed. That spin conferral. Hopefully it hits at least two. Oh, that's ideal. Offensive curse. That is ideal. I think we have it just off of that. Just freeze all of it. Flyers have a favorable matchup against us because we lack the true strike items. Don't let it happen again. I'll freeze you. 
All right, I think that's it. I <laughs> just freeze them all <laughs> for like 10 damage. What do you have? Refresh. Okay. Magic barrier as well. All right. No, all right, she's gonna refresh before quick heal. That it's we still could be okay here. Still could be fine. Oh wait. You don't have to be in the front anymore. Perhaps we can be friends. <laughs> what? Try. No, we cannot be friends. That's not the way this works. Okay? Oh, what the hell? That chick looks cool. They're all like solid black armor. She's like Edge Lord, <laughs> Edge Lord Bishop. Oh, she wasted her passives. Now they stay frozen. Oh, and then we need to change our offensive curse back to backline if this guy's damage is big. All right, their healer's frozen. He's minus 40% and she's not an armored. Okay. I'll cleanse your soul. It seems you need this. I think we freeze him. Passive curse. Yep. Alright, we need to change it back to one two punch. Freeze the front, debuff the back. Feels like this setup will lose once you get five man parties. We'll see. Here's the here's the first five man party. Their initial hits are forty percent debuffed unless it gets cleansed. That shuts down their heals. Defensive curse their back line. They have low, they have low damage now, seventy percent less damage, and then when it gets quick curse, they have ninety. Yes, okay, so it does almost nothing. Guard hunter. The Ill and we have magic barrier too. Oh, what did she miss? That's for redundancy. One damage. Oh, she missed eighty twos. Okay. Don't let it happen again. Alright. <laughs> Alright, first five minutes. What? Wait, excuse me? How did we lose? Oh, I should have watched that. I thought we had that. What the hell? How did we lose? I mean, missing the freezes was a critical point of failure, but like... Did they have just slightly higher damage? Oh, I should have watched that. I thought I had it in the bag. The hell? How did we lose that? Did they just have slightly higher damage somehow? Maybe she didn't heal because the healing threshold was too low? Maybe it just doesn't heal. Yeah, it looks like she's not healing anyways. And she could be. I need to just set it on lowest for this one. Ice. 
Yeah, I guess that's what it is. That's what it is. We're not dealing enough damage. <laughs> I like how it looks like they got like super destroyed. All right, we need to change our healing condition. All right, lowest percent. <laughs> I was very surprised by that. They did slightly more damage to us than we did to them. At least try. All right, do we win? Fantastic. <laughs> Give me that extra runic sword. Okay, these guys now. So she lifesavers and quick heals first. So she's gonna quick heal and possibly refresh the frontliners and run out for the before the freeze. So I think we have it. Maybe you prioritize back row for refreshing. Yeah, that could be a winning difference in some cases. Let's have some fun. I think she'll remove, right? Provoke. Refresh. All right, so she didn't. The other me thing didn't refresh yet. Oh, this is bad. Actually, I might refresh one. Or no, maybe it quick heals. Yeah, quick heal. Okay. Offensive curse backline. Then we freeze. Ideally, keen edge, quick curse. This should deal like nothing. One damage. Ooh, good freeze on their utility. That's huge. Yeah, now they have nothing. <laughs> now they just run out of things to do. Fantastic freeze. Another lyrical wand. All right, we've beaten two five man so far. Let's try this one. They might start getting too high of initiative, and that's where it can become a problem. Because there are some of these later teams that have like insane initiative. Nice. Want to keep going? Six damage. Be careful. Ooh. Pursuit. Do you want to die? This should help. Okay. Ah, I'm missing. Ooh, Jesus Christ. A crit? That's bad. Don't go dying on me. That random crit? I think that was bad luck, honestly. Otherwise, we have it. Yeah. I could try to make Baron Gary a tankier, too. Right now, she's kind of just like 45 HP. <laughs> Uh, Dove Plume, I don't think it matters here. Blue Spectacles do. Let's get her tanking up. We do want the accuracy. Mm. I could go for Guard Rate. And what about this? Is there anything better than this? Yeah, I guess that's fine. The aerial guard. Because it gives her a self block that's like guaranteed. It's a very fast enemy team, so. Okay, let's try it. That <laughs> 45 crit or 44 crit. Yeah, this team's very fast. We don't even get the initial debuff off before this. At least try. Okay, now they're minus 40% damage. Or at least these are. With quick curse. Okay, good. Do you want to die? Ooh, big meteor smash. Watch and learn. No! Oh, what? Did 20? Exactly 20 before the quick heal went off? Oh my god. Oh. 
Jesus. Exactly 20 from a pursuit. I'm just gonna try to see if I get better RNG. On the blocks and the damage and stuff. It doesn't help that they get like a whole set of combos off just because of speed before I can freeze them. I don't think I have anything to do instant actions either. Alright, five damage. Quick heal. Okay, that helps a lot. Throw heal, fine. Death spin. Okay, two are frozen. Following, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. Get your damage neutered. <laughs> Magic barrier, fine. Take better care of yourself. Big meteor slash. The pursuit could kill again. Jesus Christ. Oh, thank God. <laughs> the guard, plus the damage reduction. Offensive curse on the front line now. Great. This should do nothing. Crits for one. Death spin. Eh, maybe we don't want a death spin here, but... That's unfortunate. They're debuffed, so it should be a very low damage. Heal. Ice bolts, magic barrier. Fine. Should catch a heal. There we go. I just have to tank some attacks. Low damage. <laughs> Low damage. Low damage. And then we catch a heal. Alright, we win this one. <laughs> it was RNG. Hooray! RNG! Ooh, I don't like these flyers, man. We really need true strike. To deal with these freaking flyers. Oh wait, hold on, no, 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 no. Uh, get back on the plume. Raven plume would be nice too. Angel plume would be ideal, but I don't have that, so. I do have aerial block. Depends on how they attack though. And if I freeze them or not. If I freeze them, we win, I think. Yeah, because their backline shouldn't be able to cleanse. Nice, we get the initial death spin. Two coin flips. All right, we got one of them. For curse, this should be weak. Good. Cleanse. All right, their damage is terrible in the back now. I think the Griffin will go now. Ooh, but that gets. Oh, and she doesn't do the counter on that? Really? Is there a reason for that, or... You just throwing? Like, what's the deal? You just throwing? <laughs> you don't want to debuff that crit? <laughs> Is the, are the rules bad? <laughs> what did you do? Oh, uh, that's why. That's my bad. Yeah, alright. <laughs> that's, that's me throwing, technically. She, she could have debuffed that, and it probably wouldn't have killed. If we get the freeze on the row, we just win. Immediately. So I can just keep doing it until I get the, like, full row freeze. Then we just win by default. Oh, we got the half row again. Let's just see if we win. Oh, we lost again. They must have killed the back line. I really just need that true strike item. And then we could just immediately freeze the front row and then win. Let's have some fun. We'll know if it happens or not. Oops, not freezing. She said it's not worth it, she's tired. Statistically, it will happen eventually. We just need two coin flips to be heads. <laughs> we see two heads coin flips. Here, we'll watch it just to see if it does happen. At least try. 
try. It. Uh, it seems to be missing one. Let's see what happens with this. Not happening. Purging the ill humors. Give in. Maybe offensive curse in the front row wins. It probably does, because the back row seems weak anyways. And she can easily tank them. This thing is really the issue. This aerial smite. Yeah, quick curse, no crits. It seems to just kill, like, probably the witch. Yeah, <laughs> it kills the witch. All right, we need to just change the debuff to front row. That probably solves it. Watch me get the freeze now, too. Wanna keep going? Huh? Lay down. How did I do that? I think I blew my nose with the mic on. <laughs> yeah, they get a level 15. Don't let it happen again. Alright, debuff the big damage. That should help immensely. Your strength failed. This should help. She does her big thing. Then it gets minus 90%, so it should deal almost nothing. Fantastic. I'll cleanse your soul. Nice, dude. Take care then we have a second heal as well. No, don't death spin. What the hell are you doing? Oh, this is how we're losing. She's unlocking them because one is unfrozen. All right, that was critical. All right, you death spin. What? No, no, no. You death spin once, lady. All you're allowed to do. Just beat it. Just do it. You gotta do it. Let's have some fun. Get the triple freeze. I wanna see it. Alright, fine. Do we win? Good. <laughs> oh, wait, is it Eliminator? Hold on, what is Eliminator? Is that hit plus 20? It is. No. One of these is hit plus 20. Oh, this one. Oh my god, I had this the whole time. <laughs> I had this the whole time, dude. <laughs> That's so much better. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, what is the team? Uh, they have straight up evasion. This will be tricky. This will be very tricky. They can dodge her attack. Alright, just keep doing it then. Uh, offensive curse, back row, we'll just do... The front row's damage should be weak. We'll try it, we'll see how we do. Thief damage is bad, so we should be okay with this initial debuff. We just have to debuff the other things. Oh, he does this. Guard seal, passive seal. It gets cleansed, though. Then board debuff. Fresh. Oh, that's actually fine that she used that. That's fine. Okay. Oof. This might be a bad matchup. Jesus. Purging the ill humors. Ever weaker. She's gonna have to cleanse it. 
No, <laughs> we need the board freeze. And this is gonna mess. I can't hit because I have evade. Beast Slayer. Oh boy. Yeah, our whole backline's gone. We need board freeze. Or some way to disable the cleric right away, which we do not have. Unless we do. Maybe we do. Hunting Brothers. Twenty-five initiative. That's not very good. Uh, prioritize back row caster. Let's try that. We have to deal with a lot of spam. Fortunately, actually, hold on. Let me do this too. If they're gonna cleanse my curses, I might as well go for passive curse front row. Open her up to remove evade. So we'll do that. All right, let me turn chat back on. Well, it's hard to play and also do this. Yeah, we'll just get their thing. I don't know if I answered that. They get it all 15. could be a problem yeah we'll see we can hit one we hit and freeze one of the thieves quick heal ice bolt okay that's frozen he slayer oh <laughs> yeah we can't offensive curse because she cleanses it we need to get a freeze quicker on the thing or a shutdown if travis was level 25 i could pop him in here and he could just like disable yeah, I like hard counters are set up. We need like board nuke with a uh, true attack and then we have it easily. We're getting there. That's not bad considering it's just a bunch of random things I threw together. Uh, let's go to, oh yeah, we can't do the Coliseum shop for prize exchange, but we can of course use this armor. Uh, give me these. Black iron. Crit rates. Hmm. Another scarf. Just such a good item. Give me a clear side amulet too. Alright, so that was decent. We got most of the way there. Now this is not going to be a team, I would say. Actually, maybe it should be. She can give... Her advanced class can give um, defensive curse pretty soon. And what about this? Should we really conferl? Uh, let's move you off. So, eh, that's redundant healers. What else could we run? I need to think about some of these teams because some of them are just like random nonsense. It doesn't make sense. Just like on a team. <laughs> you know, there's no like synergy in their team. Just there for the ride. Let's do the battle for Vansburg. Oh, they have traps. <laughs> no, not traps. Traps are not good. I can't get around them. I just will run into it. I can send in someone ahead of me. All right, let's look at this team. 
Let's change her that like back to like a thing. All right, so do that. I do not need spectacles. This is totally fine for hit fixing. Get passive points. Elf, shaman, werewolf, swordmaster. It's a werewolf, huh? Still keep the initiative. We'll take this for big deeps. Now we do want to open with, we want someone else to be opening with like a board attack, maybe even fire. Just fire the front row <laughs> and then give her damage bonus with stun and then ice confirm to ice fire them, I guess. Um, just attack whoever. What is this even on? I can't even see. Or just back row. That's not a bad condition, honestly. All right, ice conferral, front row. It's not a bad team. Then she can tank a row attack better than she can. Just slightly. Charm of warding is anti-magic. We have some good things, I think. Offensive curse, passive curse. Fire curse them, hit them with a the thing. Maybe drop this for evasion. For row attack. Yeah, that should be better. She's on plume for spot freeze. She can have this reactivated. This team seems like it could be good now. Then we need a, a team to clear the trap. I think I know who to use. <laughs> just a guy. He's just a man with a hammer. That's what he does. That's who he is, really. Moving out. Hope you've made your peace. We'll never lose. Oh, look at this. Let's try it out. Let's see how they do. Let's have some fun. Oh, I could have passive cursed those. Oh well, we fire cursed them. You might learn something. Not a chance. Triple evade. <laughs> Ice bolt. The burn barely doesn't kill them. Toxic throw. I'll cleanse your soul. Don't let it happen again. The rule items. The rules item rules could change to last stage items. Like mantlets, bombs, barricade. I'll cleanse your soul. The stuff we never use. I could, but I don't know. It could be a thing. Burn level two. Oh, she's only gonna burn, that's right. Now we can death spin. So even against a bad matchup, they still come out relatively on top. I used a bomb exactly once. They're kind of useful. They can be used to kill enemy units if you spam them, too. They're limited in terms of... Uh, wait, what do I need to change? I have this. Front row. Uh, own condition. First action. Then offensive curse. Back row. Because yeah, we're, be, we're planning on stunning the front row. Or freezing it. Or freeze and stunning it. Out of my way. I'll make it quick. All right. I think that's just assist damage. Oh, what is he on? I want to put him back on coin. The coin keeps moving around. His people need it. Oh, I got another one from the arena. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> that's better. Use bombs to clear traps. Yeah. That's another use case, too. Better get moving. Oh, powerful call and magic attack is kind of funny. This is fine because it's a hybrid. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the damage on that lady. Hearing heal. She also can spot heal, too. Following slash. Just getting started. 
see ya. Let me toggle chat. I suggest you watch your step. Though naturally, if I, yeah, I know Hilda. You don't have to brag. I like to brag. Sure. All right, start bouncing off that. Time for payback. You know what he could also be doing? He could be med kitting. Oh yeah, we have the large kit now, dude. Yes, we have the large kit. He's a healer. Oh my god, he's a little utility. He's our little utility. We're so proud of him. Let's take what's ours. There in a second. Just tell me what. I'm gonna carefully bounce off these things in hilarious fashion. All right, go. You got this, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> That's all he was there to do. Then we can thread the needle and get in there. The large aid kit. It has a use case. Sure. Oh my god, they're so fast. Since Elaine moves ten times faster than their calves, I kept one of the hammer chicks with him to clear barricades and traps. Nice. You've got to be I'll never lose. Now, how can we turn this into a win? Oh, I think we're getting debuffed, maybe. What about passive curse? Drop the fire. Oh, it's much worse. Oh, we're getting debuffed hard, I guess. What if I move things around? What is she on? Prior his backer? Are you dying? Is that what's going on? Let's just see. Maybe she's dying in the opening. Oh wow, that cr Jesus Christ! That's some ridiculous assist damage, dude. What the hell? Just killed my witch? That's ridiculous. The assist damage is like harder than the fights. Significantly so. Offensive curse. Purging the ill humors. It seems you need this. It's ridiculous. Nice. That combo's good. Witches and thieves die a lot to assists, I find. They need supported with Valor skills and things like this. You won't make this mistake twice. I don't think we're gonna make this mistake twice. Or anyway, maybe Carnage is better. Alright, fine. Never in doubt. They're after me. Ra oh, not this. <laughs> no! It's so insane. How slow you go in this. Oh, man. I think they're going to pop out another guy. We're going to get assist spammed. No. Time is with us. <laughs> At least we take no damage. We're so slow. Pretty sure I'm in their line oh god, line. not arrow rain two. Technically, it's arrow rain one. I'm not giving up yet. No choice. This won't be fun. Yeah, he always dies to things like that. Uh, whatever. Just kill him. Kill some things. Bounce off. Give me the kill. They're tough. Hmm. Cheap assist spam. <laughs> We're losing to assist spam and nonsense. All the Valor skills are beating me. Jesus Christ. Can you kill? There's no way you can kill. You have terrible damage and you suck. Sure. So I doubt it. Alright, let's send in this. 
Maroon. Dude, that is like a sys spam the map right there. Yes, I like, get in there. Oh, now the thieves want to fight. No choice. I'll try. This doesn't get much worse than this. <laughs> the assists and then that stupid ar archer attack. Very cheap. They're tough. Damn it all. I'm not feeling. Uh, this doesn't get much worse than this. Man. Nope. No choice but to fight. Can't do much. Stay now. Oh, now he runs away? This is why you need more shield shooters for smoke bolts? A chance to earn some I'm not allowed to use Valor skills in this run, sir. <laughs> I don't think that matters literally at all. <laughs> I could just use Virginia's ability, which is objectively better. And allows every unit to push in for free. Oh, this guy didn't bounce far enough. Stay back. Oh! I'll make it quick. Let me help. Get out of here. See ya. Get in there. No. I'm not feeling. I can do it. Oh. I'm sure I can. And yet. Assist spam. Assist spam is the hardest thing to deal with in this playthrough. There in a second. I have no tools to disable it. So if I get hit, I can't res, I can't use items. Uh, Alright, I guess I have to pay this or play this map slower. Alright. Yeah, they slowed me down right before the final push and then used cheap attack. That's what I like to call it. Just because it's like, there's no counterplay against it at all outside of using your own valor. Actually, no, there is no counterplay against it. It just deals damage to you. And it's instant, so like you kind of just have to deal with it. It feels poorly designed, like the Valor skill implementation. They just do things on you, like it just does it. Now that I know that it's gonna do it, obviously I'll change my approach. But it does not feel good to fight against. It doesn't feel like they did something smart, <laughs> for example. They just used a thing, and it was it's just always good. Now, why are we not in Virginia deployed? Hold on, we're moving you. Get rid of this. Move that. We're gonna have to deploy more. This squad sucks horribly, so let's not use those. Even though they're in one of the positions that's like visible. Let's switch these. There, you get in here. It's, it's just weird. It's like if a siege weapon and fire emblem could just always work. That's how it feels when, it, when, they, when they use it as a mechanic. Who else do we have that's good? I guess we could run, not him. Oh wait, Virginia should be party leader. Yeah, that helps. And then that. Oh, it's already deployed. Oops. Okay. Okay, get in there. Anyone who isn't bad. I guess we can start leveling you up. I don't know that this team will do much, but. Range assist. Okay, do that. I stake my very honor on it. Well? Loud and clear. They won't escape. Got it. Draw. Yeah. Kill. We'll what do you do? I shall spare no effort. All right. Not much. I could make this a thing. I am allowed to use the flyer. I could fly directly to the spam. Let me restart. I don't like that it resets my teams though. It's gonna reset all the things I just changed. There is very much counterplay to it, but you banned it. Well, there's not counterplay in that it happens instantly when you're within range, so I guess you have to just assume it's going to happen. Well, you use, like, the counterplay is like you get hit by it <laughs> and then you respond to it. So, I don't know. It doesn't seem like well thought through. Right, 
uh, start with Virginia. Okay, you're the party leader. This will be Virginia squad. Okay. Then Leah, you're gone, probably. Oh, 14. We need damage units on this team. Yeah, you don't know how many Valor points they have. It just kind of like happens instantly. I think it's just not communicated well enough. What does the matchup look like? All right, do that. We'll start using Oclesis flying more. No surprise there. She's not a mount, technically speaking. So. You've made the right. What is it? The archer was really the problem there, anyways. So if we can just kill that, sure, we'll be fine. I'll make it. Kneel before me. Time for payback. Need the coin out again. All right, that should be fine. See ya. We have to kill the tower quickly. Watch what royalty can Let's do. take what's ours. There in a second. Hope you've made your peace. You dare. I'll make it quick. No hard feelings. Oh yeah, right, I changed him to a healer thing. That's much better. We need to chip heal as much as we can. I didn't have a choice. Is Chloe still avoid tanking? I don't know what she's on. In theory. Right, one of you guys is gonna have to eat the mine. I guess whoever gets the mine, whoever gets mined, gets mined. I'll do what I can. Watch this. Yes, all right. Ah, all right, whatever. I'll do what I can. Just push. Of course. All right, I guess this is them getting their valor skill. I think they get to use it. They probably get to use it. 63 damage is not very promising. Silken Scarf. Uh, maybe... Gauntlets instead? Still taking 63. Oh, she's sanguining. Okay. Rushing axe, rolling axe. Let's give him hit fix, so he can actually hit. <laughs> That's probably what's going on with that. Oh, we don't even need to really do that though. What else could you run? I could put him on silk. Everyone just gets silk. Why you want crits? Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's just on crits. Everyone should be on silk. Ideally. Let's see what happens. We do have better squads now, so we can push through. Okay, and then the magic. That magic damage, dude. Rolling axe, keen call. This should be huge damage. Quick curse. Ah, oh, of course. Defensive curse, sorry. That's good damage. One damage. 
That guy will die. Oh, I guess we have the kill, alright. Just have the axes. Been a while, how's the game going? There are some maps that give you a hard time, but most are just slightly harder than normal, I would say. Needs to be a child soldier since they yearn for the mines. That's what you get. True. No, look at the Valor attack. Alright, at least she gets arrow rain instead of my pushing team. Probably killed someone. Yeah, <laughs> killed Sharon. And now we lie. <laughs> the, uh... I think we have the kill now, though. The gravity's about to start. Go on. Very unfortunate. There in a second. All right, go, go, go quickly before gravity. No, <laughs> no, the gravity. At least we got rid of the arrow. Now we won't die while pushing. I'd not suggest sending. Though she will die if she pushes. Defense order. Defense order. Build smites. Oh, they have. What else could we do? What are you going to do? Assaulting blow? Heavy smash? What are their speeds? 18? Alright, we just need to be faster than 18. Alright, you're faster, you're faster. Alright, everyone's faster. So I think if we damage boost, we have the kills. Royal Saber, init plus 5. Fine. Uh, banishing. Lowest HP. You shield smites. I guess it doesn't matter. Lowest HP. Let's just see if we can damage fix this. Oh, I could also spam pursuit too. <laughs> just everyone pursuits, that might be enough. No one's using any of the pursuits. <laughs> just everyone pursuit spams. Yes, that's right. Stupid archers, get wrecked. <laughs> Just get pursuit spammed. Hell yeah, dude. We own these archers. <laughs> That's so dumb. Get shrecked. Alright, time for you to get the hell out of there. Your will shall be done. Oh, you can oh you're still frozen. Push! Push, push, push. There is time yet to claim victory. You don't stand a chance. Let's begin, shall we? Let's see if we can find the kill. Fresh. Oh, let's get her on pendants. Okay, it's more refreshes. Magic missile. Try fire curse. Really? Faster than them? What about damage? What about an extra attack? Okay, she's getting debuffed. Hmm. Oh wait, where's your... Really? Alright. Let's just see where it's failing. Maybe we just don't have damage against them or they're blocking or something. She should get all of her debuffs clans. Fun. 
Plus the fire curse doesn't kill? Or maybe just the shaman survives. The curse. Yeah, these definitely will die. Then she gets frozen. Heal, okay. Fire curse. Oh, I should have fire cursed the back, maybe. We were not using Oak Leafs before because of a rule. Um, let me see. Oh, uh, it just says no mounted units. Not necessarily. I'm allowed to use her. She's not a mount, so. Okay, now we have it. Oh, I ran into a thing. <laughs> I hope you're ready. But it doesn't matter that I ran into a thing. You don't Set fire it. curse not burned. Yeah, I should probably do that. Oh, they're still alive. You dare challenge. Hope you've made your peace. See ya. All right, cool. Yeah, Fire Curse, I don't want it to be around for too long. I think the plan is conferral a board nuke that does uh, like a, a condition of some kind and then Baron just uses her business. Imagine if they had unlimited slots for conditions. Now we're programming for real. There's a lot of maps that do that, where they do the gravity arrow thing. I think there's like at least three maps that come to mind in different regions that all basically are like that. Yeah, let's deliver some. Oh, I can sell items too. I haven't sold items in a while. You won't find finer Magic wall. Yeah, I'll buy that. Much obliged. This could be neat for healing. Much obliged. All right, we're gonna sell all these items now. Ren has built-in stun. Uh, wouldn't conferral burn be better? Yeah, that is usually what you do. Okay, then we have this battle. Let me go to Elven Lands. I can grab an archer. Half Elves Resolve. Start doing that business. Yeah, she's just fire cursing for now. Just temporarily. I'm just unlocking towns for items. You're too lazy to collect all the wood for black market. Is it worth it? I think the black market is decent in here. You just need 30 total, so it's not really too bad. I, I just kept checking it thinking she was taking some from me. That is not the case, though. They do not take it from you. A good time for some research. Let's take what's ours. Won't take long. I'll do what I can. Yes, all right. I won't disappoint. Hmm. Look at this guy rushing our base immediately. All the wood went to rebuilding towns. Well, you can always go back to it. Just do a bunch of battles in elven lands and you'll get wood from the uh, guard posts. The guards posted, so... Dang, those dudes got bodied. <laughs> they didn't even get anything off. I have you. As it was meant to be. Is anyone surprised? 
Well, no, I think you get... Don't you get the guard bonus no matter what region you're in? Pretty sure that's how it works. What is it? I need to fight that. Is that all? Proceed with nice. Caution. Dragoon dive. Oh, what? Fine. Dragoon dive me. But you will die now. That's what you get. Watch what royal. All right, go heal. Something's amiss. Uh oh, blaze! No, <laughs> don't blaze me. For one damage, a proc is not needed. Shaman leader is good instead of radiant knight because I don't have radiant knight. But if I had radiant knight, it'd be better. Time. I'll make it quick. It's good for negating magic assists or nullifying it most. Pro death was super, was per character, not per unit, that would be hell. That would be interesting. So every unit has at least uh, one unique class. Is there one in Albion? And is it good? Uh, Albion, I don't think, gives you uniques. I think they just give you generic feathers. Because, like, I think people thought Feather Sword was unique, but that's actually a generic class. What I do? Yes. Of course. Go on. Take what's ours. I right, do not pinball. Excellent. What's next? I'll make it quick. Oh, I should really be changing party leaders for assists and stuff. The permadeath advertisement everyone's been doing on YouTube is misinfo. Reviving is so easy. Wait, people have been saying there's permadeath? Have they even played the difficulty? Because I think in my guide, or my uh, overview, I go over exactly what happens and even show it, like with a retreated unit, so. Are people saying it's permadeath? Because it's not, that's funny. That's what happens when you read a thing and don't actually do it. <laughs> You're like, you, you assume that it's accurate, but it's not. It's all a conspiracy. Of impermanent death. Let's get some deliveries. It's... Now give me item. So what do you got? You won't find finer weapons than all of Interesting. This could be useful for just like chip healing, I guess. A lot of people, even YouTubers, say TZ is permanent death. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Do I have a hand mirror? Huh. I suppose I could hand mirror someone. Alright, wasn't there like some meme being spread on my channel about um, hand mirroring for mobility or something? Which is not something you can do, but... <laughs> That's quite funny. Where's the journal? Oh yeah, let's do these. This last one. This drinking old cemetery. Oh, I haven't done that. I haven't done the treasure. Everyone's favorite part. <laughs> it's the treasure. Everyone's favorite thing. I'll kill this really quick. Or almost kill it. Is it? Nice. Left blood staff. Gravekeeper Lantern. You give some interesting utilities. We'll take them, I guess. Oh, there we go. I think that's where we get the journal. The plus five stats axe. Give me your honors. Ah, oh, we're just getting debuffed. Can't kill. Ah, oh, it's not the journal. What is it? Hmm. Okay, another Watchman's Lantern. Pretty good item, actually. Objectively useful. It's great in Angel Lands, too. And they're free. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but this harbor is ours. Not anymore. Oh, really? Level 24? Alright, maybe not. Let's do that later. Maybe it is theirs. <laughs> maybe it is their harbor. I misspoke. Uh, let's go to the mines of Moria. Let's 
I'm missing the journal, I believe. Yeah, I don't think I have the journal. Test of Might. Yeah. Where is the journal, anyways? It's the cheat your way to Bastorius fight. I probably can do that soon. Mm, need to find the journal. Yeah, it's the same way with the Elven Lands, or the same thing in the Elven Lands. There's a thing that gets you to the Angel Lands quicker. You completely, you can completely skip Bastorius and start getting forages and stuff. How would you one up this challenge? Uh, maybe only do main quests or something. That'd be one way to do it. Hmm. Where's the journal? Journals in desert? Oh, desert runes. Alright, cool. Yeah, might as well do that, right? Because it's the axe weapon, isn't it? Plus five to stats for Berengaria. I want to see calves only, like literally just calves only. <laughs> Mercs only genocide route. Like cell swords and stuff. Cell swords and sword fighters and things like this. Oh wait, isn't it in that tower? Play blindfolded one finger on a shock collar <laughs> Is this it? I think this is it. Yes, perfect. Another journal. Perfect, dude. Give me your journal. Should be overworld. Scorpion, Reaper, Cockatrice, Wyvern. Alright, cool. <laughs> just This one just tells you. Scorpion. Oh, I need to fix the bridge, don't I? Shit. It is not good. Let's see if we can. Oh, all right, how much do I have? Does it, does it say? Not right now. Shame. How much do I have? Not before. Oof. I need 21 more. All right. That's painful. Oh, maybe there's some over here. Let's explore a bit. 21 more, dude. That is a non-trivial amount of lumber. Nope. Just, like, table scraps. Oh. Oh, man. That is gonna be a situation. So, we're not doing that. I could do the mines. Yeah, let's do some mining. You'll love to see it. Not right now. Like, 400, whatever. If only I could mine wood. They should just let us cut down wood. And then we can ask other people what their wood cutting levels are. Because <laughs> everything is old school RuneScape. Alright, I got the first map. <laughs> red bar, red bar, red bar. Aw, oh, not red barring. Oh man, I'm not red barring today. Ooh, that was a slick red bar, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Mid-bar gaming. <clears throat> oh. oh, man. You hate to see it. That's a yellow. Yellow is like acceptable bar gaming. If only we could use metal to build a bridge. 
then I can build it right now. It does seem like the bridge is a big issue. Ask them to dig. Ooh, that was clean. Oh, double red bars. What is going on right now? That was terrible. Ignore that. Ignore that. Ignore that. We did just double red bar. We're a little, we're riding the hype. <laughs> Sub, <laughs> just for the red bars. <laughs> All right, that was close. Double red bars. That was close too. Close. Ooh, that was almost there. I think it was. Oh, time's up. Double red bar. Are you not allowed to use your. No, I like to save them for the more expensive areas as like an efficiency thing, but it doesn't matter at all. It's so cheap, it doesn't matter. You just woke up? Nice. Alright, we got the map. Got something. I don't know why I grabbed more time. I don't think you get multiple maps. This is what we push up, or this is what the push up mini game and engage wanted to be. Yeah, the push up mini game and engage is just button mashing. It's very stupid. This one is actually like skill based. Like that. Oh, almost double red bars. All right, I got it. All right, we got another map. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, okay, okay. Now there's variable speeds based on the treasure value. Should I do a guide on this? <laughs> I kind of don't want to, but. I suppose I could. I unfortunately know about mining from doing it so much. Strongest engaged push-upper versus weakest UO miner. <laughs> we have three out of five. It seems like main quest only could be a decent challenge, because someone was doing that and said that there was some interesting things going on with that. Oops, let's actually get it. I'm gonna impersonate Mario. 48 viewers, but nine likes. What are you guys doing? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Mario's like the community ambassador now. He's the channel ambassador, really. Oh, that was a red bar. I don't really think this needs a guide. You would be surprised. People always ask questions about things. What I would do is also include the treasure rewards, the locations. I would I could I could see how it could be a guide. Oh whoops, all right. You would show the loot per area, and then you would go over like the basic thing. Uh when it's worth it to go for red bars. How to do that, the spamming method. This is the spamming method, by the way. Where when you get close, you keep spamming A, and sometimes you get red just off of spam. Or higher. 
Like you just keep hitting A. There's some nuance to it. I think people just want to know what the rewards are too, so I can include that. And I can show each location of the treasure map. So it'd really just be about the treasure maps, primarily, with like a little bit of the mining as part of it. I know it's right here. You have special glasses that makes you see everything as potential content. I have special glasses. Well, a lot of people don't know, like everyone always assumes everyone knows everything everyone else knows. And a lot of people don't know a lot of things about the game. So typically, and it's not because they can't know about it. It's just like they just don't know some aspect of the game. Oh, I almost got a triple. Triple red bar. Well, I did get three red bars, just not in sequence. I got two back to back. Aha! I don't know why I'm mining. I already got the treasure chest. I will make the viewers go play a rhythm game to practice for you. <laughs> yeah, you can improve on your mining minigame by playing this game for 20 hours. Just keep mining until the time runs out. I already got the chest. Once you get the thing, you don't really have to continue. Oh, no, I grabbed time. Oh, let me out of here. I'm stuck in the mines. I'm stuck in the mines for the rest of my life. All right. As soon as you get the map, just leave. Or just let it expire. Maybe there is a way to let it expire faster. Alright, we have all the maps. Fantastic. Okay. Let's start in the desert. Alright, it's near like a rock. There it is. Yep. More funds. Ooh! Dudes, dude. Yeah, every place has five maps. See, that's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of things people don't know of just random stuff like that. And there's stuff I don't know still, too, so it's not like... I know everything either, but there's like dumb little things like that where it's like, wait, each thing has five? Actually, each thing has six. You do all five for each area and then you go to um, the angel lands and then you get a sixth one for each area. It's crazy. And I didn't know that for a while either until someone told me. <laughs> wait, I thought you knew everything on <laughs> Ah, oh, Miracle Fruit, I'm not allowed to use those. It's me, the guy who only main quest challenge. I figured out uh, there could be like three variations or even more of doing it. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> For example, you'll skip Drakenhold completely. Did you start leveling up too much? That's what I thought would happen. Just because this game seems to be like an abundance of resources. Go straight for elves. That's what I did in my expert run, and it was kind of cool. After Scarlet? Hmm. Skip Drake and hold. And then you lose out on Virginia, Berengaria, and some other units that are crazy. It's interesting. I mean, for a challenge run, that's what you want, right? You want it to be a challenge. I think it's up here. Maybe it's not. Oh, no, it is up here. Uh, what do you recommend spending the dues on? I maxed out Elaine and Rosalind so far. Uh, Berengaria wants illusion and strength. So those, those are uh, good to use on her. Other units, you could also run Alto Lynn. She also has a board nuke. You could, you could dump all of your illusions, like excess illusions on her. 
she wants knowledge and strength for her board nuke. Um, it's really easy to be overleveled by accident if you primarily use three to four squads. Farm Cornea. Go north through 25. Yeah, it's almost like we have to create like an exact game plan for balancing the game so that the highest difficulty is really hard. Uh, oh yeah, this one is like over here. I think. I know, I'm way off. It's... Oh, this one I know. Or maybe I don't. Oh, the sixth one is where it's in the one place. I'm thinking of two, two different maps. Alright, this way. Or maybe it's up higher. I think it's in that region. Yeah, I have to go up there. The main goal in the story is to fix the ring Drake and hold as a whole more as kind of a side quest. I think it's a beautiful game underneath, but sadly it has been mainstreamed. Yeah. The thing that's weird though is it's like, why have a high difficulty setting if it's super easy? Because most people are going to shy away from it anyways. So they could make the highest difficulty hard. It's not like it has to be easy. Well, I feel like it's like right here, isn't it? Right here, maybe? It's not one of these. These all kind of look similar. I swear it's like this. Unless it's up higher. Oh, it could be up here, too. Uh, maybe even higher. Oh. Maybe like over here? A lot of this looks the same, so it's kind of hard to tell. Mm -hmm. So dumb people can go through it by grinding and feel good. It's actually a pretty good marketing strategy. It's unfortunate. <laughs> but it leaves us to figure out how to enjoy the product. Where is this? It all looks the same to me. There it is. Okay, do of illusion, salamander ring. And then the final one. This one's easier because there's a little windmills. I actually really enjoyed that new Prince of Persia game and it was hard as hell on the highest difficulty, but I quickly realized that it was going to be hard to make guides on it just because explaining things does not transfer like execution and skill. <laughs> Wait, is this it? No, there's no way it's in this. No, 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 it's like nestled in a thing. Oh, it's up here. Looks like it's in that. I could describe, like, tactics, but... Marking is you mean shoving the products in our faces <laughs> until we get an ad blocker. A rip Prince of Persia. It was a really fun game. It was a fantastic Metroidvania. And it, and it was actually really difficult and actually pushed me to become better at it. But unfortunately, like, no one wanted to watch the stream, the videos weren't doing well, it just was a waste of time. <laughs> I have to, just like with these game, you know, these game developers selling games to a market, I also have to be aware of, like, when streams are not doing well and when content is not doing well, so I don't spend time on it and just suffer as a result, which can easily happen. Like, you can really easily waste your time on YouTube trying to make content of, like, things no one wants to watch. Big problem. <laughs> hey, I was there, rude. Well, I mean, like, compared to the other streams, significantly fewer people watched. <laughs> like a fifth to a tenth in some cases. All right, let's do this for free elf.
Aha. All right, now usually I take a break, but I'm just gonna go grab some food and throw it in a bowl and just mute myself when I eat so you don't hear me chewing and I'll be back in like a minute.
All right, I'm back. <laughs> I had to microwave my meal. Sorry, we're no longer AFK. Turn off that. Okay. Who do we want to deploy for this map? Probably all of these, and we probably also want some kind of healer units that can just do things. Oh, did I undeploy Scarlet? Shouldn't have been mid. No, <laughs> shouldn't have been mid, Scarlet. No, I don't know that she's mid. She seems fine. All right, Prim. Let's we'll have a bunch of healers. It'll be the Sweetie Squad. It just heals. Then we'll throw one of these in there. In case we need an Archer Squad. And then we'll throw another Archer in there. They can switch. Oh, we get four units. That's nice. No surprise there. No surprise there. All right, tell them, Travis. That's right. Tell them to not be surprised there. All right, do we want you as party leader? That's kind of nice. I don't think we need that. This is also kind of nice. Do they range assist in this map? They do. <laughs> they do a lot. Yeah. All right, so we'll do that. You Send in Virginia. I don't think they have mage assists. All right. Mobility. Interesting. Competitive mobility without mounts. Dude, mounts kind of just ruin these games. They really do. They're just too strong in most of these games. <laughs> I feel bad for classes that aren't mounts. Now this team, this is like the pursuit team in the pursuit of happiness. I wish you could name teams, dude. That would be such a good name for a team. Oh, what a missed opportunity, huh? <laughs> the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> it's very stupid, but I think it's cool. Let me, let me get my chair in here. I need to get like a high Time for thing to put food back. on. I need to make some upgrades to the setup. Or some pup grades if you like dogs. And I'm assuming you do. Because everyone likes dogs. Uh, what's going on here? Death spin. Uh, ice bolts, prioritize back row, prioritize caster. Maybe don't do that. Well, I guess there's only casters. <laughs> there's just one guy in the back row. Fire curse. Try passive curse? No. We need the defense debuff so badly. So much so that I'm actually considering putting her on Chloe charm. Oh, I can't, it's taken. <laughs> no, I wanted to put that on you. How dare you not level up faster. Fire curse. Fire curse seems like it doesn't do too much. Throw with the most combatants. Now what if you fire curse? That is unbelievably broken. You get to mindlessly stomp the entire game with them. Yeah, it's too good. They're way too good. Heal, quick refresh, lifesaver. I feel like we don't need the healing right now. Death spin is fine. Maybe if we roll... He's on Carnelian already. Oh, wait. No. Okay. She's pursuing this. Now, pursuit. That's, this does not attack. Negative synergy, unfortunately. This is also a healer. Uh, what about magic missile? Of course. What about dropping frost? It's magic unfurl. Magic unfurl. Uh, we need damage increase. What a few familiars choker. Okay, familiars choker. The witch, maybe? Okay, hell yeah, dude. All right, what else? Just basic conferral, and then maybe no extra carnelian sitting around. Just magic damage? Right on. You got it. Wanna keep going? You'll be okay. A 
Allow me to mend your wounds. Huh? You'll be okay. What if you gave horses four stamina, much slower move speed off road? Go on. Four stamina would help. Four stamina. I would I would change. Here's here are the values I would change. Let me go to my BRB text, or maybe I'll just type this out, or I could just say it. No, I'll type it in the chat. All right, here are the values I would change. So mounts are 300 movement. Uh, mounts move nerf to 225. Uh, average to. 130. Uh, make some semi faster at 150. Thief slash hunter slash archers gets 180 move. Or I guess 170. That's what I would do. Buff armor slash tanks to 80 slash 90. That's what I would do. I would I would push things up slightly, reel it in slightly, so it's not as big of a difference. So it still is much faster, but it's not three times the speed, which is probably more realistic. But it's too powerful for a video game. It's too much power to give the AI. Yeah, especially with like the road, the, the road uh, movement buff. It's like way too much movement. Okay, let's just do this. Technically, I can just push all the way down and win. Really, if I really want to. But I do want to get XP in these dudes. Uh, would you lower it? I think it would be fine if we nerfed the base mobility. I'm off. And buff the other units. So that way they can kind of keep up a little bit better. I think that's the biggest issue. Peace. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. This team is almost killing, and they're like a bunch of B team dudes. I hope you're ready. I will send these in. Armored units should get some kind of counter benefit rather than just being a liability. I agree. Armored just have it. A, they just, they just lack everything. Like in TF2, heavy has the highest health, the highest damage, but his range is kind of limited mobility and and uh, like damage wise so if you encounter a heavy that's revved up you die but he can't get around the map easily so there's like pros and cons now at the highest level of play heavy tends to be kind of bad in like competitive formats aside from a uh, highlander but there needs to be a, an advantage to using them it can't just be pure downside as we would say on this channel Heavy's bad because sniper exists. If there's good snipers, it can be hard to play heavy. And spies. It also depends on the map and if your med is running vaccinator. If your med is running vaccinator, then heavy can be very oppressive. In a kind of silly way. We're getting conferred here. And we're burning them. Damn. Just lacking. Punch through. Uh, what does this do? We don't need the accuracy, so can we get more might or crit or something? Mm. That's more damage. 
Hmm. What about this thing? She doesn't combo well with her team right now just because she can't sanguine pursuit enough. It's very unfortunate. You hate to see it, really. She's getting conferled, and then she should be Sorceress connectioning this. Sorceress connectioning that. Wait, why are you on Carnelian? You don't need that right now. <laughs> you do not need a Carnelian pendant. Uh, toughness, play dance. You could be on Magic Barrier, that's fine. Alright, you should be on Carnelian. So you get extra attacks, because damage equals good. Oh, so close. So close. Maybe rearranging. What about... Dropping Plume for damage? I have to unequip someone. Why is she on that? Do I have a beret? Do I have anything? <laughs> Do I have any... Wait, what about this... Not that. That's interesting. It's 20% crit and damage after using active skill. Whatever, try it. Ah! <laughs> Not enough. Okay. I would like to kill, but I don't think we can. You know what we could do? I guess we could spam attacks. Or not that. Not that. Just need Lapis. It could, I mean, it's beneficial in some fights, but not in this one. Maybe crits? <laughs> Everyone has... Wait, why is Auk on crits? Whatever. <laughs> Everyone's on my items, man. Get off my items! Where's Auk? Get off crits, dude. You need to get off this. I don't know what the hell you're doing on that. I need damage right now, you know what I'm saying? You need damage and crit rate. Almost. Can this pursuit... Oh, I can't even do that. No! Oh! Oh, man, they just limit it so much. Oh, can you pursue it? I doubt it. No. We just have two, like, non-damaging things. Alright, whatever. What if armor had two times bonus against Cav? Wanna keep going? I don't like these, like, matchup things, because I feel like ultimately people are going to use what's the strongest, and giving it these explicit bonuses tends to give it a strong matchup, but then if it doesn't have anything else to offer, it just ends up being a weaker version of something else. Oh, did she? Do you want She's not conferling. She just unlocked an ability for mobiling up. I was like, wait a second, guaranteed. She's focus sighting her. <laughs> we would easily have been killing there. I'm going back to Lapis. That's very funny. I'll do what I can. Yeah, she easily would have been killing there. Go go go. Let's begin, shall we? Alright, let's check this out. At least try.
We didn't get them all, yeah. I got to, um, like, position 9 or 10 or so. I would give armors the javelin weapons and make Sting a ranged attack. Hmm. What if Sting removed an acted or an action point when it hits? I think that would be better. Maybe give it a small damage bonus, and then it can like remove an action point. Because tanks lack like proactive things, because they're so low in initiative, so they just get like hit. Unfortunately, yeah, we got pretty far with like a janky team that's under leveled, so I'm pretty happy with that. What if armor took half damage from all types except magic? Hmm. I don't think the issue... They're really good at tanking physical. I think it's that they have, like, these explicit weaknesses is the main thing holding them back. Because then, like, you know, warrior attacks would still get through. They die from assists. Uh, you guys can get some XP. Oh, that's not a kill. <laughs> Never mind. And you leveled up at least. Wait, how did you not kill the hammer attack against a dude? What the hell? <laughs> what is that? Hope you've made your peace. I mustn't be defeated. Almost dire predicament. Oh, they're dying from assist there. I think. Let's take what's ours. Won't take long. We can start doing this too. Start piggybacking on XP. I'm on my way. What is it? Watch what royalty can do. Watch what royalty can do. Uh, go attack this. I stand ready. Push. I depart. Go on. His tankiness and heavy guard for others can be helpful in survivability in certain matchups, but he contributes to little damage. And there's other ways to survive, too. You can always just stun or freeze or disable enemies as well. And that ends up being faster and more proactive. Like, this team just tanks off of their damage and nukes. So it's hard for the enemies to even fight back. That'll do for now. I didn't have a choice. Let's take what's ours. Sure. Shouldn't have let your guard down. Maybe next time they'll actually try. Makes sense, armor has low initiative in this game. In general, uh, right now, uh, in general right now, rewards being very offensive, so defensive setups suffer more. Yeah, there's also more maps where you're pushing too. So like mobility becomes a non-trivial issue. So like the units with mobility are just good and the units without mobility are, are just worse. There's a, because there's a time limit and most maps are you attacking positions. So you seriously, lose out on not running offensive units that can be, you know, mobile, aggressive, and kill and push. Simply say the word. Simply say the word. And anything with mobility and damage is just king right now. And everything else is just like, not really good. <laughs> it, just, it just suffers immensely. The other thing too is like if, like imagine the units are competing for XP, the units with higher mobility will get kills more often and start snowballing themselves, whereas the units that are slower will naturally fall behind due to literal movement mechanic. So, like, even if you wanted to do something, like train a unit or something, if it's slower and it can't keep up with another team, 
you usually have to change the party leader and the team comp so that it can keep, it can continue to push and keep up with the other units. Otherwise, you could run into an issue. Like, this thing is naturally snowballing, so it's the fastest unit and the best damage dealers, too, but... Uh, I really like using the foot troops covered by assist. The fact that it's annoying... Uh, or, I'm sorry, the fact... Covered by assist, but the fact of the matter is it's annoying having these super mobile elements and having to either slow down or just not use the foot troops. Yeah, that's the big issue right now. Like, even just a thief. A thief's... So, all right, so TF2, and TF2 is a great example of, of game design and balance. The scout moves 133% speed. 133% base speed. Everything else is typically like 100, and some things are a little bit slower. And some things are like 107, like spy and medic are 107. So when you're on scout, 33% increase in move speed relative to the 100% classes feels like you're Sonic the Hedgehog, and they're the big cat from Sonic that just sits there fishing all day. You're so much faster. So when you take something that has 170 mobility and it's competing against a 100, just think of how crazy, there actually is a scout weapon that lets you go 170% speed and it's like balanced by if you take damage, it's, you go slower than normal. So when you fight scouts that are at 170 speed, they're so fast, it's ridiculous. In this game, it's no different, except you can just see the difference in distance. And then calves are even worse. They're like, you know, three times the speed of other things, let alone 33% faster. So they really need to reel their speed values in for mobility because they're way too far apart. Like it's not even close. And if the things are slower, they have to have better combat or more utility or better access to board wipes or whatever. <laughs> and you didn't get any fish. You don't even get any fish. Yeah. But you need like some advantage to being slower. Like if you have a class that's slow and does no damage, it has to have some crazy thing it can do, otherwise it's terrible. Hope you've made your peace. But just a difference of 30% is enough to allow you to cover a significant distance. No and the funny thing is, is in uh, Guild Wars 1, they also use the value of 33% for speed boosts, typically. And even so, 33% faster is significantly faster. So it seems to be almost like the magic number, like 25 to 30% speed boon, like bonus for fast classes and fast abilities, so that things can still keep up with you. Like, even a speed advantage of 10 is enough to gain distance, right? So any increase is enough to be further away from something. So on a large map, even a 10% speed increase, you can lose, you know, track of these supports because they'll just lag behind. Like, look at this, look at this example. Travis was able to kill three things. He's still in a range of that magic support. And he's not even a cav. That's, that's just a real time example of how the speed seriously matters. It is kind of insane. Go on. And if we compare him to these other groups, these other units, this thing's just healing, but yeah, he's already, he's already almost to the next thing. Look at how far ahead he is. 70% increase in speed is ridiculous. It's way too high. They should reel in the values. They should be closer together. I didn't have a choice. And then you can double it on top of that, which is <laughs> so overkill. <laughs> Commence the plan. Surrender or this cleric dies. What? <laughs> so random. Come on, Elaine, we've got to save her. No, we don't. She's an unnamed cleric, I think. Yeah, she's just an orthodoxy cleric. We don't have to save anymore. <laughs> We're the bad guy. Alright, push. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, they're going for her. What's interesting in this game, there's the balance of the map and there's the balance in combat. Trying to square those is complicated. I mean, there are general things that you shouldn't do for balancing. Like if things are super far apart, there has to be a really good reason for that. And then if there's not, there's gonna be balance issues. Like the cat, like you look at Fire Emblem Engage with the calves, the, the mounted units, six move versus five move. That's it, it just has plus one move. 
Now, logically, a horse would cover more distance, but balance-wise, it's just way too overtuned if you have like eight move all the time versus five even. Nothing good can. So they reeled it in, so the other things aren't significantly worse as a result. It's actually one of the more balanced Fire Emblem games I've played. Some of the other ones are just like absurd in terms of balancing. Even if I, it'll never be over. Yeah. We'll see what they do with patches, though, if they balance things. Arrow cover is what they're there for. Fighters exclusively exist to catch arrows and wyverns in your horses. Look at Fire Emblems where calves have 8 or 9 move. Uh, they are that much better than infantry units. Oh yeah, well especially with Kanto. They get Kanto. They can reposition. They can cover double the distance in some cases. And then over several turns it ends up being absurd. <laughs> Engage balance, then you get Kagetsu. He's not balanced. Yeah, Kagetsu is kind of... Kind of... Well... If you run him on Swordmaster, he's not overpowered. His stats are really good. His stats and his growths are really good. But I do feel like people overhype him. He is easy to get killing, though. He's one of the easiest units to get to a point where he can one round. So that's the main thing he's good at, I would say. Time for payback. Uh, seems like he doesn't one to two range well and he sucks with magic so i don't even think he's like the best unit because levin sword outclasses kagetsu and he cannot use levin sword very well he's kind of notoriously bad at it so i don't even know that he's one of the best units i would rather have be bonded shielding hort on seraphim to be honest because she can one round any corrupted and double them and he cannot one to two range he can but the damage will be trash and the the, the killing will be inconsistent so I, even even like within Kagetsu, also if he was so naturally good, he would naturally carry on Divorced and Homeless, but he needs two energy drops to even be relevant, and he has to roll for crits. So I don't even think he's overpowered. I think he's just like an S tier. I think all the S tiers do have noticeable downsides. A lot of people, I feel, don't want to acknowledge some of these downsides, or they pretend like they're, the downsides are not there. Or they act like Kagetsu and Marin just immediately start one rounding, which is definitely not the case. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna push. I can handle it. Uh, I can kill one. I don't like that she's like here. What is it? Not good. I'm off. I'll do what I can. Here. All the road. I'll do it. Everyone else get in there. Simply say the word. Simply say the word. You can kill this. And we have to immediately wait. Stay on my feet. Vlad has no downside? Yeah, that's right. Gladiator is pure upside. Except Etie. Oh, she joined. Alright, good. This is for you, Mom. We can get her to not be stupid now. now. Fantastic. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, that hasn't replied? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can I help? Well, the math is not on his side. Oh, wait. Don't actually go in the road. Let's run out this I'm way. Going. We can't count Etie. It would be... <laughs> it wouldn't be fair to other units. Oh, they're chasing her. You. Can you tank this? You can actually kind of fight here. Alright, that's cool. What else can you do? Medical aid. Should we hybrid tank? The back line's getting hit. I'll do what I can. 37 damage is a specific number. <laughs> That's him dying. Oh, look at you with 52 health. I'm far from helpless. Dying to it as well. Because they have row attack. Uh, curing call, quick heal. Quick heal. What else do you have? What about the protective stuff? Defensive ring? Back row? We might survive that now. Alright, do I'll do what I can. Go here though. Right. 
Might be able to get distance. Yeah, because they slow down too. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that recovery. We need to start getting other kills though. Should have made Etie Berserker and would have made her god tier unit, yeah. Yeah, Scarlet's in a healer squad right now. Ready. Don't worry. Witness the might of an angel. I take to the sky. All right, everyone pushes. Let's take what's ours. Won't take long. Oh wait, there's a guy right there. Yeah. I won't disappoint. Is that all? This is for you, Mom. I do not die. Right. I'm far from helpless. I'll do it. Alright, we'll get some assists. We might have a problem. Or not. Time for How do I get out of this? We do have two healers. <laughs> Somehow that's worse. Healing more is worse. Now what does this do? Parting Resurrection? Hmm. What double heal? What about active heal? Alright, that's better. They killed my archer dude. He is also not promoted. Looks like I made it. Let me take this what if they didn't allow you to change equipment while battle is pending? Will that make it harder? It, it could. All for the sake of my it could, but if you could do it when it's before it's pending and then forecast it, it really wouldn't do much. What do you need? All right, push. Heading there now. I'll show you uh, what push. a you do. It'll be done. I'll do what I can. I can handle it. What is it? Push. Hmm. This the place? Had to wait for a second. There we go, now everyone gets it. I won't disappoint. I'm far from helpless. Right. Watch what royalty can do. Let's take what's ours. Push! There in a second. I'll make it quick. Oh, I should have heal assist there. I didn't have a choice. You notice I don't collect items. Uh, for this playthrough, I don't really have that much time. And also, I can't use items. Unless they're like artifacts, which I, I think are uncommon. Anyways, so... Shouldn't really be too big of a deal. Here we go. Spread the XP around. Dang, dude, this group got 600? What the hell? <laughs> How can I help? It's crazy. I'll do it. What do you need? Heading there now. It looks like everyone's pushing. Time for payback. Sometimes it's flat out gold. No hard I usually try to get the items if I have time to. Sure. In this run though, I don't really have that much time. And in some cases I like Let me help. Straight up run out of time when it would be, you know, from like pursuing some item or something. See ya. We'll wait for Let's take what's ours. Won't take long. Everyone to get in range. I'm listening. I can do it. I'll do what I can. I'll show you what a witch can do. Go on. There in a second. All right, it's just spam time. Time for pay. You'd best you have my. I got your back. Is there a limit of three? Huh. Well, it doesn't kill. <laughs> just kind of funny. So the half blood sold us out. Fine by me. I'll teach her what it means to cross the Noira. Of 
Yeah, the AI can't really modify what they're doing at all in response to you. Which can kind of happen positionally in some other games. where you get those. I can't use it though because I don't have any flying lances. Most unfortunate. The area is secure. Welcome news indeed. I've brought her, your majesty. Ridiel, was it? Few your bravery will not... Please, uh, I... Elaine, sir. She's asked if we'd accept her in... A compelling offer. I can attest... It'd be funny if AI threw in a quick dispel. Yeah. Hold a moment. Should the... Should we let her join us? Yeah, Elven Archer's good, dude. What are you talking about, Vander? <laughs> Walmart Vander, if you will. Halfway to five dudes. Maybe they should tax the equipment changing with Valor Point. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I have zero of that, huh? If it's steel you're after, you're in the right place. Oh, he doesn't have anything good, really. I guess this is decent for cover. Generic quick cover is kind of nice. I stand corrected. Technically, I'm sitting, though, so I sit corrected. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're definitely ready for Elven Land stuff. Did it steal your after? Another unwavering. <laughs> I don't think I need any more of those. I think I have three right now. Are you seeing you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, did I just get four? I didn't even know you could get four. I thought I only could get three at a time. She's so cute, TBH. She's in there. She's doing things. The heck, I'm getting four? Since when has that been a thing? Is that a bug? I thought you only can get three max. I did collect those early. So I don't know if that's what's going on. Because I've collected them already, they've grown to four somehow. The battle for Satama. We'll explore for a minute just to grab stuff. It's just sitting there, you know? That's the other side. That guy really badly wanted to get one rounded, I guess. Simply say the word. This guy. Get out of here, dude. We have Elven Lady. You cannot defeat us.
Then that's locked up there. Nothing to do over there. We're probably gonna stomp these enemies in these maps. Aha, a graveyard. Taxing equipment change could be a thing. I don't know that it's worth a valor point though. In most cases, when I equipment change, it's to go from almost killing and taking little to no damage to killing and taking little to no damage. So I don't know that it really matters that much in the grand scheme of things. There's certainly universal teams that no matter the enemy formation and abilities, they will deal a ton of damage to them. And maybe the most you'll do is add like a blind, anti-blind lantern or something. Oh, they can grow up to five? That's cool. So they grow afterwards, so you do want to harvest things immediately. And then hold off on uh, collecting, we'll see. The Collector's Edition. What if the Collector's Edition of a game just turned it into a collection game where all you do is collect things? <laughs> just gets rid of all the gameplay. You just run around collecting items, that's it. Or they add more things to collect. Because we know people like that. I'm getting far, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't know you could get this far. <laughs> I thought you were... Like, gated. Or, like, main quests and stuff more. You can go south. Like, all the way south. Do all these emissions. Their church. How'd it grow way more than five? You've gotten six, you've gotten ten. Dang, dude. What the heck? If you don't station a guard? Oh, does the guard just auto harvest? Is that what it does? If so, that's interesting. And should I just leave my game running so that real time passes, if that's the case? Or uh, if they're based on real time passing or something? Oh, well, we're exploring everything. It's kind of nice. Getting all the rewards. Guard auto harvest. Auto harvests. They also give you money. Based on battles. Oh, okay. Chloe, stop gatekeeping me. <laughs> we got far, dude. Holy shit. It's almost like half the elven lands. I didn't even do a single battle here aside from this one. Oh, I did do a single battle. Uh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Probably can fix these now. Oh, yeah. take the ship off the coast. Cool, these people's 20. Oh, that's interesting. I got protection from the enemies for doing that. And then there's an item up here. Give me those honors. Did you see what I wrote? How my run fixed fighters? Uh, no. Was it way higher up?
You explore before fighting too. Seems to be the meta. Especially if it is based on battles. That just compounds. I'm just like honor farming right now. Oh, I didn't beat that. Let's do this battle for fun. You can get pre-promoted one in Drakenhold. Pre-promoted what? Oh, a fighter? No surprise there. No surprise there. We did not. My moment has well, I guess if we kill and just do assist spam. That's the way to do it. Test for my magic. Of course. Go. It's time for pit best. You have my aid. No hard feelings. Simply get in a tower. Let's take what's ours. Kill a thing. Don't take long. I'll make my mark. Yes, I can. Dramatic come. statement. <laughs> Attacks. Let me help. I'm here. Let me help. All right, now we have to we have to build a valor. Yeah. And then deploy another guy before we lose. Oh, not smoke bolt. Well, I'm trying to level my dudes up right now, and they're denying. <clears throat> they're denying me. Hope you've made your peace. My ability to do so. No hard feelings. Judgment shall strike them. It's ours. Go on. Won't take long. I'm listening. Of course. Oh no. Any who bar my path must perish. I stand ready. I depart. I depart. Time for payback. See ya. It's almost like they knew what I was doing somehow. What do you need? Yes, I concur. Yeah. Blasphemous fool. <laughs> Blasphemous fool. I'll never hold myself back. Getting early vanguard fixes fighter. Wouldn't that just reinforce the class is bad and need to rush its promoted way first or way faster? Not be disappointed. Possibly. <laughs> shall be done. My duty as a how can I help? I can handle it. Surely this counts for something. Go on. Oh, they're making griffins. That's rude. There in a second. Oh, I die? I'll make my mark. Really? I'll see what I can do. All right, we'll see what's going on with what that. Can do. Don't oh, maybe because I'm resting. From helpless. Right. Must perish. Win. I'd not suggest sending me to battle. Yeah, let's not suggest. Yeah. Okay, that's what to say. Go on. Sure. Oh, that's not what we wanted. In main quest only, it's God. No hard feelings. everyone's opinion on the feather classes they seem just like decent like they have some use cases they have some good matchups but overall i would rather have something else i feel like elves are just better
Hooray! Especially when you get them so late. Hmm. Interesting. On oh, a single enemy. Never mind. <laughs> That's not really that interesting. Let's get some silk things. Scarfs. Done and done. Yeah. That's his voice. Find myself favoring humans at Owl's Way more. Yeah, I think they're just better right now. Especially the human elves. <laughs> the hybrids. Let's do this battle. Who goes there? Yeah, the reflection's probably one of the better things they can do, and then the blind, but beyond that, I don't think they're super good. Resistance lives on. The feather bows seem like the worst archers. Yeah, I think they lack. I mean, compared to, like, Unifi and Elven Archer, they're just not nearly as good. Now, what we can do... No surprise there. ...is what we've always done. My moment has finally... I'm listening. And we can board. Fire. Fire! <laughs> Fire! And you know what else? One of yous is going... Probably you, actually, for now. I'd rather have an Elven Archer. Oh, she doesn't have Conferl yet. Defensive Gloves. Oh, actually... She basically does the same thing. Well, let's bring the Shaman back. We do want to level up the Shaman for board debuff, or row debuff for big damage. Yeah, because she basically can heal. She can spot heal. She's an advanced class. Yeah, she can use this. Oh, let me change this. Do I have a heal? Do I have Scarlet's heal thing? I can quick heal. Or spot heal. Yeah, she can do this. That's fine. Dove Plume, that's fine. Yeah, whatever. Wind arrow. Do what you gotta do. Party leader. Some Watch this. Yes. Okay. Your orders, if you will. Garrison. Oh. Be yeah. Start killing things. Yeah. Or maybe I should garrison here. How long can I farm this map? Should I farm this map? No, I don't think I should. Farming kind of gets in the way of. Let's just go kill the boss. Go on. Uh, kill the boss intelligently, though. Won't Better. I've arrived. Yeah. Kill their ballista. As you ordered. Ballista Dominance. A sneaky boy. We profit health. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Look how easy this map is, too. Hmm. We kill that first. Not sure how really? All right, do that. <laughs> he gets bodied. As expected, of course. This is a good map to farm, dude. Jesus. What do you need? I'll see what I can do. I've lost enough already. Go orders, if you will. Understood. Switch positions quickly. They've broken through. No. Oh my god, <laughs> they broke through. I didn't have a choice. Let's take what's ours. Won't take long. Should I kill immediately? I have arrived. 
Merciful rain? Whoa! I'll do that. Who told you you could do that? I'm listening. Fire. I already have it. Hope you've made your and they're dead. <laughs> and they're dead. It's really not that hard to make super squads. Hundred forty crit on their tank. Runic sword. Why though? Healing you. This is for you. Sniper feels pretty bad when Ellen Archer can contribute to poke. I'd have much better support to be a cog in the ward wipe comp. Yeah. I agree. I think it's hard for some of these things to compete. Like, look at Elaine just using Runic Blade, just one-shotting a dude. It's so stupid. Some things are just way better than others in this game. Look at that triple flyer unit countering your lane tank. <laughs> I know, right? What counter? <laughs> Horse just has no weakness. It's just objectively one of the best things in the game. And Elaine Lord is insane too. Elaine Horse. They're too slow. You know, birds, they're known to be slow and weighed down. <laughs> I don't know that it would be better if they were fast, though. I must say, I've heard well, maybe a little bit faster. Ferocity, but your warriors are even more skilled than the rumors claim. Then allow us to show our compassion as well. Might we assist you in tending to... Yeah, Clive Cav call is insane. Your kindness is touching. Cavs are super overtuned right now. So are the Elven sisters. Um, Unifi's overtuned. Quick impetus, or quick impetus is too good. I understand. We'll send our healers to their aid. Weighed down with regret. Speaking of the battle, though, it seemed the enemy we faced were lacking the calm demeanor of a formal army. Trained soldiers are in short supply when you're. Alright, we'll skip that. We know what he's gonna say. We actually don't, because I skipped it every time. We're going to assume to know what he's going to say. Dang, only four wood. May fortune bring what you seek among my quality wares. <laughs> Excuse me. Do visit again. The armored feels super punished being slow, not having offense, being obliterated by a ton of magic counters. Uh, Cavs counters feel like they don't actually exist. Yeah, that's typically how these things go. <laughs> well, it's the same thing with like the weapon triangle and trying or in triangle strategy and fire emblem. If you're a sword or if you're um if you're a lance unit that's fast, which is typically what Pegasuses are and like Falcon Knights, the thing that counters you is our like our axes. And axes tend to have poor hit rates, and you're fast, which means you're in a void tank. So it kind of falls apart when the thing that's supposed to counter you can't hit you, and you double in one round in anyways which is usually how it goes in those games because axe enemies are also typically slow. Better than ever. The 
counter exists, but in actual gameplay, it's not effective. And that's really what it boils down to. Or similarly, the archer counter to flying units, but then the flying units have superior mobility and can get in and out of danger, and one round without counterattack, these archers. <laughs> I think they were worried about making a lane suck since he becomes a cav, so cav counter damage is just set so low. Player Griffin can do like 200 damage to calves, enemies just don't. I mean, they can, but I feel like you just shut them down beforehand. No surprise there. Yeah. Oh, wow, this is a fast one. All right, so here's what we'll do. We'll just have leeches. And kill everything. XP leeches. My moment has finally come. Go on. There in a second. Time. I got your back. You I have assist too, time. you know. I didn't have a choice. Let's take what's ours. Sure. I'll make my mark. I'll see what I can do. This is for you, right? Oh, it's a sne sneaky boy. There in a second. Sneaky boy. A chance to earn some praise. Hope you've made your Providing Let me help. <laughs> They're going for the sneaky thief. No hard oh, they actually have it, I think. Oh, I rotated my dude in. Sure. What do you want now? No. <laughs> That's funny. Then a thief just like waiting. It's all dramatic over a, like a five-second play. That's very funny. All right, if they want to play like that, then no surprise there. Yeah. We'll play defensively for a second. Multiplayer could have been so interesting too, with like back caps and aggressive, weird plays and stuff like this. Wait, not that. What am I doing? Oh no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Go on. <laughs> Iron Man's dead. Yeah. All right. I'll make it cool. Best, I got your back. See ya. All right, they've had their fun. There in a second. You've had your fun. Let me help. Providing cover. I didn't have a choice. I'll make it quick. You'd best I got your back. See ya. Why not three leeches? I can do it. Three leeches. By the grace of the holy unicorn. <laughs> the grace of the holy unicorn. That just sounds hilarious. I'm going. Go go go! Hope you've made your. Let me help. Providing, I lend you my aid. I didn't have a choice. Of course. Time for you'd best make. I've got your best. Join our strength. The boss kills are big XP for the assists too. See ya. Yeah, 300 each. I wonder if it divides it among them. Or if it divides it among us. Wait! Among us. Alright. There's too much pause and change your tactics. Well, what they would have to do is have like preset groups or something that you can use and can't customize. And when they run into each other, they just fight, and then everything's in real time. And then you'd be rewarded for having the correct matchup, instead of just like min-maxing and changing everything the second before you lose a fight.
A mongoose. Yeah, they don't want to hear about the mongoose. Everyone wants to be sus these days. But no one wants the sauce. Whatever that means. Technically, it means something. Fortune bring what you seek among my quality. Uh, I don't care for aerial guard. Self aid. Uh, this is actually kind of nice. That can be good in some matchups. So all the regions I don't have guards are where I need to collect resources from. Got it. Why is there a chicken? The hell? <laughs> Why is there just a chicken out? Who told him he could be there? So I did like two or three battles, there's only one of each. Resource. What about items? No swap mechanic assists. Uh, assist is fine. I would get rid of, I would make it so that you have preset groups that do specific things and you do not get to change them. So just like in chess, how there's symmetrical map and the same pieces, you would have access to the same pieces and it'd be up to the player to choose which one to deploy and why. So you could have like a cab squad push, but then the enemies could have like a griffin squad floating around that would directly hard counter that. So then you'd be stupid to push into a griffin on a fort, for example. Then you could have an archer squad slow push them and take them out. <laughs> Chicken out on curfew. A duty I'll gladly accept. All right, give me those rewards. Give me those rewards. You know what I'm saying? I'm all about the rewards. Oh, I cannot deliver. Oh, they need lumber? I need that for that stupid bridge so I can get the item. You're trying to deprive me of lumber right now? That is unacceptable. So it's all mono units? It could be. There could be like hybrid units, but still would have intentional bad matchups. I would have like mono units and then some hybrids, but the, there wouldn't be ones that are clearly better than others and there would be pros and cons to them. So that way you can balance around knowing what the player has access to instead of hoping they don't run broken things and then just demolish their opponents off of broken mechanics. If you wanted to have a good PvP battle, you'd have to have symmetrical maps too, if it's going to be like simultaneous attack and defend. Otherwise, some sides might have an advantage. Uh, now there could be attack defense maps where you have a player that's defending and a player that's attacking and then you switch sides. There could be something like that. That could be interesting. Uh, what is this? Suppose I should work up my courage and get in there. Okay. I wouldn't do that. You'll probably die in the Coliseum. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> She's like, hmm. <laughs> the Coliseum, huh? Oh, there already was someone there. Rose Knight squad is so good. Turning it into a chess style game would result in a large portion of the player base ignoring it. Um. For the PvP, I doubt it. Because then you'd actually have like some objective metric of who's actually good at the game and who's just running broken things. I mean, Advanced Wars by Web does pretty well, doesn't it? People still play that. Excuse me, sir. Ah uh, yes, a shifting tide. <laughs> he just missed? <laughs> I was gonna let him fight me, but he missed. He missed his opportunity. I'm sorry. 
sorry for stopping you like this, but there was no one else I could turn to. What seems to be the matter? <laughs> what in the... Hello there. Remember me? Would that I could forget. Do you two... Had a bit of a run hit. The world was slipping through... Dance more is a PvP, and offline is the same game. There's no difference. Hmm. You're a man of... Yep. Anyway. But the online for this is not the same game. Oh, right. It's different. Because it's com it completely removes Valor and positioning and all those other things. Well, it was pristine. Until the elves living there were taken captive. Would you deploy your units as generator to generate resources on the map? No, it wouldn't be like that. I would think it would just be about positioning, using sieges. So you could have like a dude on a ballista, you could ambush it by going through the forest. There it actually could be quite cool. Seems that's the It raises a question though. How exactly have the black with Zenoira? And from what I've Zenoira. Ah, oh, dang, dude. Earrings of Pursuit. And the Sniper Lens. Such a good chapter. Hell yeah. We need those. For a build. No surprise there. We need those for a very specific build. All of skills deal plus 40 damage. Mm, this is gonna be crazy. It's plus 40%, but... It's gonna be crazy, all right? Trust me, or don't. You know what? Don't. <laughs> you know what? Don't trust me. All right. Let's do... Uh, yeah, the squad, I guess. I think we're just gonna keep leeching off of the primary leader. Is there a camp on this map? No, I have to push the boss. Oh, there's a camp. All right, cool. Then you guys. What would you have me do? Oh, I can't use you because you're a thing. You can just withdraw. Understood. Understood. It's like, all right. Right on, lady. Whoa, 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 hold your horses there, Travis. Got some movement. Yeah. All right. Time for the leeching to commence. I'll make it quick. Yeah, it's a forty. It's forty percent apparently. Someone tested it. I'm assuming they're right though. They could be wrong. All right, <laughs> providing cover. This way we get to waste four stamina <laughs> for one combat. Won't take long. Now, really, we want to get the um, XP. Dang, I don't want the XP that much. I want the XP so much that I die. Did you do the two armies as one mission? I think I did pretty much everything in my first playthrough. Or TZ. It does look like it evenly distributes experience. Maybe we want to have individual leeches. Let's do that. Let's test it. Let's say... Who has the shaman? This one. Alright. Is that the mission where you push a dude or whatever? Go on. Won't take long. Guide me over. There's a mine right there, that's funny. Just a random mine. I advance. Shouldn't have let your guard the chaos of war. They're after me. Oh, plunder too. Is that the one with the green guys? 1.6k? Gotta say, I'm impressed. Wait, there's black talon? Wait, is there red talon or is it all black talon? Now nah, I'm not sure who's who anymore. Hope you've made your peace. Right, let's see how much XP they get. I'll lend you my aid. See ya. Oh yeah, that I haven't I wasn't able to beat that with this uh I literally can't get there in time. <laughs> Maybe at nighttime with like a furry I can, but right now I can't. It's time for payback. I physically cannot get there in time without mounts or valors and things like that. I didn't have a choice. 
It looks like they're getting the same amount of XP. It's kind of sick, actually. Let's take what's ours. There go, go, go. Pretty sure I'm in their line of fire. No, not plunder too. <laughs> the AOE plundered me. Jesus Christ! They took three K. Jesus Christ! I'll make it quick. Okay, let's do a heal assist, and she'll wait. I can see a different mode focused on chest like PvP being potentially fun though. Too bad they didn't go for it. Someone was saying that they'd have to host like servers, which is something they'd have to do, and they probably didn't want to mess around with that. All right, Scarlet Squad, go. Level up for free. Won't take long. By existing in a video game. I can do it. It's been your job. What do you need? I'll see what I can do. What do you want now? Ha! I thought you were getting away. Did you? I got your back. Let me help. I don't think so. Give me my money back. See ya. Okay, everyone gets the same amount of XP. It doesn't distribute it. What do you need? After I rest. So this is a good way to level up your other dudes. Go on. And like challenge runs and stuff. There in a second. We'll keep bouncing. Guide me, oh father. All right, give me a second. Oh Jesus! Oh, these horses are fast, dude. I'll make it quick. What's going on here? Slow these horses down. What do they say? Hold your horse. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. <laughs> that is what people yeah. say, actually. They say hold your horses. I can understand why. Sometimes those horses are out of control and someone needs to hold them. It's time for payback. Just a second. Now, can I get no hard feelings. in there in time? Probably not, because he's right on top of it. Let's go back here. Take long. Yeah, he's right on top of it. The place. Take what's ours. I'm far from helpless. Here, you can bounce into a thing like a pinball machine. Mostly because it's funny. Is that all? Doom. I'm going. I'm listening. All right, we'll send in the leeches. Yeah. All right, just rest. I'm pretty good with a bow. You best join here to help. Assisting gaming. Look at this, level 17. They'll get XP. How can I help? Look at that tower. Guide me, oh father. Departing. I'll make my attack. I'm listening. Go, go, go. Pinball, pinball, pinball. Excellent. I've taken it. What do you think? Now that we've slowed down the pace of the game, I can actually make use of towers. There in a second. Why don't they say hold your cats, huh? They got something against cats. Probably. It stands to reason that they do, in fact, have something against cats. Let's see just, how strong I can get. Just, keep just add assists going. until the RNG goes in your favor. Yeah, basically. It's probably more absurd than using Divine Pulse. Of course. Yeah. What do you need? Go. Did you need me? Go. Aha. Hope you've made your peace. Let's join. Let me I've got your back. See ya. Go on. Sure. Guide me over. Push. Is that all? I'm far from help. I'll do it. I knew it. This is for you, Mom. I'm going. I actually did it. <laughs> I actually did it. <laughs> it's time for pay. providing cover. I'll lend you my aid. I didn't have a choice. I'm Just struggling to stand. Did you need me? Hope you've made your peace. Just a second. It's a good way to get anyone, get everyone leveled up. See ya. I was thinking of playing through Triangle Strategy for the first time. Uh, I noticed you have videos for it. Do you recommend it? Yeah, it's a pretty good game. I'll do what I can. I do not recommend you watch. I would do your first playthrough on hard mode blind <laughs> and then watch guides. If you watch the guides first, it'll break the game for you immediately. So I highly recommend trying to figure out some things just so it doesn't immediately kill the challenge or min-max your teams too well, because that could happen as well. 
Like, once you understand certain things about the combat, it changes everything. And being handed that knowledge early will trivialize hard mode for sure. To some degree. You still have to get used to the systems and the sequencing of attacks and everything. Chill out here, dude. How can I help? Push on the road. Right. <laughs> what do you mean? I like people playing the game what for me. Need? <laughs> of course. This the place? I'm prepared for anything. Departing. This is for you, Mom. Heading there now. I'm here. Hope you've made your peace. A chance to earn some just a second. Go healing assist. Uh, I can't move. I need to take a break. Let's take what's ours. Go on. All right, we can push now. Won't take long. I'll do what I can. I'll do it. I'm listening. Yes, I concur. I advance. Take what's ours. Time for you. I'm here to help. Yeah, my main squad is bodying. <laughs> Assist XP farming. Uh, I only watched your tier list of the units pretty much without context. I was happy to see there were like no D tier and one unit in S. Or a triangle strategy? Wait, which tier list did you see? Did you see the ultimate one? Because there should be some god tiers, actually. <laughs> Most things are good, though, but there should be some god tiers for sure. And I made the ultimate tier list after 500 hours of playtime. Instead of... Some people make, like, the definitive or whatever. After, like, a playthrough, which is weird. It's like, how do you know, though? Yeah, ultimate triangle strategy tier list. You might hear me twice in a second. Hold on. I just want to look through to see what it is. Might take a second to load. I'll make it quick. Die. Oh, I didn't do the assists. No. Def 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 defend the entrances. Another step forth. Well, 22. It shouldn't come as a surprise. Once she hits 25, she gets rage, I think. <clears throat> Only 500 hours? I know. I know. Well, the game got boring, so it got too easy. That was the problem with it. And I tried... Oh, wait. Oh, and then my audio sounds different, too, because I didn't have as good of a mic. All right, so the tier list... Yeah, so most things are A, S, or B tier. And then there are... Uh, four units who break the game, but technically there should be five. You could argue Azana breaks the game too. With game knowledge though, like you can't just run them when they break the game. You have to know how to use them. XP wasted, riff, <laughs> get owned. What of the captives? All safe. Lucky for us, the guy wouldn't be much of a slave trader if he was out roughing up his own goods. To hell with all of you. Mind if I snag a sec alone with him? I still go way back, so wanna have a little heart to heart. I have zero. Nice. Yeah, triangle strategy is actually really fun. It has a lot of good sequence mechanics where you have to like be in position, you have to use things correctly. You getting pursuit earrings for the first time now? Yep. You haven't played it? No, I know, it's fine. <laughs> 
it's a fun game if you want to try it out. It has good mechanics, and hard mode is pretty difficult on the first attempt. And then new game plus is like everything's level 50. It's kind of cool. Which is the max level, by the way. And then you also get to use your entire team from the beginning, and it's way harder in some maps. And it changes some of the early scenarios as well. Enemies get new abilities and stuff. Pretty well done, I think. Rookie egg. Definitely grab that. I might as well use the rookie egg. User earns 100%. Alright, let's power level... Rosaland. I think that's a priority for us. Uh, 70, you're probably good on the evasion. Here, you get a rookie egg. Cool. Let's post station some boys. I'll guard this post with my life. I'll guard this post and then I'll roast. Very good, sir. Long as you're sure. Wait, what did he say? Long as you're sure? <laughs> what? Why, can I not trust him? That's funny that he can become a guard. Got it under control. Let's get some of these nodes. Oh! Oh wait, I have to fix it. <laughs> I thought I couldn't station for some reason. Like at all in general. We're almost a five-man team. Don't even worry about it. I'll start moving some of the other things to this area so I can get more things. Like pull them off of the early game stuff. Those earrings are probably busted on Amalia. Exactly. That's what I was going to run. That's exactly what I was going to run. Where is she at even? Leave it to Lex. I got this. <laughs> I got this. Oh. Worst class is soldier. What? How is soldier bad? It can unwavering spear. Really? You think sergeant's the worst class? I'm using one right now. It's not even fully kitted out, and it's good. <laughs> it doesn't. Even, it's missing items. <laughs> I have a golden egg. You have your charm back, maybe. Why does he have a thing? Here, take a thing. Call. I don't know. I think it has some things that are kind of good. Ooh! Hold on, check this out. Uh, I do want to keep first aid on him. Situationally. Though. Oh yeah, why do you want this axe? Guard rate plus 20%. Magic defense. The damage on that's quite good. That will get him killed. You don't need accuracy if you're going to give yourself true hit. I run this. That's quite good. And then we're going to give him the sniper scope so he can MLG no scope uh, Call of Duty montage. I <laughs> uh, recently got a hold of a ring which gets wide pursuit. Wonder if the ring plus those earrings can make some busted combos and high damage classes. Yeah, that's the, that's the idea, right? Like, that's what you want it for. Or Amalia, who has really high, I think the highest physical attack, if I'm not mistaken. What was, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, Sniper Scope. Sniper Scope. Sniper Lens. Yeah, so then he can Rolling Axe, No Scope. And then she can uh, Keen Call. Born Ally Attacks. You know, just uh, do Back Row. Back Row. Yeah, so, so now we are giving Crit Boost to a 100% attack rolling axe. 
That's pretty valuable. And then also to fireball if we really want to. It's pretty good. The magic pursuit. Activates after you ally uses a magic attack. Mmm. You should make an awful parody edit of M360 no scoping. Molly also gets wide pursuit for free, so no ring. Wait, does she? Does she? Oh, how do I not know that? She gets it for free. Hold on. Or maybe mine is using it. Let's see, system. I'm gonna check that really quick. We're gonna go back, I'm just checking for like a minute. Just a quick check, all right? I know you guys are all about your checks and balances. She has wild kick, she has heavy guard. Yeah, no, she has this, so this, this is a pursuit attack. It's tr It triggers if they block though. Yeah, and right now, oh, and also the Hunter's Claymore gives her plus 20%, and then with the other thing, you'd be even higher. Uh, but obviously, there's the issue of doing it twice versus doing it once. So in this case, you have to do it once. So it's kind of hard to run this on her, or any shield user, really, unless we switch this. They could only get passive point plus one. All right, like there's no like passive point plus two shields. This is an endgame file with like everything on it. Yeah, there's no passive point plus two. And then Hunter's Claymore gets you damage as well. And has good enough might to justify doing it. And it gives you crit. So it's hard to say what you would drop. Like this is necessary. These are like necessary for this. Unless you could do heroes. You could do something like this. It's a one of. Where is it? So this gets you halfway there. It gets you damage increase. Physical attack plus 20%. That's a physical attack. <laughs> By the way, no, I'm kidding. Get all emotional. By the way, it's a physical attack. Then you can give her this. That gets her passive, but then she's still on this. So I guess the earrings are just redundant on her unless you can get, um, Passive point from the sword itself. Because this is 20% increase and this is 20% increase. That's 40. And then if you drop this and then replace it with the other earrings, it's still 40. So I guess it's just how you configure it. So you could run two passive point items, for example. Uh, unfortunately, she cannot run that. That'd be quite nice. Uh, that's active. Just checking the stats. Here we go. His thorn blade crit. We don't want that. Uh, HP. We probably could get away with running this and forge it, or even the initiative one and forge it. I think there's anything else. There's no like passive point plus two sword. That would be crazy. Yeah, I guess because of the way her thing is configured. But also, it's the same case for what is it? It's the other class as well. So who could wide pursuit well? Who has like high physical damage, like really high physical damage without boosts? And then obviously with boosts they get better. Is she? Not really. Yeah, so I guess if you did that setup, you'd get plus 40 either way without the earrings. System. Now you could always just do one pursuit for a huge like stack of damage plus 80% potency on that thing. That'd be crazy. And if that's all you need, that could kill. And then she also has her active attack too. So it's not like she's out of things to do after doing that. So you would be like Hunter's Claymore, uh, Heroes, whatever, or even just some kind of damage increase. Um, oh, no, no, no. No, you can only get 60. The Claymore gives you 20. The earrings give you 40. And then you need the Wide Pursuit. And then you have a shield. So, what other classes could do this? Definitely not you. I don't think these have high damage, do they? Probably not. Oh, they're very low damage. By comparison, this has a shield. 
funny enough, this does not have a shield, <laughs> but it's not a physical nuke necessarily. It's like a decent, it's like a hybrid nuke. What about these? Physical attack, 33. At level 17. Does any class get wide pursuits? Uh, Gladiator gets wide counter, but that's a counter attack, so it's a different ability. Yeah, let's look at character list. Yeah, there's no obvious like high physical attack characters or classes. Most things have like average to above average physical. I think Amalia is probably your best wide pursuit unit in the game. She just has unreasonably high strength. Oh, it's the bridge. It's like, what is that? <laughs> it's a bridge. It's large. Hmm. Wide Pursuit. Maybe there's like a weird obscure class that has Wide Pursuits. But they'll have less damage. So it's like, it's almost... Like even if they had it naturally, Amalia will have way higher damage and just do it better, especially if she's doing it twice. Though I wonder... Well, the other thing that's nice about the Prince is he damage boosts her Wide Pursuit by 20%. Because he does that before anyone attacks. He 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 AoE boosts everyone's damage. So then she gets plus 20% from him. That's why the prince was in that one team. Though that team is like super overkill with everything that it's doing. It does not need to do what it's doing. Lion class. It has wide pursuit. What's its strength look like though? I didn't have a choice. Does it have really high strength? Look how fast he is, Jesus Christ. He's not even like a cab. Oh no. You won't escape my careful. You may not leaving here. Let me help. Let me help. I'll make it providing cover. You'd best make this count. See ya. Yeah, they have wide counter. Yeah, because they're gladiator with like, I think slight changes. Just like Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. I'm pleaded. What? Forgive me. Right. <laughs> it's just a bunch of, I'm just spinning random buttons <laughs> to do emotes or soundboard you. Rano Rockin! Completed. <laughs> it sounds like a dog bark. <laughs> it's just Grok from Paladins. Leave it to Grok. And we'll Grok around the clock. Whatever the hell that means. And Bruno is better than Lex. I can't go in here, right? No. I got Josephed. You get Joseph, you know you can't get in there. So close to Rage of the Fairies, just three level ups. And then once I get this, I can easily get Amalia. I just have the board nuke freeze on uh, initiative gear and then I got it. It beats like most matchups. And then once my thief gets to level 25, he can disable like, a key thing that prevents board nuke from working. I currently have two gladiators, sniper, elven archer team. With first aid kit on the sniper, he heals the elven archer. The selfless heal, which heals everyone at the end. That's pretty cool. Yeah, elven archer has some pretty crazy untapped potential. Bloody spear. Now why have two things that have the exact same stats and different names? That's weird. All right, whatever. <laughs> Make 
Rocket. Let's see if we can beat this. Here, allow me to show you the turn order. No. Give me money. <laughs> we need to buy more random artifacts I'm not using. For reasons. Level 18, huh? Alright, we'll do it. If they're firing the bow, you're doing them wrong. They can, like, last hit and stuff like this. Or they can rock it. Interesting. Cure, quick heal. Now, one thing I wonder about... Hold on, what does it say specifically? Remove all debuffs... Or no, I'm sorry. After being healed... Oh, you know what you could do? Do you know what you could do? I think you to do. If we can large aid... Now, obviously, the first aid works, but if you large aid, you get two group heal. You party heal, and then it triggers a second party heal. <laughs> That'd be kind of crazy. Do I have another first aid? Or I just have the one? I probably would have bought more. First aids are pretty good, actually. I have the self aid, which is debuffs. Man. Oh, I do. First aid. First aid. Elf? Backline? Yeah, it's the only elf. Alright, that's a pretty neat gimmick. It's pretty cool. You could say it's rockin'. Run away! Rockin'! <laughs> rockin'! The gladiator does not tank too well. It's true. Plus, it doesn't protect the backlines. Your backline needs to be decent in tanking heads. I currently have... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, glad does... It doesn't do what it's supposed to. It's almost inferior to like the evasion frontline tanks because at least those don't those don't get hit and take damage. But Glad is just eating damage all day. It eats damage for breakfast. It eats damage for lunch. It eats damage for dinner, and then it dies by the end of the day. That's really its big problem. It spends all day eating damage that it does in fact die. Time for payback. Let me help. All right, let's do this. I didn't have a choice. How is she doing XP wise? Okay. 4,000 to next level. Sure. Right on. Oh, there's a sneaky boy! They got a sneaky boy in there. I've been trying to field as many of the characters as possible. Though, so keep all 10 teams the same level. See ya. Hope you've made Providing. let me help. How's that been going so far? I didn't have a choice. What do you need? Yes, I concur. Go on. There in a second. Go on. Time. I've got your You'd back. best make this count. No hard feelings. Let's take what's ours. Won't take long. What do you need? Heading there now. Surely this counts for something. <laughs> Surely this counts for something. <laughs> I'll make it quick. Providing cover. I didn't have a choice. Can't move another muscle. Not too bad, I've made things interesting spreading out all the good equipment on 10 teams. Yeah, it seems like spreading equipment out kind of balances the game in a way, because then you can't just make super teams. 
That's like the big issue with these games is that it's too easy to make super teams and super units. And then once you do, they just beat everything. And there's nothing the enemies can do about it. Kind of seems like the lack of Valor skill is the biggest differentiator between this run and others. In some ways. So itemless, no Valor skills. I disabled mounts too, which... Kind of makes a difference. It, it makes less of a difference than you'd think. I'm allowing Lane to be on a mount because he only can promote into a mount. He's doing fine right now. He's not really OP or anything. Well, actually, that's not true. He's always overpowered. So maybe he should not be promoted. Just <laughs> unpromote him. Uh, should the Terrenos and Terror Rosalind be in the same units with the fairies stack? I don't think so. I haven't tried it. I don't know. <laughs> Just never promote five, huh? <laughs> I would assume they use their own resources. And either way, if they don't, like at the at the start of battle effect is going to be competing like they're going to be competing with each other for that so i don't recommend it for that reason i think you're better off running them in different teams this is quite the mess father all right then we just body him that's the best part we'll show it so it's less jarring for him to just instantly get deleted. Four main teams and two for base defense and utility. Such incredible strength. Yes. That's what you like about main quest only. You need to optimize everything or they die After them, this way. <laughs> you can use the defensive ring on Lex <laughs> that's so funny why don't you just use a shaman though if you're going to be doing that you might as well so that Lex can actually cosplay as a tank <laughs> he can pretend he's a tank for once he's like I'm a tank like no one tell him we've had their damage. I have to prove myself. It'll break him. My moment has finally come. My moment has finally come. By the grace of the Holy no promote allowed for any units should be the next run. We could try it. Well, the issue then becomes: Do I ban all promoted units so I can't use like Elven Sisters, for example? Stay on the road. I'll see what I can do. Time for payback. Can't let them intimidate me. I Dang. Feel careful, you make it burnt. I've got your back. Let's join our strength. Let All right, cover. let's keep power leveling these other teams. See ya. Oh, we don't kill now? <laughs> the team is mostly used as an assist bot for magic assist, but if it gets caught, it doesn't die immediately thanks to Lex and the Ray. <laughs> nice. Go on. Won't take long. Leave it to Lex! I'm pretty good with the bow. I'll lend you my aid. I could get used to this. 
This is for you, Mom. I'm going. Let's take what's ours. Sure. Attack! My blue. Alright, take some two combats to get through this. On true Zenoiren. I'm not worried. Easy enough. You won't escape my arrows. One of the many benefits of old age. What do you need? Push. Guide me, oh father. Go on. Oh, that sneaky boy. It's time for payback. Let's join our strength. Hmm. Thanks, huh? Wait, why are you on this still? Oh, for the heal. Eh, I kind of don't want to know. <laughs> Just moving things around. It's like, all right, we killed him now. I didn't have a choice. Let's take what's ours. There in a second. We'd better hurry. Push. I'm going. Oh, they got me before I garrisoned. Most unfortunate. See ya. Shouldn't have let your guard down. Yeah? Sure, let's take what's ours. It's my duty as a priest. How can I help? I can handle it. Die. You <laughs> die. So many elven characters are available. I hired a bunch of them before I realized they take 30 honors to hire for city guards. Wait, what? Oh, to like hire them. Because they're advanced. They're advanced boys. That's why. I didn't have a choice. Go on. There in a second. I'll do what I can. Push. Yes, I concur. How can I help? Right. Watch, Tower. Talk. Elven Fencer. What is it? Yeah, you can push too. Why not? All right then. Let's take what's ours. Won't take long. Just to Bold of you to stand against our success is I'll make it quick. Providing cover. Let me help. My strength. <laughs> the RNG. I think I have an idea. Oh, she died. That would be why things did not work out well. Right. You have my soul. I've got your you back. best make this count. Let's try runic sorting with bandit blade. That's almost a kill. Uh, let's passive steal, maybe? No. Let's toxic throw, maybe? No. <laughs> All right, so the, the shadow. Oh, is it because they want to they wanna do something about it? All right. Alright, we'll just do this. 3 HP. If we had Rosalind, we would have killed, but obviously she's dead right now. Most unfortunate. I have to wait on that one unit, too. Ooh, now we're actually getting countered. You make it you have my I'll lend you my I'm here to help. <laughs> if I couldn't switch you. In service of the crown. Bone spear, attack a column. Huh. Cavs cannot guard. That's a decent attack. Have I 
always held such potential? I'm struggling to stand. Did you need me? This is for you, Mom. I'll show you. Keep pushing. Can. I'll handle it. I'm listening. Of course. Keep yeah. pushing. Sure. I'm far you from fight this? Alright, good. Go here. I can handle it. A chance to earn some. Hope you've made your I'm not worried. What do you think of Elven Fencer? Seems meh, besides being able to do support stuff. Oh, it's definitely one of the best classes in the game. <laughs> For sure. It can use Conferral, it can Magic Counter, it has three accessory slots, it has Mirage Stab, which is decent row attack, it can put Evasion on things, it can cleanse debuffs from itself, it can allow you to evade ranged physical attacks, which is quite nice, and... It can single hit stun. It could, it's like a generalist that's good in most team comps. It's, ours now. it's also a combo piece for things. It's time for and it's an evasion tank with more bulk than casters. So if you want it to be your conferral bot, it typically tanks better than like witches and things like this. Alright, you're gonna do this. Never die the desert kid. Wide breaker. I can keep going after I rest. My blade will help you make your careful. You make it burnt. Die. And of course, a certain YouTuber thinks they're average. Who? I'll make my mark. Go Say on. my name. <laughs> Garrison, get in there! It's looking bleak. Just a second. My strength is with you. I'm here to help. Go! Kill. Oh, I should have put him on Runic. He was on Cav Slayer. Jeez. No! I'll make it. I'm not worried. Bounce this out. Get this out of here. Let him garrison. That's as far as I go. We need the garrison defensively, actually. Or we're gonna have some problems. Alright, this should be fine. I'm ready for she bounces it. They made it too easy. It definitely helps. No, don't push him in there! Not <laughs> the one that put Glad needs here. Uh, Alright, let me get my trusty dusty runic sword out. Oh yeah, Jesus man, Runic is ridiculous. However, perhaps we need a second opinion. I should have two now, right? Alright, never mind. <laughs> we do not want the second opinion at this point in time. Let's say we give you damage instead of this dumb thing. Here, try using this. Hmm. What did that say? Something survives with like 4 HP. Uh, hell yeah, dude. Alright, what else? Can this be on 50 still? Alright, cool. Just a second. Bruno S tier, generics A tier. Sounds like once they get a few more levels under their belt, they will shine. Ithlion didn't perform well for me, so I benched him. You really just have to use them as a combo piece that uh, can also deal decent row damage and single target stun. They're good, they should be good immediately. <laughs> when is Altus gonna make this game challenging? I don't know. Even with all these limitations, it still lacks difficulty, unfortunately. Magic attack. Big poison damage. Party aid. Nice the heal. That'll do for now. Or Rosalind is just dead. No hard feelings. <laughs> no hard feelings. Let's take what's ours. Sure. Made it. 
Alright, get back. Oh wait, punish this? Well, whatever, just wait. It's time for payback. I'm here to help. 51 damage, you say? Oddly specific number. <laughs> I think she dies now. <laughs> you know what? Who probably won't die? Really? He dies? No way. With double evasion? Oh, I should have taken this off her. Or she deployed. Where are you? You are deployed. Uh, just run that for now. Wait, what's the team? Archers, okay. What if I lean edge? Okay. Lean edge on... Do you runic? Whatever. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> Some mixed up tactics here, but we profited health, survived the combat, and we're doing okay. Alright, back on Bandit's Longsword. Runic. There's a good chance Vanilla we're adding an even harder difficulty later, even New Game Plus, but I don't know how much harder they'll make it. Yeah, I guess we'll find out soon enough, right? When they ship it. And until then, I'll still make some guides, stream it a little bit, and Dragon's Dogma starts today, so it's gonna be crazy. Potentially. I have a team that has plus 800% gold gained. Virginia, uh, Ren, Aaliyah, Rosalind. Golden Egg on all four. Nice. Is that even, is that ever needed though? I feel like there's so much money in this game. Unlike in real life. <laughs> Unlike in real life where there's certainly not too much money. Oh yeah. I can do it. Push. Heading there now. Guide me, oh father. Is that all? I'm listening. I'll see what I can do. Time to go. Mm. Yeah. Oh wait, we can do this. I will. <laughs> I will. All right then. Let's take what's so going. it's settled. I'll make it quick. You best you have to and we can spam here time. too. Teams will uh, still not most of the time. Even being held down by those items and basic enemies give them like four thousand gold. Yeah, that sounds overtuned as hell. This the place. All right, and they keep fighting this. this Slowly losing. May the father smile upon me. I'm far from helpless. Right. Yeah. Sure. What do you need? Of course. What now? If you station guards in every town, that adds up so much gold over time. It can. A chance to earn some. I've got your. I'll lend you my aid, providing. Let me. Help. You have my sword. You have my sword. No hard feelings. Let's take what's ours. Won't take long. I'll show you. I'll handle it. I'm prepared for anything. I advance. Departing. I'm ready for anything. Haha. -ha. But is it as good as the super tax bros? Well, it depends on what tax bracket you fall into. Really? That's the, the real issue. <laughs> Depending on the tax bracket, it could be better or worse than super tax bros. We don't know yet. Frankly, the world is not ready to know. This should be it. Time for payback. I got you my strength. XP. I didn't have a choice. Let's just push everyone. Go to the boss. Yeah. I'll make it quick. See ya. 
four XP for kills. Hope you've made your peace. Providing Let me help. No hard feelings. These are getting good XP off those combats. Time for I got you best make this count. I buy everything, feeding 42 active members is expensive. See? And it's growing. Yeah, I can see that. Let's take what's ours. Alright, so he's gonna wait. Go on. Push! Won't take long. You're not leaving here alive. Nice. Move another muscle. This is for you, Mom. Just to hope you've made your peace. Let me help you. Have Let's my... join our strength. You have my. <laughs> you got interrupted. Impressive, aren't I? Level 23, baby. She's two levels away. And we get a warrior's medallion. I can't move. They got rid of XP for units, but still had it for your whole army to control the units, sizes, and promotion timing. Uh, then playing more wide could be more optimal. <laughs> Impressive, aren't I? Gold Mary, is that you? It might be Gold Mary. I might have snuck her in the game. Someone's got to. We're getting close. It's like even getting even more OP things. <laughs> I don't know that we need them, but Armor. May fortune bring what you seek. Come on, my Sonic Blast. Man. What's the deal with this? Physical defense. Guard efficiency. Interesting. Yeah, well, I don't think I'll ever use that. A fight. Self's blade I can situationally use. As a kind of blade, if you will. Maybe making super units with OP items is too good. It is. May fortune bring what you see. Painful smash. 25% of target's HP is additional damage. Hmm. Some more Karnat weapons. How am I doing on the bridge thing? Can I use the bridge yet? 560 Coliseum coins. I need three more and then we have the bridge. So possibly I can find that exploring. It would be nice if wood spawned right there, right next to her. It's the wrong wood. That'd be fish up there. This is probably fish as well, yeah. Something fishy. I just need three wood, and then I can go get the plus five attack axe, or plus five all stats axe. The rock. Hmm. It's wood. Nope. Nope. <laughs> the wrong type of wood. I think this one's quick too. Yo, know, and it's
it's time to hop on the bike. We haven't biked today, but I should at least do like an hour on it. Oh yeah, that's very close. Oh, there's a little thing over here too. Send you over here. I have to prove my what do you need? Cool. Right. Wait, is that a priest on that? <laughs> what the hell? No surprise there. Let's take what's ours. Uh push center. Get in there. My moment has finally come. You won't escape my arrows. The funny thing about this map is that you can use this ballista. <laughs> Wait, can you hit the boss with the ballista? No way. I'll make my mark. You can. Yes, I concur. Fortress two. The hell? Oh yeah, that's right. They do that. What about Fortress three. What about Team Fortress two? You'd best. I got your back. This just adds so much damage there. Providing cover. Let me help. Travis dies. No hard feelings. Looks like I made it. Okay, you can't target. What do you need? I'm listening. I'll see what I can do. I'm losing blood here. Oh dang, we're dying. No. Just stings a bit. That's all. I go. Won't take Harrison. By the grace of the Hulk, did you need me? <laughs> At least these guys could probably get to. What now? Not even surprised. Okay. I won't Good. hold you back. This is for you, Mom. What do you need? Right. I've what made do it. you need? Oh, I actually didn't want him to do that yet. Stay back. I'll lend you my aid. You'd best make this count. Let's join our strength. I'll lend you my aid. All right, let's just see what happens. I think we take their tank out, right? Tank is still up. Me, oh father, is that all? Get him! <laughs> we must play Brute force up. it. All right, they have one guy left. Oh, you lived. I must with nice. Departing. Um, brute force. Our success is inevitable. Oh, I could have leached off of that for XP. Lighter with each passing day. <laughs> oh, rip. I'm surprised there's no classic and use multiple types of weapon. I think warrior can, but it's just hammers and axes. Technically speaking. It doesn't change the visuals, though. It always shows it as using... A hammer. Does 2D art be like that, yo? Your honor. Oh yeah, I could probably get uh, five-man groups. I'm just donations. Be close. May fortune bring what you. Ooh, this is good. My quality wears. Decent horse killer. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, right. Do visit again. <laughs> Sharon waifu. Am I right? You could say Sharon's a waifu. That's an acceptable response. Conditions <laughs> that we live under. Which of these is not fixed? I forgot that hammers and axes were distinct in this game. Yeah. Yeah, most games kind of lump them together. Except for Elder Scrolls. We're getting there. We're super close.
Sharon is Oakley's waifu. I could never separate them. Yeah, Warrior can use Hammer and Axe. Here. Let's try this one. The best waifu is Gaston. When I was a lad, I had five dozen eggs. Because <laughs> I was trying to get large. I think that's what he says. When he was trying to get large. Yeah, then Elder Scrolls hate spears. That's right. They removed it. They removed... Don't get all philosophical on me now. Sharon Waifu and... Oh wait, Gaston is Waifu bad? Hammers are just axe-type weapon though. There are no hammer-type weapons. Just specific to warrior. Interesting. So you're telling me the hammers are not real. And that they're all just an illusion. But we don't need to promote, we need to expand. Expand you. Do we need to expand this? Probably. Why not? Alright. We already know what to do here. I kind of don't even want to run Travis in this team. He's just good because he gets to do things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he gets to do things. This team, this team's a little weird. This team is very standard for what I usually run. Let's expand this one and just move them around. I like the top two to be the best ones. Wait, how much honor? 123, all right. Spears were in Morrowind though, because base, that's right. And they were fun. And they also had halberds too, because they were allowed to. Let's move you guys up. Move that gear up. She needs her defense debuff. Then this team is kind of lacking. Like these are all supports. We need like the combo. Then you, you're gonna be helping us out, man. You're gonna be a quick boy, so to speak. Going to offensive order once. I like how they have him on this, like, debuff utility, for whatever reason, when he really should be doing something better with his time, we'll say. He really should be plumed out of his eyeballs. Get all plumed up. Alright, cool. He's not faster than the thief. That's fine. So offensive order, and then ban or banishing, stab, spam, and then pursuit, I suppose. Got a lapis for me. Yeah, take hers. We don't use her anymore. Royal Saber and it plus five. That's fine. Runic Sword. That's fine. Okay. And then for this team? What do they want? We need to get like combo pieces in here. That's like the thing we're lacking right now. Actually, what level is Travis? 23 or 22. You know what? I'm gonna do some things. I already know some things that are good, so I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> just stick the things in that I know are good. Just run that. We'll take the best things and run those in a team. What else is there? This. The little. Evasion on ya, sister. We got Raven Bloom. This is like being forced to be used. <laughs> Alright, you'll be on this team. You'll be on this team. Okay. I think these teams are a little bit better now. Okay. Oh, except for the team that has <laughs> two units, that's probably not better. Who 
Who else? Who's good to frontline here? We'll run Gamma, why not? Give him a nice little slippery salad, we'll say. Silken scarf. If you find us one, that is not needed, my dude. Barbed ribbon, stun immunity. <laughs> I don't think we need that either. You know, just dancers bracelet people. Got this. Okay. Alright, I think we have two good teams and then an okay team and then two whatever teams. does tell you to talk to him before battle. Who does? Ooh, long stream. Yeah. yeah, it's a continuous stream. It's been going on. If you rush, he says you're an idiot and doesn't join you. You're back from work. It's time for Super Zenoyren. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, let's see. Now, I want to just do something here. Also known as just going for it. We're going for it. We got five-man teams. We're going for it. Clearly, Gilbert is a triangle strategy enjoyer. Uptime's getting rather large. Uh-oh. Time to get <laughs> broken elf girls. Uh... But I thought you were going to play the furry game. Yeah, at 8 p.m. tonight. We're going to be streaming a lot today. 8 p.m. is when... Uh, it, it unlocks at 8 p.m., but I can't play it probably until like 8.15, so I'll set it for like 8.30. Because I have to install and download the game. I have to prove myself. Yeah, I made a fat cat dude that looks funny, so we're going to be playing as that. Alright, let's just kind of like mindlessly push in here. There's a certain mindlessness that's required. Uh-oh. Quick impetus! You know, I convinced a bunch of people to try out SM thanks to your vid. Swordmaster? Seems like my favorite class fell a favor with you. What the hell is a furry game? You can make a tiger guy in, um... What is it? Jesus. I got huge damage here. Hope you've made your peace. You oh. this count. Those assists are brutal, dude. Oh, let me figure this out. Let's get off Rookie Egg and run an actual <laughs> passive <laughs> and stop goofing off with these weird things. Much better. Yeah, in Dragon's Dogma 2, you can make like a funny. I made like a, a fat cat. He's the big corporate fat cat that runs everything, basically. Breakthrough! Breakthrough, stupidly! <laughs> Bold of you to stand again. You won't escape my arrows. Let me help. I'll make it quick. I've got your back. You'd best make this count. Let me help. All right, kill this guy. We need to get rid of these assists, and then we're fine. That one's for you, Mom. Get to the tower. Yes. You're not leaving here alive. You'd best make this count. Get wrecked. Let's see just how a little. Look at this power leveling meta. You always power level even when, even when you don't need to. Have you lost? Ah. This. Providing. Let me help. Just do it. Just get rid of their frontliners. And kill the boss. Hell yeah, dude. Get that XP, son. Nice, level 21. Defensive curse, you'll love to see it. Just to confer all, you'll love to see that. Just give me a few. It's gaming time. <laughs> You either power level and snowball, or you power level and snowball slower. 
<laughs> that is the name of the game. There is no in-between. Never had such a huge backlog back when I was a kid with a lot of free time. That's true. That's how it goes. Does anyone use the soldier? Yes. <laughs> I'm using one right now. They're pretty good. Three. Yes, we can deliver. Soldier is good, but it falls off later. Hmm. Let me look at it again. Does it fall off later? Home attack of 130 potency, plus 50 if the user is buffed. Uh, I don't know. This is not bad. Active gift activates after an ally uses an active skill. Hmm. No, I think soldier is an obvious combo piece, and it has a good attack. It's it shouldn't fall off. Giving an active point lets you do redundant board nukes. Soldier still does no damage. Uh, Twenty-three physical attack at level twenty-one. What's he at? I mean, it's a support unit, so... He's at... I don't think he's much higher, is he? He's at 31, so it's only a little bit lower than... Viking. How are Elvish Spencers? They're good. Or a ship. The Bastorius! We're gonna power level for no reason. <laughs> Time to power level. I mean, giving something an action point for two passive points is pretty big value built into its kit. So it could do this twice to accelerate combos. It also has, like, spot heal and, you know, lane nuke, true strike, all the things, runic blade, runic spear, whatever. I mean, I think people were questioning, like, the Elvish Sniper, and then I just, like, started using it as a thing, and then it became a thing. Uh, aren't there, like, six teams? Usually it just takes, like, basic planning to figure out where these things fit in. It's Valor skill. It has a fantastic Valor skill. Especially for dealing with, um certain things. This is a main quest? Get Unifi already? Jesus, man. Alright. We're done. What are we doing just standing here? Ramona need Does Meteor Slash proc the witch's magic and furl nine times? I haven't tested it, but in theory it should proc it nine times. Because it should be per hit, right? No surprise there. Oh, what is this one? I vaguely remember this. I just did it recently. Oh, do we have to like help them? Deborah. <laughs> is there Dinah too? Dinah and Deborah. Didn't realize tactics took so much time. We have a fort we can deploy from? What is the wind condition? Oh, it's just that? Oh. That's weird. Ain't right on. Just... Ooh, that kills us. Or does it just kill them because they suck? Yeah, it just kills them because they suck. <laughs> That's how this game is. Like, oh, it just kills the, the generics. Got it. Mm. See this team? My moment has finally come. Heading there now. I wouldn't call it great later compared to other characters, which I would rather have on my main comps. Wait, what the hell? 
is this? Why do I care about AI fights? Like telling me to battle. Go, go, go! Kill the wolves! They're evil! Win! I must never yield. I can't wait for my next Alright, power leveling arc. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Just jump ahead in quest lines to power level. All you have to do. And also grab Unifi. Right. Go on. There in a second. Oh, these are gonna spit out the crazy boys in a second. Got a do of knowledge, right on. Let's take what's ours. Sure, yeah. <laughs> you sweepy board. Quick. I shall surpass Ludwig. You impressed? You impressed? Time for payback. It's a weird map. It seems like you can just like rush the boss. It shouldn't come as a surprise. Quickly. Uh, can damage riders like magic and furl critically hits? Yes. Oh wait, what do you mean? I thought you were asking about assists. What do you mean damage riders? I'm not sure what that means. Uh, do we magic attack? Probably not. I think we... Eh, whatever. You know, we just res if someone dies. About to get him. Uh-oh, the moon's out. <laughs> Why does she have elf ears anyways? Grow stronger at night. Let's do this as a precaution. It's my duty as a priestess. Oh, like the extra damage added. <sighs> well, what it does is it just it adds the conferral into your attack. So if your attack were to crit. It would just give bonus damage because it's improving the damage of the attack. It combines it into one attack. It doesn't roll a separate attack, which could then crit. Yeah, there in a second. Oh, these guys need to continue moving. You know what I'm saying, dude? Appreciate the help. No supports move crits. Wait, why is she going that way? Where are you going? Are you taking the road? Eh, whatever, take the road. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> They're pushing up pretty fast. I just want the res. What? Uh... Well, that's faster than a... Jesus, look at the time on that. Did they not defend anything at all? Like, what the... <laughs> Alright, I guess we don't have time to res. We have to win first, because they're getting rushed by every furry in the game. Uh, did they playtest this? What is this? What? Excuse me? Dude, that happened so fast. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that happened? How fast was that? That was like 80% mark and they're winning? Yeah, like right now they're gonna win. What the hell? All right, is this another one of these things that's bad for this run? Maybe I need to dive them early, I guess, and help them fight? Damn, they got bodied hard. 
Do I even have enough time to get there? I might be too physically slow to arrive in time. Alright, I guess we'll help. You'll slow push. You'll die. No. Push. My moment has finally. I'm listening. Yeah, last time I did this, I immediately beat it. So. I have to prove myself. I can do it. If you go the normal way, you spawn in the middle of the map. The boat route spawns you in the harbor. Oh, interesting. So it's just way harder from here. By the grace of the holy, I'm prepared for anything. I just push the boss. Is it even possible? Do these all just get bodied? So I have a bad. They have a bad uh, catapult in the opening. Don't want out of my way. It seems like this game struggles when you take away valor and cav skills with some of the positioning things. All right, we don't care about AI fighting. Some allies. Hope you've made your All right, so they're pushing through the barricades and I'm pretty far away. I'm very far away. Uh, I want to say... I barely get there in time. If at all. They're trying to meteor. Seed, or uh... Okay. Alright. They did actually get a head off. It looks like those ones on the right here are going to get in easily and kill her. And it's nighttime already. Why did he stop moving? Is there a reason you stopped moving? Or... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, just uh, quit, I guess. Sure. Yeah, I don't recall you. I don't recall telling him to stop moving, but apparently what he did. And now we're too far away and we lose again. What the hell is this map? Look at the time limit. It's like instant loss on like the first. I'll make it quick. Wow. I oh, wouldn't even kill. There in a second. He just stopped moving. He just gave up. He's like, whatever. Payback. I had him follow a guy. Maybe. A little bit of tricorn pride for Maybe an accident. That's what happened. He did stop moving. All right, now we don't have enough time to get in there because they're insanely fast and I'm very slow. So that's a problem. Yeah, we just simply lack the speed to keep up. Sure. And then of course the the, the build this is running is abysmal. I may disappoint oh, he's gonna die. Whatever. We're too far away. Retreat and loss. Of Grr. Must we submit to senseless bloodshed? I change your team comp. You know what you're doing. All right. <laughs> the future of Bastorius grows dark indeed. All right. Wow, that's insane. This is the third map where an out of position green unit is physically not possible to be reached <laughs> in this run. All right, I'll have to not retry. All right, let's go to the overworld. 
It's gonna be one of those things where they don't let me run around though, isn't it? Or maybe not. Well, maybe we can start... Sure, okay. Sure, all right, turn on. Where's the alternate start? Is there an alternate start? Now what's up with these? These are just fights, I guess. All right, get bodied, thank you. <laughs> just get good. I mean, we're here. Oh, I lost to that. <laughs> Just get a better map. It's from the Cornea entrance. I mean, we can explore here. I can just do a different map, I suppose. All right, thank you for the corned ash. Fantastic. Here we go. Battle for something. Let's do this one. <laughs> Unifi percent. I'm hoping I can get closer though, because otherwise I'll have to allow a lane cav just to even get up there. We're way too slow. Uh. All right. We'll do some business. I have to prove myself. Won't take long. Let's do these guys. My moment has finally come. Okay. I'll make my mark. Yes, I'll push. I'll make it quick. I got your Let me help. I can't wait for my next fight. I'm listening. All right, cool. I'll make my mark, of course. What do you need? I'll see what I can do. Stay back. Oh, he gets bodied by the crap. <laughs> oh, all right. Did you get him out of range of that? Pretty sure I'm in their line of fire. No, not gravity. What are they gonna do with the choke point though? Or on me? Okay, they're doing the choke point. Hope you've made your peace. I don't have to beat this level to do the run though. Like the other level, this level I'll beat obviously. Yeah. Sure. This is for you, Mom. Right. I'm listening. All right. Wait, with first strike, they get bodied. Careful. Perfect. Perfect. But it pushes me back because of their effect. What do you need? Yeah, like I can still beat the game. I just need to do different missions. I'm going. Give up on Unifi, a fate worse than death. I mean, honestly, I don't think she's as good. She, I think she's S tier, but I, I'd rather have the Elven Sisters if I had a choice. Because their board nuke hits immediately and doesn't need Impetus. Actually, she's going to be bad in this run because I don't have Impetus. So, I don't mind not getting her if it comes down to it. Uh, let's push you guys. Let's push you guys in. It's my duty as a priestess. All right, your duty. The call of duty. Attack. All ours now. Yes. Aha. You're not leaving here alive. Just a second. As expected of Cornian royalty. Nice. Dude. Get in. I'll do what I can. I'll make my mark. <laughs> I don't think you will make your mark, honestly. Yes, I, can I think they're gonna make their mark on you, man. Right. Oh, what are you Go doing? On. Oh, can you not go in that way? Where the hell are you going? Oh. That's weird. I'll make it quick. Eh. What are we doing here? Runic sword? What else could I do? I could lean edge, I suppose. 
She has her big attack. Maybe I disable this. Or maybe we do this. Hmm. Really? Uh, passive steel. All right, that works for me. Providing cover. Killing is better than not killing. I shall surpass Ludwig. You impressed? Yeah. That will kill me, really? Because they're dumb little combos. Let's kill this first. I'm here. Oh, that's right. I'm not oh, we get spammed out. <laughs> We get spammed out. I feel like I'm fighting archer assists more than the actual maps themselves. Jesus, dude. Wow, the assist. Here, let's look at the assist damage. Yeah, 22 crit, 11 damage. Yeah, the assist damage is ridiculous in this game. It's almost like anti-critical thinking. <laughs> it's just like nonsense. Your nonsense versus their nonsense. Okay. Sure, something hits. Yeah, they just keep spamming like 50 attacks <laughs> back to back. <laughs> oh man. Completely bodied them, assist damage changed everything. Kill this? Oh wait, we could have gone that way and he was just completely insane and routed poorly. Alright, just die. Stop embarrassing yourself, Elaine and Travis group. Why did they reroute? Can they not? Oh, what the hell? And then it immediately reroutes? It just gives up after one attempt? I bet I can get in there. I'm going. It looks like it can. Oh Jesus Christ. These things are super obnoxious. <laughs> They're like needlessly fast. These furries. Yeah, it looks like they win because of the poor routing after it bumped into a thing or just defaulted to bad routing. Looks like we're getting comboed down here. Alright, I have to not let it do things as much. I shouldn't have accepted that it did that. And then this team sucks ass, and this team sucks ass. We have two bad teams. This team is pro- well, let's lose you. These are just weird. Let's move this here. Give her the evasion shield. All right, we have a front line that can probably fight these. I can't let them do what they want to. When they want to make like these big mistakes, like, oh yeah, I'll just run around the entire map. <laughs> it's like, no, you won't. And then for this, let's do that. Which one do they have more of? Magic. Looks like magic assist is the big issue. All right, anti-magic assist. This does not work out. He is just for speed. He should be something else. Maybe I steal this for a super group. I have a prince. Yeah, I'd rather have a super group. He dies to assist so easily. That's like his big issue. Okay, and then what about these guys? I guess they're fine. All right, push in. What's the... Actually, I can deploy. I can push right through. No surprise there. Let's take what's I can do something like this. It's trying to get me to go to the road, which is obviously a mistake. All right, just kill this. I don't like how I don't have control. Like, I want to hit Y here. You hear that? I'm hitting Y and it does nothing. I have to, like, put it in a place I don't want to. I wish I could, like, precisely put Y right here and then go up. But I'm gonna have to like yeah. play around like the weird movement sure. to do that instead of just like inputting it in advance. What should I do? Like this has to be out of the way before they can do that. And then can you fight? My moment has 
you fight that? Yeah, we need more tanks. Toughness. The knight, the foxes are calves, pretty much. Yeah. It's time for payback. Nothing stopping me now. All right. Then what we want to do is this. Yes. All right. Go on. There in a second. Hmm. I think we true thrust here. And switch to physical. Where is it? Good physical. Carnat sword. Do I not have a Carnat? There it is. All right, just give me a Carnat sword. Should be fine. Start getting rid of these assists. That's really what the problem is in like 90% of these maps is just the assist spam. And then once you remove it, it's like the maps are trivial. Another step forth. Yeah. Won't take long. What should I do? Why are you not moving directly into it? Like, <laughs> you know, there's a direct path you can walk. What are you doing? What is this? All right, stop. Whatever. It is. Okay. I'll do what stop I this nonsense. Just move directly at it. What are you doing? It's like so confused. I'll head over now. After me. It's so confused. It doesn't know how to move in a straight line, apparently. Or maybe it can't interact with it. I'm pretty sure it can run into it here, though. It's- it's- look at this- look at this leisurely stroll it's taking. Oh god. Alright, good. At least we don't get bodied. It's just, like, clunky at times. Like, why is it not going straight at him? And now we have the kill. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'll take it. Looks like the house. I think that wall is maybe blocking it. I think you can still physically touch the enemy collision box, though, and fight them, though. It's just not letting me move there. I don't know if there's collision there. It's just not doing that. All right, we beat that. Some tricorn wisdom. Historia Towns block movement. That's weird. And the artificial difficulty we never knew we needed. It'd be too convenient for the player. Well, it's it's hard to tell that there's a wall there if that's what it is. All right, we beat that. We're getting some level ups. We're doing all right. The Neuer is gone. That's right, you freaking bear guy. <laughs> Another day playing Tricor and Overlord. Oh, then there's this lady. Hmm. I don't need a damn thing from outsiders. All right, you little moody Judy. We're not going to help you anymore. How's that sound? Moody Judy. The Call of Duty. Now, what did he say? Do you think there'll be any DLC for this game? Hard to say. I would assume no, based on the company's history. The hell is that? Wait, have I done that before? That cave? Maybe I did in my other thing. <laughs> Moody Judy, yeah, do you like that? Very dumb. It's dumb, but you like it. It's a thing that people like. Oh, I didn't kill him. I don't need a thing from outsiders. It's like, all right. All right, you moody fox lady, get out of here. Okay. We shall do whatever it is that Joseph has said. Vanillaware, for the first time we will do DLC. Well, I heard they're, like, anti-PC as well. Like, they don't like PC players because they think we're all pirates. But in reality, everyone buys things on Steam sales. Okay. 
It looks like, what are you guys talking about? It looks like there is no other entrance. It seems like there's just one entrance. Okay. Call for Morden. Get in there, Morden. What are you doing? Show us the way. She's voiced by Yunaka? There is, but you have to come from Cornean. Uh, so I have to beat the Cornean quest? Yeah, if I do it from here, it's just, it's not happening. <laughs> Uh, we simply cannot get there physically with these uh, rule set, with this rule set. Under these conditions, we'll say. You wanna go, you little griffin baby? <laughs> baby. That's right. You're not breaking out of B tier. <laughs> Let's get all this junk. Look at all the resources. So much meager timber. I could build a house. Could I might? Battle for Umblecons. This'll be easy. I think. Yeah, I don't know that Unifi will be very good in this run. <laughs> Antagonizing your customers is the best way to make money. <laughs> now we have one PC game. Surprise there. All right, kill this immediately. Kill their only source of damage. <laughs> the chain assist, spam. It's almost like an engage where when you have your builds going, the only thing that can really hurt you are like chain assists. Kind of funny in that way. I'll see what I can do. Hope you've made your pace. You'd best make this count. I didn't have a choice. I'll make it quick. Let me help. Oh, I need to take them off Shaman so they can leech XP. Where that came from? Oh, I can't take them off. I don't have Valor. Yeah. Unless I wait a second. Just wait a moment. I hope you're ready. We should turn ICG into a competitive Pokemon player. Is that game even competitive though? What do you mean competitive Pokemon? Player? Like what game? Like, what do people even play? I don't even understand it. I'm pretty good. Hope you've made your peace. I've got your back. You'd best make this count. Wow, that's like no damage. Northeast of that liberation mission is a big old tent. Hmm. Let me help. Providing cover. You'd best make this count. Doubles for official. As a comp scene. Singles for self torture. A chance to. Well, what is it? The card game? I've got your back. Let me help. Pokemon is a competitive bat competitive battler online. Sounds like it's too much hoopla for me. I'll make it providing cover. You'd best make this count. I must never yield. I can't wait for my next. You impressed? Sounds like too much hoopla. After I rest. The video game and the cards. Yeah, I can't say I want to get into competitive Pokemon. <laughs> it's not really a thing that's going to help me out at all. <laughs> Umblecon's checkpoint is Zenoira is no longer. I would get demolished by a seven-year-old. <laughs> Alright, now what? I've done that. 
She's still moody. She's still moody. I guess I could have just entered there normally. That ended up messing things up. I can't go this way because he's like, we should begin by making for Bastoriza. Bastoriza? Pokemon Showdown. <laughs> Why do you guys always want me to play these weird ass games? <laughs> Pokemon, I have to get in a competitive Pokemon now? Absolutely not. It looks like I'm just doomed here. I can't make it over there. There's not enough time. Within the rule set, there's just simply not enough time. Uh, unless I can speed up the team. 143. 147. 155. 100, he, wait, he loses speed with a faster unit? How does that make any sense? What kind of math is that? What? Is this 300 or is this 250? What the hell? 300? How do we lose so much speed? Damn. All right. Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. We need him for the speed for sure. I don't think it's physically possible to make it there with this rule set. Currently. Why not run Berengaria on this team? Someone to dominate. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Just run the best things only. All on one team. And then what else? Virginia? Who else was here before? Who's Chloe? <laughs> We're just gonna make a super team of all the best units. Then this team just does whatever. Whatever they feel like, really. Uh, let's see. He's not even on a void tank. Sense of order, there's no combo. <laughs> I'm just like throwing those together. Oh, is this it? Oh, okay, here it goes. Here we go. I just completely changed all my team comps, too. The question is, can we run Unifi without the impetus? you ever played Tactics Ogre? I have not. The solution is to run your own Turbo Furries. I don't think I have any yet. And I can't explore to get some, either. Alright, let's see. Okay, we have this position. This is better. Much better. No surprise there. Actually, technically we do have turbo furries. Technically we do, actually. There might have been a solution all along. And then this guy is now... That's why it was so much easier. Sure. You just have to push him now. That's significantly easier. All right, this is a weird new hybrid team that I just threw together five seconds ago, so let's see how they do. All right, everyone just pushes. Push the boss. Looks like they get bodied by the boss. I need to spend more than five minutes or 10 seconds making team comps for some of these. Just get in there. Everyone just get in there. Uh, Scarlet's units. Let's combine those. Oh wait, he's fast though. That's valuable. It loses the support. We have another thief, dude. We have another. We have another cav. <laughs> Another Cav Thief hybrid. <laughs> go! Just push. It doesn't even matter. Everyone goes. Everyone must get in there. 
Just dive the boss. That's the only thing that matters. Dive the boss. Before they get overwhelmed by animals. Time. You won't escape the vault. Hope you've made your peace. We do want to stay in the front. It shouldn't come as a surprise. Ooh, we get Rage of the Fairies. That is massive. <laughs> Wait, Rage of the Fairies with Berengaria. We're just doubling down on absolute insanity. Uh, let's do front row. <laughs> just double stun them. Oh, you can get on your actual weapon now. Get off that. that front. <laughs> Wait, I'll do this in the back. Back row. Is your initiative higher than hers? No. We need to get her on higher initiative. Here. Where's that raven plume? So that she can row stun, she can rage in the fairies and row stun, and then Baron Garia stuns again as well. It's completely fine. I see nothing wrong with it. Button cab, yeah. Urgh. Well, they damaged the boss for me. That's nice of them. Yeah, I remember beating this, like, immediately. Like, you just straight up dive this boss and then win. It's almost nighttime. Yeah, we should be there in time. You know a game is serious when Little Fairy is the strongest destructive force in the game. That's true. Yes, I think we have it. I we have a second thief squad now. I'll make it quick. Uh, let's watch it. Let's see how it does. Oh, now, now the rebels decide to turn up. You can recruit Conrad. Who? Let's begin. All right, stun back row. Stun front row <laughs> for huge damage. Nice. Edge. Okay. Nice. Incapacitated. Death spin. No, not quick curse. Dang. Oh, their damage. Oh, they're like blocking or something. You'll pay for that. That must have hurt. Conrad is the Viking boss of the map. He isn't recruitable. All right, then stuff happens. <laughs> then stuff happens. Push, push before we lose. Yes! Hope you've made yes! Alright, good. Well, that was a race against time. Then we get rapid order. It's kind of neat. Not even surprised. As expected, of okay. royalty. It's possible. Hooray. Is there a recruitable Viking besides Aubin? That I don't remember. I could not tell ya. Since your ring can break Zenoira's spell on humans. Oh yeah, and then it doesn't work. That's the best part. You break the spell on this stinking animal? <laughs> ah! This little stink. She's the only shaman, Yana's the only witch, even though there's another named witch. True, there is. All right, these little birds get on my team now. Or the owl lady, I guess. She really gives a hoot and a holler. Why is ours, Elaine? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. Snow Ranger. All right, we got more lad. Got some more dudes to recruit it or to, to deploy. I like the cats. 
Why aren't the cat bistrels playable? They're adorable. And they're not like weirdly sexualized <laughs> either. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> they're just like little cat dudes. Look at that. Why can't that be playable? I want a cat dude. Elaine is on a mount. Mountainless run nullified. Wrecked. To compensate for Elaine being on a mount, you should run around. <laughs> <laughs> on foot in overworld. Itemless is also void because he had to use an item on the Lex tutorial. That's technically true. <laughs> cats? Yes, cats. Alright, here's the... Oh, wait, we don't have the hoot in the holler yet. She's like, ah, door. I thought the one lady lets us look at stuff or whatever, the owl. <laughs> Did I hear cats? <laughs> I thought the one lady is like the owl, the who, the who done it owl or something. She like looks at things, or you know what I'm talking about. She like looks at the. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Ow, the owl. You know what I'm saying? We need to find these stone circles, I suppose. Keep one over here. I got meteorite weapons. Oh no, I have to fix the bridge first. Yeah, we might as well start grabbing this stuff. We got Unifi. Did you get her yet? Who, the owl? I don't know. Probably. Some, I got someone. Oh yeah, we have a uh, Harbor now. Let's go to this. Deliver. Nice. You chose difficulty. Or you choose difficulty after tutorial. So is any TZ run real TZ? Um, maybe. <laughs> Not sure what you're saying there. Take your time. Oh yeah, the bear bro. Guard seal, passive seal immunity. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> Thanks for stopping. Station a guard. We'll have her defend because she's very good at that, as we've learned. You can't do the owl door so part way through the region. Ah, uh, okay. That's what I thought. I was just hopeful. I could get this owl popping off. We're kind of skipping the elven lands. Mostly because it's too easy and I want to level up faster. No valor, no mounts. And not fun in the same run. <laughs> what? <laughs> we got mounts on the overworld, that's about it. Alright, you stupid little beast rolls, what do you got? Get wrecked! That's right, give me that valor. Your honor, these animals attacked me. <laughs> Bear bro is the true homie, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, why can't he be playable, what the hell? I didn't get second elven chick yet. Why can't the little bear, the fun bear homie and the cat people be playable? Those are way better than these, like, thirsty fox things <laughs> that make me want to never run them just on aesthetic alone. Oh, we lost. I didn't even check it. I just assumed we had it. All right, Druid, what do you got? Hmm, interesting. How do you not get wrecked by stun? That's what I want to know. Okay, we're getting there. What else? Better. Give me money. <laughs> Thank you. You're looking at Rogue here, friend. Better known as the Thief's Advanced Class. Whoa. Amazing. Oh, wait, is he doing his stupid thing? Is that what's going on? No, he's not. Do not do this. Do not rapid order. Thank you. The <laughs> Thirsty Furries. 
I wish we got the rat dark marquee at the end of the region instead of post game. Yeah, that'd be cool. The shield bears, I think, are fine. They're not they're not remotely thirsty. They're just big bear dudes that are cool. They're not rude. They're not weird or you know being all moody Judy with you like in the opening. Uh, can't you get imp from the arena shop? Imp? What? Like an actual imp? Have you done online Coliseum? Just briefly. Some people are all about it. I would have preferred it to have been like an overworld battle with like actual moving of pieces and mobility and the sieges and stuff, but oh, this thing. Can't access. Yeah, I'm not allowed to use the arena shop. Or the black market or the angel shop. We're just banning everything. Legacy of the Lion Kings? <laughs> Is that the... <laughs> the Lion Kings? <laughs> Is that really the, <laughs> the name of the quest, though? Couldn't come up with anything that didn't sound like the Disney movie? <laughs> the Lion Kings. Did we rescue Simba or something? I'm not really sure what to expect from that. He's like, hey, you moved quickly. I had a perfect ambush and everything. I'll do a little collection run here. A <laughs> Lion King copyright. That's... I don't believe it. There are people here. Next run should be a no weapons run. Is that even a thing you can do? <laughs> Stupid birds. Oh wow, that bird actually bodies me. Oh my god, these birds are good, dude. These, gir these birds are good. Where are they? How good are these freaking birds, huh? I'm skeptical, to be honest. Let's sniper no scope them. That's right. It's slightly defeated. <laughs> no, get out of the way. I'm trying to do the battle. My way. Difficult. Whatever, we'll try it. <laughs> Marry the lion so he doesn't get children. To truly end his guy. <laughs> I suppose we could do that. Sorry, but that's not happening. He's gonna show us what a cornered rat can do. Go on. I really need the board nuke, huh? I mean, this is good damage. Oh, I need a conferral bot, clearly. An ice con yeah, what am I- why am I not running a conferral on this there team? Let me retry, Are hold on. Sure we don't need Berengaria on this team, she's like redundant as hell. She does exactly what the other unit's doing. Can his kind even continue? He's the last male and the only female was turned into an elf? Wait, what? Dang, dude. Some weird lore. <laughs> Uh, give me... Yes, give me a witch. You can have a Berengaria back. You don't really need this either. Give me that. Thank you. Alright, and then because we're on... Let's do this on front row. Who's faster? Switch items. Or get higher in it. Let's get in it plus three. There you go. Yeah, take that. Take that witch's weapon, that's right. Take that, you witch. That's right. Alright, first aid kits. Do we really need to do that? Alright, then you avoid tank frontline. Oh, we took it from the witch. 
she's like, excuse me. It's like, oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad, bro. Didn't mean to steal your weapon like that. But I guess we did anyways. So you're just going to have to deal with it. Uh, give me... That. Uh, ice conferral. Acro only. Okay. I want to say this Rex now. I want to say it, but I can't accurately say it. Oh, yeah, it Rex now. Except for that that team comp. They can somehow fight us. Won't take long. Now, let's see if we can push through off of magic spam. Ancient tradition. Hmm. You're out. That's foreseen. Let's see if we can dive quickly and just win. My moment has finally come. Okay, all of you push. Push the boss. Sure. I'll be hit if I stay here. Okay, cool. Hide. Oh, get it? Because they have a hide. <laughs> oh. My strength is Let me help. Oh, so close. We almost nuked them down. This is why we need the board nuke. Oh, they're using. <laughs> They're using a siege on me? That's rude. Our level, sneaking edge, that's nice. I won't hold you back. One of the many benefits of old age. The angels are basically failed mutant experiments. What the hell? Won't take long. Well, this is a fast map. Jeez. Let me help. It reduces the damage they take. All right, don't do this right now. We do need that in arena, but do not do that right now. Uh, do passive? No. Uh, blind? No. Run runic. Prioritize armor. That's totally fine. You ice conferl her. Uh, offensive curse. I guess that's fine. Yeah, whatever. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You'd best you have my soul. We almost have it. What about Shadow Bite? Nice. <laughs> Shadow bites but pushes us over the edge. Easy kid. Treat me like some common thief, and it'll be the last thing you do. Indeed. The pride in your eyes tells you. Indeed. Easy kid. You don't want to take it easy. I'll strike first. While you're a kid. Oh, I did that suboptimally. Wait, is it one damage off? Oh, we had it. That's a curse. There we go. And Runic, Shadow Bite. Oh, Shadow Bite Conferral. Oh. Oh, no, it did a little bit of damage. It just blocked one of them. <laughs> he just misses. Ah. Uh, we're wasting the big board nukes in this front line. Oh, her Conferral is being wasted, too. Do we kill them? Ow, if we do. Ooh, 140 crit. All right, that explains it. <laughs> 140 crit. <laughs> That'll do it. And then the first aid. Hell yeah, we're getting some levels. Heal press. I need to study this. Impressive. A little closer to my form. 
We need to get the elf to level 30. And then we just freeze confirm board nuke. And then stun the uh, things that don't get frozen. <laughs> just disable them with Travis. And I think we have easy arena. Let's get Amalia. No more running, huh? Do whatever you want to me. Your Highness. Your Highness. Bryce, was it? How would you feel about lending your money? Not interested. Bryce, was it? He'd rather get beheaded. <laughs> what an idiot. Like, nah, I'd rather be beheaded. It's better. Better to be beheaded than to live. I'd rather be a rock rat. What do you got? Take your time. Relax. Oh yeah, this is interesting. Death will versus poison inflicts poison. And oh, then the sorcerer's gauntlets. Some people meme about these. I mean, it has good damage. I only Aw can use it. It's not as good. Carnelian, nice lapis, rape and plume. Thank you much. Hmm. Flicks death blow versus poison though. This is kinda cool. Though the setup required to get there, you're probably better off just killing. And its hit rate's kinda bad, but it's interesting. I'm sure you could combo it, but it's probably just worse than killing things. <laughs> It's a mechanic that allows you. Hate the unique legionnaires. Other than human, the class looks looks much better with helmets. Oh, power flickered. Oh, like the main tanks. The battle for Zagavana. Zavag Zavagana. Let's see if we can get her back on the situation. <laughs> XP. Get XP! Yes, level up to 30. Please. Has some potential. Open with poison staff. Kill without attack. You could. It's also uh, 75 hit though. It costs three active points, so it's quite expensive. Here, before we deploy these, do this. My moment has finally come. We'll deploy directly onto a combat. I'll make it my strength. Let me help. It shouldn't come as a surprise. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Level 27. Fantastic. All right, then these dudes. I'll what I can do. I will. I'll make my mark. Uh, yes, I concur. Go on. Uh, I'm gonna help them. <laughs> Our side. Get out of here with that. What are you gonna see? Far or something? Like a little owl? I don't give a hoot. Oh, there's a thief about to back. Best make this count. You have my sword. My strength. Let me help. All right, let me help. I didn't have a choice. What do you need? Of course. What is it? All right. Go on. Sure. Oh, they're actually just trying to ambush me. Time for you have my sword. You best make this count. Let me help. Oh, I thought that said 2,000 damage. I was like, what the hell? Let me help. 
All right, I'll let you help. We take minimal damage for it. It's fine, I guess. I'm listening. Oops. Boy. By the grace of the holy unicorn. <laughs> That's still funny to hear. Push. Hope you've made your strength. Everyone, leech. Do it. What's now? Impressive. Level 28. We're getting there. We're doing the big combos. To power level her to 30 so that we can cheese the arena to get Amalia. That's really the goal. Then I can start fixing these teams and actually like make secondary teams. I'll see what I can do. Guide me, oh father. I advance. No! <laughs> Oh, thread the needle! Thread the needle! Thread the needle! Yes! Do not pinball stupidly, even though it is very funny. Let's join our strength. Do not do that. Let me help. I'll lend you my aid. Another step forth. A little bit of try. A little closer to my former strength. Uh, I can't move. I'm listening. I'll show you what I can do. Did you need me? Go on. You have the kill? Sure. That's not good. Ah, maybe I well no, I have a healing assist. Hope you've made let's join our strength. Alright, let's see. What are we fighting? A bear? Or would you want the anti-magic? Or the magic rather. Uh frost here. Do not do these. Okay. Hmm. Oh, what's the row? Oh. Rage of the Fairy's back row. Defensive curse back. You know what? Use your burn staff. Fun. Getting closer. Alright, cool. Incapacitated and burning. That's the best part. Stupid bird. It's all on you. Active gift. I believe in you. <laughs> Dang, dude. You got DPS down. The burn staff, it's actually good. Look <laughs> at all those procs. <laughs> Pretty neat. Good. So silly. I just realized Rosalind died. That's probably why. Well, that's part of the problem. Level 29. Huge. We dropped her evasion tanking so she can level up faster. One more level, and then we have Born Nuke. Ooh. A 
looks like we're animals. <laughs> and we're real. Let's check out armor. Beast Slayer, attack a row of enemies. I mean, it's really good against beasts. It's not bad. Hmm. Yeah, whatever, I'll buy it. Thank you. Board the ship. Did I check this already? Oh yeah, this is where the spear was. Okay, I did. Just a bunch of wolves everywhere. Resist? To resist or to yield? Come on, you've gotta help me. Alright, he said I gotta help him. Seems like a trustworthy fellow. <laughs> Talk to the bear. Oh, was I just... Oh, in this map? Curious what everyone's favorite post-game unit is and why is it the rat? Don't? Oh, okay. You gotta help me. You did the same thing last time. Alright, I'll return to the overworld. <laughs> you messed up. This bear? You have to do Fire Emblem Revelations? The heck is that? What is Fire Emblem Revelations? Oh, he's at the fort. Oh, right here. Brother Bear. Is that a lion? So you too fought back against the Noiras. We're the same as you, lion. Opposed them at every step in order to def- But nothing we did worked. Our towns were raised. We've managed to find some small semblance. And we are eager to- <laughs> Goat bistro. Oh, it's the third possible route in Effie Awakening. Oh, uh, here. Alright. Let's get all these items. It would seem we've strayed quite far away, Elaine. He's like, yes. All right, let's save it. It's harder, but that's what you want. You want to get more rewards. All right, let's get more rewards, I guess, or try to. I need to bring this seat out. Both camps. Sorry, what? 
Have you lost your mind? <laughs> Have you lost your mind? Oh dang, this is like an actual map. Uh... And what is this? <laughs> There's just a random berserk <laughs> thing for no reason. Right, what, are, what kind of matchups do we even have? Yeah. I mean, mostly we're winning. Uh, say we dive this. Can any of these hold out against these stupid animals? <laughs> these stinking animals. What is it? Uh, this team needs optimized clearly. Though arguably they're under leveled. Yeah, they're like level twenty-two. All right. I'll show you what I can do. Hey, you gotta survive, I guess. It's time for payback. I need a shorter quest. This is too much of a. I just want to hit level thirty right now. I have one team that can fight these reasonably. We're gonna be eating magic assists the whole time. I'll make it quick. I must never yield. You impress? I won't hold you back. Cool. Impressive, aren't I? Yes, we got it. But obviously, yeah, we just need a short quest. This is too long of a mission. They have rabies. Mm, this one could be fine. I could probably do this. I think this one's easy. Yeah, whatever. Legacy of the Lion King. Damn it, Deborah. <laughs> Main quest is long. Oh, I remember this one vaguely. Wait, right, don't we just have to go up here, though? Toned spear, attack column, pieces. I guess that's okay. I feel like we need a utility. No surprise there. That's foreseen. Let's take what's ours. Sure. Hope you've made your peace. Level 28 boys. No hard feelings. Yeah. There in a second. Let's take what's ours. Oh, wait, is she on fire curse? Is that why? Yeah. Oh, and then. They must just be getting off damage first. Let's take what's ours. What's their initiative? 42. 41. Yeah. Okay. You have to be getting tapped out though. Go on. <laughs> okay. Magic attack, half slayer, lean edge. We really need this as well. This helps out immensely. Lightning striker. Actually, we just get rid of the Chloe charm. Let's take what's ours. 
<laughs> How are they doing all that? Yeah. I can understand they would be killing like him probably. I could give him Let's take what's ours. Jesus Christ. Uh curing heal. Okay. Here's the fairy's front row. Don't I immediately hit them with this? Maybe it's just inaccurate. Might just be inaccurate. Let's try it fix. Yeah. Alright, it's a better result. I'll make it quick. You just got stonewalled the final map, that sucks. Oh, here we go. Let's begin. All right, they get stunned. Damn. All right, that's a big combo. Shadow bite. Oh, and then he breaks there. That's a curse. Yeah, we need that row attack from Elaine to clean up there. We'll get it soon. Go get him. We're so close to board nuke too. Dodge 292s. <laughs> RNG. I suggest you use one of these. Let's take what's ours. I think it's just up here, isn't it? Sure. Go on. I guess we'll kill it. There in a second. Maybe we can rage the fairies early. I'll make it quick. See ya. Yeah. Won't take long. Pleased with that, yeah. Let's take what's ours. It's up here, isn't sure. it? Oh boy. Go on. Won't take long. Oh, I don't know where it is. Let's take here, let's take ours. this out at least. Wow, dude, these furries are popping off now. All right, let's stun their nope owls. Back row. Go on. Okay, that's slightly better. Yeah. Better. In a second. 
No, oh, new combat. Don't get bodied, please. Really? Oh, the evasion. No, they, they can't hit through evasion. The heck is going on here? Let's just get them to lose. I guess that's fine. Let's see if we can capitalize on that. We can. I will. Time to go. He can and he will. Then deploy this. My moment has finally come. <laughs> We're just gonna spam attacks on him. Uh deploy. Sorry, Sharon. Should be another archer. We said all VP and use items on the four generals. Oh yeah, <laughs> that can happen. Let's get some archers in here. Have you need of my bow? Hopefully we have the same RNG. Time for payback. Mm. That's fine, I guess. Kill the tank. Go on. Won't take long. I'm not. Warm. You'd best make. I'm right here. I ate you. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> the bad units. Coming together to power level against single attacker. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Power leveling all of these. Just off of like single combats. Alright, you guys just kind of hang out. Amazing. Then I'm doing this to prevent assist against me. I right, we killed a bear. What now? This I'm should here. be it. I'll make it quick. Die, birds. It shouldn't come as a surprise. Yes, board nuke. Huge. A little closer to my We're cast, alright, cool. I didn't have a choice. Let's take what's ours. Sure. As you ordered. Shouldn't have let your guard down. Oh, I think it's like... It's like Garrison. I'm pretty sure there's one more out there. I think it's like up here, isn't it? Or is that it? There's like a town right there. Town right there. Hmm. If you look in the snow, you can actually see, like, a building there. I think it's here. Yeah, it looks like it's right there. Go on. Won't take long. Did I get the fox? Not yet. Alright, we have elemental roar now. Let's grab a carnelian. C plus 10. Alright, so she's got roar. On freeze as well. Do not quick cast. Yeah. All right, cool. We board nuke. I think we just go to here. Sure. Go 
go on. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh boy. There in a second. The furries are approaching. <laughs> I'm gonna kill the furries from this position, hopefully. I won't hold you back. Won't take Harrison? They made it Haha! Oh, what are they doing? Time to go. Heading Our spirits off, are high. As foreseen. Die. All right, bounce those out. That's a kill. I'm not worried. Time for payback. You have my sword. All right, bounce these out. We'll weather the storm briefly. <laughs> Wait, are they gonna bounce back? <laughs> We're just pinballing them. I'll make it quick. My strength. All right, nice. Hey, aren't you going for the thing now? What is it? Well, I will. I'm not worried. Let's see just how Hell yeah, dude. I'll show you what I can do. I'll handle it. Yeah. There in a second. Here we are. Ready any time. Got it. Go orders, if you will. Let's take what's ours. Or ignore the furry. Bush. Sure. That wasn't so tough. No! Don't waste my turns. <laughs> Don't waste my actions. I'm gonna wait really quick. Never One of the many benefits of old age. Hopefully this doesn't backfire. Yeah. Try resting out in the open. Oh that guys. Time to go. Heading all source. Just say the word. As foreseen. What is it? I will. What now? Bow strung. Going there now. Oh, nice, it worked. Go! We got the board nuke. We have what we needed. Hell yeah. <laughs> to combine all the bad units. The power level them. Yes! All the B teams uniting to get a single kill. The glorious sights to behold. I'm taking this out. Oh, there's a camp too. Fantastic. Time for payback. You impressed? Go on. Sure. What now? Let's take what's ours. Oh, uh, that's the boss right there. Go on. There in a second. Yeah. Sure. Push. Make it quick. Yeah, we'll just fight him twice. Keep it simple. Hope you've made your peace. No hard feelings. Let's take what's ours. Won't take long. Shouldn't have let your guard down. Out of the harbor. Go on. Yeah. All right. Oh, you know what I just did? I'm not allowed to use un or redeploy strats. <laughs> I just realized that. That was like the sure. the thing. I was not. I'm not allowed to undeploy and redeploy. That was like second nature. I bounced him over to here to stop them capping. But in reality, they just would have grabbed this. I don't think it would have prevented me from losing or caused me to lose or win. What would have happened is they would have grabbed this, ran over here and just fought him here and died here anyways and fed these XP. So it didn't really help me out at all. I'll try. Ooh, okay. Uh, 
Let's try a different confer all. Wait, do they have a void tanks? Oh, they have a void tanks. Alright, let's do this. Need that sniper lens. You have to capture all garrisons on the map? Oh, really? Alright. I think I want burn, maybe? Oh, yeah, we want burn. <laughs> we want to burn them all. We don't want them to be alive. Oh, what the hell? That's not what we want. Well, maybe it is. That's a little late. <laughs> That's bad. Bad sequencing. <laughs> How do you dodge when it's about to die? It's like on the ground. Not moving. That's silly. She could have fire cursed, I guess. Ninety five crit. First aid. Just getting started. I need to study the impressive. A little closer to my former strength. Alright, that wasn't bad. We got Rage of the Fairies. That's huge. Should be able to finish the arena now. And the blue? Wait, did you say the blue? What was a blue? What else do we get? <laughs> it's just like a wolf dude chilling out over there. Take your time. Relax. Interesting. Oh yeah, the earthquake. I have mixed feelings on this. Because it's a ground attack, so all flyers avoid it. the ship I'll see it let's check it out fish probably Yep. What do you want? 
Lady Ramona. Oh, okay, here's the monuments thing. Cool. <laughs> Random chicken. Oh, is this a chicken quest right here? <laughs> My chickens escaped. Does True Strike make it hit flyers? Yes. Um, I don't know that changing a ground based into a true strike does. I think Dragoon Dive can just passively hit anyone. It just probably misses flyers because they have high evasion. These chickens are fast, man. On a horse, too. They're like running away from me. Alright, this whole thing. Let's like talk to all these dudes. He doesn't seem to be listening. <laughs> it seems we'll have to ask elsewhere. But of course. Alright. You know Lou? Oh yeah, it's one of these. You gotta figure out the order. <laughs> Very well. Talk to the dude now. Now, how do we get a board nuke off on items? Because there's a thing that lets you do a charge spell, but it's not a charge spell. Unless it's Trinity Rain. I suppose I could do this. Activates after an enemy attacks the active skill. She would have to be like a frontline evasion tank with cover. I don't think she counters if she's covered though. It's more reactionary. Orphanage key. Okay, this one will be easier. Crazy how fast you can clear the game, man. Damn. <laughs> just like got here on a whim and I'm already almost done with this region. I was like, yeah, I guess I'll just do this area. And I haven't even done Elven Lands yet, really. Well, that's not true. I've done most of it. it seems like I'm getting faster at beating the game, at least. I've done all of Drake and Dragon Lands. There's almost not much left, so I'm almost ready to take on the final boss at this point. So you need to make two more super units, maybe get some items, then just head on in there. Try some arena stuff.
last two areas are way similar. Get elf sisters. I mean, I have one of them. So we board nuke. I can always open with this. We'll assume we need sniper lens. Alright, then we're gonna freeze. Back row. And then I think he might do this situationally. But she also can open with Rage of the Fairies to stun a thing if it's immune to frost. I would like to have Tailwind, obviously. Defensive curse, passive curse. Uh, he can be straight up dropped from his own unit. All right, let's see where we can get. I should be able to beat all of it. Oh, I'm on eight, okay. Let's make sure you only do this against non-frozen. Okay, and then you will rage the fairies. Back row, and then do a thing, and then you really shouldn't even do anything right now. For a void tank and then heal. And defensive curse back row. I guess we'll see what they do. How fast are these? Let's just see what happens. Your strength failed. Sneaking edge on who? Oh, on him? That's fine. Nope. Nice try. There's nothing. Bridge the fairy's back line. Boom, stunned. Okay. Shadow bites. Oh, not shadow bites. That's gonna mess me up. Oh, never mind. She combos herself. Oh, but then she can't true strike. We can add a cleric. Now, why did she not go? That guy faster than her? Or does shadow bites reduce initiative? I think that's why. It's really clunky to change your team around in this. You have to, like, navigate weirdly. Um... Here, get on evasion. Oh, I probably could have bought some royal scarves. Unless that's in the other area. Thirty initiative plus these better. All right, then we need a healer. Yeah, refresh. Back row. Okay. Okay. I'll strike first. Your strength fails you. Healing you. Oh, she needs to not do that. Three freezing thrust, what the hell? Excuse me? Oh, because she unlocked that new, <laughs> because I equipped it. Oh man, it's quite funny. 
I equipped a new weapon, so it's like, oh, you must want a freezing thrust. No, I do not. And do not cure and heal anything. Thank you. Eagle eye yourself. That's it. That's what you do. You do one thing, <laughs> specifically. <laughs> Get wrecked. That's right. The little Coliseum boys. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, Ironclad Warriors, bring it. Let's just see if we have it. a win. Spell this, bitch. <laughs> Frozen immunity. All right. Good thing we have avoid tanks in the front. Uh, she might have to offensive curse the front line. Let's see what he does. Icy crush. Quick curse. Oh, he's attacking with nine percent okay. hit. It seems you need this. Okay, no, it's fine. It's totally fine. The Unifi nuke, I don't think we can get online. I don't have impetus in this playthrough, so we can't boost it. Oh, I didn't even check what they do. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, that could be fast. The curse. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Be careful. You might learn something. Come, Faye. Impetus is the next level. What do you mean? We did it! A grand champion. Um, these seem slow. You only can get the impetus from the arena shop and from angel shop. Watch and learn. <laughs> Watch and learn. Oh, he can get frozen manually. Take better 
care of yourself. It takes four passive points with acrobat shoes and lapis on a promoted unit. We got three more. Oh, thank you. Missed a 77 on the dude. Dragons roar. Oh, that's not good. Don't let it happen again. Uh, maybe we're fine. The refresh. Yeah. Arrow There's cover. No oh, it's considered an arrow? I can nuke their front line. That wyvern action might be a problem. Oh yeah, it's probably gonna be a problem. Yes, burn, refresh. Oh, maybe not. I think we actually tank it. Defensive curse. She's just kind of doing whatever right now. Heal. Oh yeah, and then we have a freeze. She goes for freeze on... Uh... Nice, dude. All right, I think we do tank it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dragon Rar versus Elemental Rar. And then she heals. We definitely have less damage after that. <laughs> this is such a dumb gimmick. We got a Zenoira Noit Sword. Alright, Royal Knights. Now they're gonna go for anti magic. We'll just see if we have it right out, right out of the gate here. I might need to stun the front line. I think I'll enjoy this very much. Let's begin. Okay. Our uh, row barrier stops it. I think they kill our thief, but then we board freeze them. Oh, she tanked that. Nice. <laughs> Just on a tank, that's hilarious. She has one passive point left. Then he just gets frozen by the witch. Take better care of yourself. Ice. Haha! <laughs> the gimmicks. <laughs> just get elemental nuke and you got it. All right, and then I think we got her too. And then we have to fight the demon. And more proof that Swordmaster is bad. Well, look who went and made it to the top. <laughs> Never had a doubt in my mind. Indeed. And Indeed. Claimed the title for my own. <laughs> I might actually have to work for once. Haven't had a thrill like this in years. The hell? Come on, it's time. Haven't had a thrill like this in years. All right. <laughs> Don't hold anything back, yeah. All right. Okay, stun immunity. Your soul. This could be a problem. I think she has freeze immunity too, doesn't she? Protection immunity. They actually kind of know what they're doing here. They're all frozen except for her. Offensive curse. She, I really should do offensive curse. I think we can tank her. That might be the only thing I need to change. The curse. Oh, rude. Ooh, 74 crit, though. We might kill her on just damage training. Passive curse, I like that. Heal. Ice bolt. Frozen immunity, she's one shot now. Uh-oh, that can be bad damage. Oh, yeah. We have her, but we don't have the... 
They did more damage for sure. Probably. Yeah, very close. I need to debuff her. I need to passive curse her, I want to say. Or maybe... Let's try something. It's really close. What's their initiative? Might be able to get away with... Uh, being lower initiative, 24, 30. Oh, their initiative is abysmal. All right, I can drop the initiative gear. All right, let's see. What we can get away with. Oh, wait, do you have your... She's not level 30 yet. She doesn't have Ice Coffin yet. So the freeze, pendants. She goes for freezes. I could go for the blind on her. The higher Annette, now she is. All right, so let's lower your Annette. Let's give you evasion tanking. Actually, let's go for some crits too, to boost the average damage. Let's put her on coin. Coin. And then for, let's see, Lapis, Term of Warning. We don't need this anymore. I could put her on coin, so that she's super dodgy, just in case. Oh, he's on coin as well. All right, maybe not. Eh, whatever, beyond this for now. She should offensive curse. Back row, first action. Just to kill her damage. Bro. And then afterwards, defensive curse back row. Okay. And do not curse swamp. Does not matter. Quick curse is fine. I could stun the front. Though I think they use anti debuff. Let's do front row. Let's try it. What else? We have crits now. We have debuff on her. We'll try this and see what's wrong with it. Barrier, all right. Let's begin. PP up, that's not good. Dragon's roar, plans. Purging the ill humors. You might learn something. I've got you. Magic barrier, that's fine. Freezes everything else except for her, anyways. All right, some pretty big damage. Oh, he could poison her. Hmm, he should be poisoning her. That'll burst her down really quick. We might have it here, though. Yeah, the poison would be huge. It hit her three times. Then defensive curse. That's our last attack. It seems you need this. Ice. Ice. That'll do for now. <laughs> That'll do for now. Ah, a foe capable of challenging the girl has. <laughs> a foe capable of challenging the girl. Now what's the thing to do with this? You just avoid tank. <laughs> you just send in Travis? I'm gonna do that. You know I'm gonna do that. You just passive drain her or whatever and then poison her. I think that's how you do it.
first action. Oh, yeah, sneaking edge too. And then it's toxic throw. Only run it until passive steel works. Let's see. Guard seal. It's like a laser. Poison, nice. Ha ha! <laughs> easy. <laughs> Did he say easy too? <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, just stack scarf. Yeah, actually level Travis here. She went full anime. <sighs> Thanks. <sighs> All body screaming in pain. <laughs> but he's gone now, thanks to you. Burning any time. Would you care to explain? You <laughs> would you care to explain? Alright, we finally got her. We did it. <laughs> the Reno should really acquire killing. <laughs> no, I don't think it should at this point. No, it really should. We got it. Large and in charge, as they say. Alright, get rid of you. This is probably going to be moved to a different team. Uh, I don't really need any of those. Just like shuffle things around, undeploy Chloe. Oh, I don't have the wide counter yet, do I? All oh, right, I can't run all the things. I either do it once or I do the other thing. Most unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Is there any sword that gives pursuit? I don't think so. Let's go see if we can find that one weapon. Oh wow, there's like tons of villages in there. As well as in there. I have like none of these villages, dude, damn. I gotta beat this next. Or this, this will be fine. Alright, let's save it here, we got the new lady. Yeah, that's it for now. I'm gonna be streaming again at like 8.15 Eastern, so... Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and also feel free to become a channel member to get access to cool emotes from Fire Emblem Engage <laughs> that I made in Illustrator. So there you go. There's some of them. Uh, but yeah, peace.